Ever since I've been playing hardcore Minecraft, I've completed a ton of advancements in my worlds. But surprisingly, I've actually never completed every single advancement. So today, I want to put my skills to the test and see if I can complete all 110 advancements in hardcore Minecraft in 100 days. This is going to be an insane challenge, but it's also going to be so much fun. So let's get started. Now to make this a real challenge, I'm going to be doing this on a completely random seed. So let's just create a new world, put it on hardcore mode, and here we go. Please give me something good. Okay. Oh, a village right there with a blacksmith. Look at this. Okay. And we also have an ocean nearby with a shipwreck. This should be a pretty good seed. Okay. Let's get some wood and some basic tools, and then we'll start knocking out the easiest advancements first. All right. Now our first advancement doesn't actually show up in the chat, but if I craft a crafting table, it gives me the advancement Minecraft, the heart and story of the game. But let's go straight to crafting a wooden pickaxe, and then I'll get some stone, which will give us our second advancement. And then I'll craft a stone pickaxe, which will give us our third advancement. All right, let's craft a few more basic tools. I'm going to craft a stone axe, and I guess I might as well craft a stone sword. But we have some shipwrecks nearby, so I think I should craft up a boat real quick. Let's go explore those. Oh, wait, a ruined portal right here, too. This is actually a really good seed. Let's see what's inside. Okay, some iron nuggets. Not too bad. Now let's go see what's inside of that shipwreck. Looks like there's also a big one over there, too. Nice. But I'm going to check out this one first. All right, I think this one might not have a treasure chest, but it does have one chest in it. And we got smithing templates. Nice. That's going to be very useful for future advancements. And yeah, I think that's it in terms of chests. So let's quickly check out this second shipwreck, and then we'll go check out this village. For being a completely random seed, this is honestly a pretty good start. So here we are at the shipwreck. Oh, and this one's going to have a treasure chest. Nice. Let's see. Ooh, 15 iron. Oh my gosh. And that gives us another advancement, acquire hardware. And there should be two more chests down inside of here. Let's see real quick. Yep, there's one right here with a buried treasure map. Very nice. We got some books and some other decent stuff. And I think this one should just have some food in it. More armor trims. Oh my gosh. And also so many items. Wait, I'm not going to have room in my inventory. Um, I do need poisonous potatoes for an advancement, so I guess I'll take those. And I guess I might as well grab these leather boots and put them on. But my inventory is completely maxed out now. So I think we should go to this village and set up a little base, and then I'll go check out this buried treasure map. Oh, wait, we have some sugarcane. Let's grab that too. That's also going to be very, very useful. All right, we've made it to the village. It looks like it also has quite a few hay bales too. That's going to be great to get some food. But for now, I guess I'll just go in the center of the village right here. And this is where my base is going to be for the time being. I'll craft a couple double chests, empty out all the stuff that I won't need. And before we go check out that buried treasure map, let's just get some food real quick. I'm just going to mine up all the hay bales around here. Wait, that might have been the only ones. Hold on. Oh, and we have a blacksmith too. Let's also check this out. Let's see here. Diamonds. Look at this. Okay. Three diamonds right off the bat. That's really good. We also have an iron pickaxe, which will give us another advancement and some food, an iron helmet, which will give us another advancement. Look at this and a saddle. That was honestly an extremely good chest. Whoa, we have a frozen ocean too. I feel like those biomes are pretty rare. So that's kind of nice that we have it nearby, but I think that's about all I can get from this village for the time being. So let's go find that buried treasure now. Oh, and then we should also grab a bed just in case it becomes nighttime while we're out there. Actually, wait, let's just do a few more things. I'm getting distracted. Let's craft up a shield. Let's craft up a chest plate. And I guess I might as well do some leggings. And look at that. We already have full armor. This is already going very well. But it's just about to become nighttime. So let's have a quick nap. And look at that. That is pretty good for a first day. All right, day one. Now that I have some iron armor and some tools, it's time to go find this buried treasure. And it looks like we have to go southwest, which is going to be over here. Okay, the map is finally filling in. We're getting close. It should be over on one of these beaches. And using my speedrunner tricks, it should be right below here. Let's just dig in from the side, actually. Here it is. Nice. Okay. Whoa. Look at the amount of iron we just got. 17 iron, two more diamonds, a heart of the sea, which is going to be very important for a future advancement. We also got some food and some prismarine. Nice. Okay. Not bad, to be honest. But let's head back to our village now. Also, I just realized we have to do 110 advancements in 100 days. So that's basically one advancement per day. This might get pretty difficult as we progress, but something that's going to make it a lot easier is beating the ender dragon as quickly as possible and then getting the elytra. Since once we have the elytra, we'll be able to fly around and get stuff done a lot faster. So that's my plan for these first few days. But we're back at the village. And with this 17 iron I just got, I'm going to craft my last piece of iron armor. And check this out. Full iron armor. We are dripped out right now. And I guess I might as well also craft an iron sword. And since I'm rich, I'll also do an iron axe. <laughs> and look at that. Basically full iron tools and full iron armor. I think it's time to go to the nether now. Actually, you know what? I also have five diamonds. Let's craft a diamond pickaxe. There we go. Nice. All right, let's start working on heading to the nether now. Let's see if I can find any lava pools around here or maybe some ruined portals. Oh wait, I have a 
diamond pickaxe and there was a ruined portal down here so i might as well just go gather up that obsidian but since it's underwater i'm going to craft up a door and that's going to help me break the obsidian a lot faster and also breathe underwater okay here's the portal i think there might be enough obsidian right here let's just get to mining and then we'll find out okay there we go let's see how many we got and it also gave us an advancement as well we need at least 10 pieces let's see and we got 11 okay perfect that's definitely enough for a portal so let's make our way back to the village and i guess i'll build the portal right here okay here we go. We're already going to the nether on day two. <laughs> All right, let's just empty out my inventory real quick because I'm probably going to get a ton of stuff in the nether. And just to be extra safe, I'm going to gather up some more food. Whoa, there's an ice spikes biome? That is insane. It's like the rarest biome in the game. Well, that's going to be great for the adventuring time advancement. This is actually such a good seed, but I still haven't seen the nether, so I'm not fully decided if it's a good seed or not yet because it could be a terrible spawn. But I'm just going to gather up a bit more food and then we should be ready to go. Just kidding. <laughs> I still don't kill chickens. Okay, I've killed like every animal in a 500 block radius and we got 29 raw pork chops, 29 raw beef, and 52 raw mutton. That's honestly very good. <laughs> Let's gather up some coal now because we're gonna need a ton of that to smelt all this up. And now we can head back home to our village. Okay, we're back. Let's just quickly mine up some stone, which I'll use to craft some furnaces and then some smokers. Nice. Let's get these all lined up, pop in my coal and my food. Let's start getting all this smelted up. And you know what? As this is going, let's do a quick, easy advancement. A seedy place. I haven't done an advancement in about a day, so I thought I would keep up my streak. But now let's just wait for all this to cook. Wait, look at what I just saw in the background. An ocean monument. This really is an amazing seed. Okay, it's been a little while, but I finally have everything all cooked up. And while I was waiting for that, I also went ahead and organized all of my items. I have my food chest over here and then everything else. My chests were starting to get super, super crowded, so I needed to do some organizing. But now that I have all this food, some good armor and some good tools, it's finally time to go to the nether. Actually, I'm gonna craft up another iron ax just in case. Okay, we're ready to go. Please put me somewhere good. Oh my gosh. It couldn't be any worse. Look at this. Oh, wait. Okay. Actually, no, it is pretty good. What? Okay. No, there's no way. Guys, two fortresses next to each other. Now everyone's going to think that the seed was chosen. I promise it was a random seed, guys. But that is insane. Is it the same fortress or is it actually two different ones? Yeah, it looks like it actually is two different fortresses. That is ridiculous. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go there first. Oh, no. I'm in lava. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. Please, I can't die now. Not after this amazing spawn. Should I go through the portal? Wait, oh, okay, we're good. That was a little dangerous. But you know what? I just realized I'm actually not fully prepared yet. There's just one more item I have to get. I'm gonna craft up a shovel and I need to gather up some building blocks real quick since both of those fortresses are above some giant lava lakes. So I'm just gonna gather up two stacks of dirt. That should be pretty good. Okay, two stacks of dirt. That should be good. Let's go loot these fortresses now. I'm kind of extremely scared. Wait a minute. Okay, it's not a bastion. I thought that was a bastion in the distance. But we have to bridge over this giant lava lake first. I need to be extremely careful about this. This seed is too good. I can't die now. Ooh, okay. We have a blaze spawner right here. I need to be careful that I don't see any blazes because then they can shoot me off this bridge. Okay, I already hear some. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, okay. Here we go. Another advancement. A terrible fortress. Let me just try to kill some stray blazes real quick. Oh, and look at that. Blaze rod of first try. Oh, we got two advancements from that. That was my first mob that I killed. That's kind of crazy. Whoa. Oh, and the first time I used my shield. Look at all the advancements we're getting. This is so good. All right, but I guess I'll wait for a few more of these guys to spawn. I'm also going to block this off so we don't get any wither skeletons trying to kill me. Let's see. We got some more blazes. Hello, friends. Okay, that's two blaze rods. There's our third one. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's bad. Oh, okay. That was very dangerous. I feel like I'm not very prepared to be here right now. Okay, we got five blaze rods from that. I just need a few more. Okay, there's our sixth one. There's number seven. I think 10 should be enough. I mean, the fortress is very close. So we can always come back if we need more. Okay, there's eight. I think that's actually good. Let's try to make our way back now. There's so many blazes shooting at me. And I also saw a wither skeleton up here too. So I got to be extra careful. Oh, and we're also getting some magma cream. This will be pretty useful. Oh wait, actually, before we leave the fortress, I think we should try to find some nether warts. There was a skeleton right here. Go away. There we go. Okay, let's try to find some warts. I think that's going to be over here, but there's so many blazes. Leave me alone, please. Okay, I'm just going to run past these guys. Looks like we have a chest right here. Oh, diamonds. Nice. And two saddles. I'm on the hunt for some nether wart, though. More. Oh, my gosh. Look at these diamonds. I just got nine diamonds from two chests. Oh, uh, there's some bone blocks. I guess I'll take those. Don't mind if I do. Okay, we got a skeleton. Let's try to kill this guy. 
more chests with some decent stuff oh here's the nether wart nice perfect okay let's gather up as much as we can as well as some soul sand oh and there's more right here too nice and more bone blocks okay this is actually going pretty good but i'm still terrified <laughs> diamond horse armor that's pretty cool let's just quickly see what else i can find in here and then i'm gonna leave okay i think that's it let's make my way back now okay now where did i come from i'm definitely lost guys let's just go out here okay here's where i came from let's try to make my way over there now quick go fast run 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 try to knock this guy off ah! Oh no, this is bad. Hello, friends. Oh, there's three of them. Whoa! How can they hit me? What? Oh no, I have wither. That was really close. I got super low right there. Oh, I hate this. I don't want to be here right now. Oh, they could get up on that block. That's how they could hit me. That makes more sense. Okay, why are there so many wither skeletons? And this pesky blaze. Oh, how are they able to hit me? Oh, that was one and a half hearts. Oh my gosh. I honestly cannot believe I haven't died yet. <laughs> okay, we killed all the skeletons. We just have to get rid of this guy now. It should be fairly easy. There we go. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, that was so bad. And there's so many wither skeletons. Oh, this is terrible. Look at all of them. How are there so many? It's a good thing I placed these blocks right here earlier. I just need to run away. Oh, this is actually not easy, guys. I'm having quite a hard time. <laughs> okay, here's my bridge. I've made it. We're almost to safety. Okay, let's run. Wow, that was insane. I got so close to dying so many times. But we did get 10 blaze rods, 9 diamonds, and 40 nether wart. So I think it was worth it. But let's get out of here now. I am way too scared. Okay, we're back to safety. <laughs> Alright, well now that we have our blaze rods, the only other ingredient to get is gonna be some ender pearls. And while I could go to a bastion and trade with some piglins to get ender pearls, I think I might want to do it a safer way. Or maybe I should just go get some better stuff first and then we can do it that way. Because just basic iron armor was not enough in the nether. I got so close to dying so many times. So I think we should work on getting some diamonds and some enchantments. I already have one piece of obsidian here and we'll just need three more to craft an enchanting table. So let's start working on that. Alright, let's grab my boat. I'm also going to craft up a bucket, something like this, which I'll fill with water. And now let's go see if I can find a lava pool or another ruined portal. Oh, wait, I just heard lava. Wait a minute. There might be something down here. Yeah, look at this. What? There's a lava pool below the village? This seed is honestly insane. I cannot believe this. Okay, well, I guess we'll just turn all of it into obsidian. And then I'll have to gather up three more blocks. Dude, people are going to think this is fake. Like, this seed is so good. All right, four pieces of obsidian. That should be everything we need. And I'm pretty sure I also got a book from one of the shipwreck chests. So we should have everything we need to craft an enchanting table. Let's see. Yep, here's our book. Nice. Let's go like this, like this, and like this. And there we have it, our first enchanting table. <laughs> but now my next objective is to get some diamond armor and also some bookshelves to make this a maxed out enchanting setup. So I think it's time to go mining. Looks like there might be a cave down here. Just kidding. What about over here? Okay, this looks promising. Just kidding. It's a dead end. Let's see if I can find the giant cave. That would be super useful. Ooh, wait. This looks like it might be good. Let's go investigate. Okay, we have a creeper, but it doesn't look like we have much else. I'm just gonna explore for a bit, and I'll be- Whoa, wait. Zombie villager. Hmm. This guy might be useful later on, because we do have to cure a zombie villager for an advancement. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be worth it, though, because we are pretty deep down. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill him. Sorry, friend. I'll probably find plenty more of those guys, but let's keep exploring. Ooh, okay. I found a big cave, finally. This is exactly what I was looking for. Let's jump down, and look at that. We have some lapis, tons of iron. This should be a much better cave than the other one. Okay, I see some lava right here, and I see an opportunity for an advancement. Hot stuff. Nice. Um, I don't really need it, though, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. And it looks like this cave actually continues much further down here. So let's go check it out, because down here, we're gonna be able to find some diamonds, probably. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, there's deep dark. I'm definitely not going near that, but I am seeing tons of lapis. So that should be pretty good. And also tons of skeletons. Oh no. Oh, they're fighting. Good. Okay, let's keep mining. Still haven't come across any diamonds, though, but I guess we'll keep searching. Oh, here we go. There's some diamonds. This also looks like an iron vein. That's going to be super useful. All right, but mining isn't very interesting, so I'll just be back once my mining trip is all done. Oh, we got another advancement. Sneak 100. So I know I said I wouldn't go in the deep dark, but I'm coming for these diamonds, so I kind of had to. But there's shriekers right here, and there's a zombie. Oh my gosh, this is not very ideal. Let's just try to get rid of these real quick. It's definitely going to activate one, but that should be okay. Yep. Oh gosh, I hate that sound. Ooh, it was more than just one. That is so good. We've gotten four diamonds from this mining trip so far. Oh, oops, that was an accident. I should probably leave, to be honest. I need to find a safer cave than this. All right, in my entire time in the caves, this is what I managed to get. We got six diamonds, two and a half stacks of lapis, a stack and a quarter of iron, some redstone, and that's about it. But that was basically all that I could find in the caves, so I've decided to go strip mining. I'm just gonna go until my iron pickaxe breaks, and then I'll be back with a report on what I got. 
All right, my iron pickaxe finally broke, and I also did a little bit of extra mining with my diamond pickaxe, and in total, we have 35 diamonds now. I think we started with about 9 or 10 that we got from the nether, so that means we got about 25 diamonds from the caves and this strip mine. But 35 diamonds is enough to craft a full set of diamond armor, so I think we're good to go. But now we just have to do the long process of going back home. I kind of have no idea where we are. <laughs> Whoa, just as I'm looking up here, I found more diamonds. Let's see if I can go get those real quick. Hello, diamonds. Looks like it's just one, though. Oh, and some lapis. Okay, these are all things that I need. Okay, we've made it back home just in time for sunset. Okay, day eight. Let's empty out my inventory and let's start crafting up some better armor and tools. Let's see. Okay, so we have 38 diamonds in total. A full set of armor is 24. Oh yeah, we'll definitely have more than enough. Let's do a chest plate. There we go. We got an advancement. We'll do my leggings. We'll do my helmet. And then we'll do my boots. Nice. Let's swap all this out now. Helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. Full diamond armor. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. And we have 14 left. So I'm definitely going to craft a diamond sword. I'll do a diamond axe. And we already have a diamond pickaxe. And there we have it. Full diamond armor and tools. <laughs> I'm not going to do a shovel and a hoe yet because I kind of don't need that right now. So for me, this is basically full diamond armor and tools. So now let's work on getting some enchantments. I think in here I should have some sugarcane. Yep. So let's start a little sugarcane farm down here. I think this big flat area should be perfect for this. And then I guess while we're at it, we can also make a normal farm too. Whoa, that already broke. Oh my gosh. It had full durability. Gold tools are are terrible, but we did get tons and tons of iron. So I guess I'll craft up an iron hoe. There we go. Ooh, and then let's also bring over my carrots and my potatoes. I think baked potatoes are going to be a pretty good source of food, to be honest. At least until we have emeralds and can get golden carrots from villagers. So let's keep working on this farm. Okay, here's the farm. In the center, I'll plant my sugar cane. And then around the edges, I'll plant all the rest of my crops. My wheat, my carrots, and my potatoes. Okay, the farm is all set up, but sugar cane is just one of the ingredients that we need to make bookshelves. With the other one being leather, so I think I'm gonna try to find some cows and bring them back over here. I kind of killed like every single cow around here earlier, so I hope some more have spawned. Already, I don't really see any. Oh my gosh, that was not a good idea. <laughs> I didn't kill any over here, so I guess I'll try looking over there. Okay, so I'm still searching for a cow, but I saw these horses over here and I had an idea. If I tame one of these guys, then I should get an advancement. Let's see if it works. There we go. Best friends forever. All right, let's put a saddle on this guy now. Let's see. Oh, he's not very fast. I think I should try for a different one. Oh, and I guess we can get leather from these guys too. <laughs> kind of a cruel way to get leather though, to be honest. But let's see how fast this one is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going as fast as possible. And look at this. I think, yeah, it's slower than sprinting. That is probably the slowest horse I think I've ever seen in Minecraft. I'm so sorry, but you have to go. He's being converted into leather. Let's try this one now. I still can't believe how slow that guy was. This guy seems fast by the way he's going around. Let's see. Okay, he's decently fast. It's definitely faster than sprinting, so I think I'll take it. And it's also because he's kind of the only one else around here. <laughs> okay, actually, I do want to try again real quick. I really want to get a fast horse. Ooh, this one seems very fast. Look at how fast he's moving around. Yeah, I think this might be our one, guys. And he's also taking forever to tame. There we go. Okay, let's see here. So he can't jump two blocks, but he is extremely fast. Yeah, look at this. Okay, I think I'll take this one. But the hunt for a cow continues. I still can't believe I haven't found one. It's definitely because I kill all of them. Maybe one day we'll find one. Wait, can horses go in boats? Okay, it doesn't look like they can. Um, how am I gonna get you across the water now? I guess I'll just have to push you. Okay, wow, that took way too long. <laughs> but I finally had this guy moved over here. Okay, let's keep searching for a cow. <gasps> Whoa, wait, look at this. An exposed monster spawner. This could be useful for XP. Oh my, oh my gosh. Infinity and power five? Guys, what is up with this seed? This is actually ridiculous. I have never seen that ever before. <laughs> Guys, I swear I'm not cheating. <laughs> that is so insane. Okay, wow. Well, we already have a pretty good bow and I didn't have to do any enchanting, <laughs> but we're still on the hunt for a cow. When am I ever gonna find one? Here we go. Okay, wow, that took so long. Please tell me it's not just one though. And also look at this giant ravine with a cave spider spawner. Hmm, that might also be good for XP, but let's bring this cow back first and then we can worry about that later. Okay, that took way too long. Ooh, look, a wandering trader. Let's see what he's offering. Ooh, wait, this stuff is actually not too bad. <laughs> I might want to get some cactus and some driftstone. Is this about to be my first time ever trading with a wandering trader in Minecraft? I think it might just be, guys. Let's go get my emeralds. Oh, and I guess we'll also get an advancement from this. What a deal. <laughs> okay, well, those were actually all of the emeralds that I had, so I'm just going to convert this guy into two leads.
Thank you. Okay, now that I have these leads, I can bring these animals with me. And now I need to find a place to put them in. Whoa, wait. Okay, that sheep just went through to the nether and he took my lead with me. Let's go retrieve the lead real quick. The sheep's probably dead though. Oh, he's still alive. Okay, um, maybe he should come back through. There we go. And there's a villager in here too. How has this guy not died yet? Wait, here, come here, friend. Okay, it's fine. Looks like he wants to live here now. Let's go back through. Here's my sheep and my cow. Nice. All right, now I'm just gonna have to craft some fences for these guys. And I don't have nearly enough wood. Wood. Let's just tie them up right here for now, and then I'll go get some more wood. Okay, 41 fences. Let's build my animal pen down here too. I guess this will be our little farming area. I honestly did not expect to be setting up kind of a base during this challenge, but at least I'm having fun. And all this setup is going to make my life so much easier as we start doing some of the harder advancements. So it's definitely worth all the time and effort. But here's our animal pen. I'll divide it down the center since one's going to be for cows and the other one's going to be for sheep. Now we can move these guys in. All right, come here, friends. Let's try to separate them real quick. And there we go. That wasn't too difficult. Actually, it very much was, but... <laughs> and also, we still only have one cow, so we're gonna have to go get one more. Oh my gosh. But I did bring a second sheep home with me, so let's see if I can find that one. It's probably just wandering around up here. Hello, sheep. Where are you? Here he is. Okay, and the sheep farm is now started. Let's breed these guys. Oh, and we're gonna get an advancement for this. The parrots and the bats. Okay, now we just have to get one more cow, and then we'll finally be set up. This is taking way too long, but this should go a lot faster now because I have some leads. So instead of having to lure a cow back with some wheat, I can just drag it along with some leads. So let's take my horse and wow, this guy really is insanely fast. But the hunt for one more cow continues. Okay, so I've been searching around for quite a while, and check this out. I finally see some cows in the distance. They are so far away, though. Oh no, powdered snow! Okay, we're fine. So let's go all the way over there and grab one. Now, I know it might seem like I'm purposely wasting time right now, but I desperately need some food if we're gonna do all the advancements, since doing all the advancements is gonna require a ton of running around in this world. But here we have it. We got a cow. Let's just grab two, just for good measure. All right, friends. Okay, we made it. Wow, that was unnecessarily difficult. There we go. We finally have a cow farm set up. I can't believe how long this took. But there we go. Now we have some baby cows. Let's come up here and I'll tie up my horse. And now we're just going to have to do some farming to get a ton more wheat. And then we can get some more cows. But I think over in my chest, I should have some bone blocks from the nether. And this should make it a little bit easier. Yeah, here we go. Let's turn all this into bone meal. Look at that. Over a stack of bone meal. That's amazing. Then I'll use this to grow my crops. And it looks like our sugar cane is also doing fairly good. We almost have this entire area all filled up. So I'm just going to quickly do some more farming and I'll be back once I have enough crops. Actually, wait, it's been quite a while since we've done an advancement. So I think we should try to do a few of them as we're waiting for all this to grow. And I have some good ideas in mind. First, I'm going to empty out my inventory though. Now I'm going to need to gather up some more wood for this. We should also probably start replanting some trees as well. Wait, did I get no saplings from that entire tree? Yeah. Wow, that's honestly kind of rare. But let's just go around here and grab up a ton of wood. I'm just completely decimating this village. Oh, I found some saplings in this chest. Let's replant these real quick. And now I'm gonna grab one piece of coal, craft up some sticks, and then use all this to craft up a campfire. Since next up, I wanna try to get all of the bee advancements. Now, since we don't have silk touch yet, then I can't do the advancement called total bee location, but I can do the advancement called bee our guest. And to do that, you have to place a campfire underneath a beehive and then harvest the honey from it with some glass bottles. So I'm just collecting up some sand right now that will turn into glass. I'll throw this stuff in my furnace, have a quick nap, and craft up some glass bottles. Okay, now we just have to go find a beehive. I think I remember seeing one over here, so that's where I'm gonna search first. And instead of running, I should probably bring my horse with me. Here we go. And let's see what I can find. Oh, I see some bees flying over here. Yeah, look, there's one right there. But where is his hive, though? He looks kind of lost right now. <laughs> no, don't die. Let's search around for his hive real quick. Okay, so here's the bee, but where is his hive? Are you lost? Let's search around on foot for a bit. I don't know why this is so hard. Oh, here it is. Okay, nice. I found it. It's kind of like underneath all this stuff though. Maybe that's why he hasn't been able to access it. Let's just get rid of all the trees around it real quick. Maybe that'll make it a little bit easier for him to get home. But it is full of honey, so we should be able to get this advancement. Okay, it's all nice and cleared out around it. Now we're just gonna have to dig down, place a campfire underneath. And I should be able just to go like this. There we go. Be our guest. Cross that off real quick. Now, I've just been checking my advancements tab, and that's the 25th advancement that we've done so far. So we're definitely on track to complete 110 by day 100. But I still think we should try to do a few more as we're waiting for our crops to grow. Let's see here. What can I do? Ooh, light as a rabbit. Okay, that should be pretty easy, because we do have powdered snow right next to us, and I also have some leather boots. Let's see. Here are my boots. Let's go get this advancement done real quick. I think the powdered snow should just be right over here. Yeah, here we go. This is some powdered snow. Okay. Okay, let's put on my leather boots. 
And there we go. That was super easy. <laughs> White as a rabbit. That's the 26th advancement all done now. And let's see, what else can I do as we're waiting? Oh, fishy business. This one should be super easy. Let's go do that one real quick. And then maybe as I'm fishing, I can also get some good items too. Okay, let's see here. Do I have any string? I don't have any string. Okay, interesting. But let's sleep real quick. And I think I have an idea on how I can get a fishing rod. Over in this ocean, I saw tons of ocean ruins. And usually inside of those chests, it has fishing rods. So let's go check those out. Yeah, here they are. Here are the ocean ruins. And there's a chest. Nice. Let's go see if we can get lucky. Okay, no fishing rods, but I did find some other stuff. Let's see. There's probably more chests around here, though. Is there anything in here? Yeah, here we go. Okay, still no fishing rod, but another buried treasure map. Okay, what about in this one? Really? Still no fishing rods? <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be common. Okay, but I think there is one more chest over here, so let's just check. Wow, okay. I did not expect to get that unlucky, to be honest. So I guess we're gonna have to try this a different way. But I have just the idea. In here, there's some dark caves. And I might be able to find a spider down here. Let's just see. Okay, only a creeper taking a swim. What about in this cave? This one looks pretty big. Oh, I see some spiders. Okay, let's jump down. Oh, these guys both have speed. Okay. Hello. Okay, we got string already. Nice. Let's see. We have three. Okay, perfect. That's all we need. That was more difficult than it should have been, to be honest. But now we can craft up a fishing rod. Let's go catch a fish. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Fishy business. Nice. Honestly, not extremely easy, but we got it done. <laughs> so now that we have a few of those easy advancements out of the way, let's get back to the task at hand of breeding up my cows and farming. I'm just going to spend the next few days working on this, and I'll be back once I have a decent amount of cows. Wait, these guys are breeding. All right, I've made some great progress this last day, and here's what I've done. I've expanded my sugarcane farm to be massive, and I've also gotten quite a few sheep and cows as well. But since we are still waiting for all this stuff to grow, I have an idea for another advancement that we can do. And it's actually gonna be two that we're gonna do at once. I wanna try to do Star Trader and Caves and Cliffs. Star Trader is you have to trade with the villager all the way up at build heights, and then Caves and Cliffs is you have to survive a fall from build height all the way down to the bottom of the world. So I might as well do both of those at the same time. But it just became nighttime, so we'll sleep real quick. And let's start working on this advancement now. To get up to build height, I'm gonna need a ton of building blocks. Luckily, I saved all the deep slate when I went mining. And now we just have to bring a villager with us. I think up here there should be a farmer. Yeah, where is he? I just stole his workstation, so let's see if he wants to come over here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'll take this workstation. Let's see, can I lure any villagers? It doesn't look like it. Maybe I'll try this weaponsmith. Let's take his job. There we go, he's now a normal villager. Now it looks like he's easily persuaded. <laughs> all right, friend, come up here. You're going to be my test subject. I'm going to start it from the top of this mountain since then we'll have to build up the least amount of blocks. Okay, here he comes. I think this might just work. All right, let's get him into a hole. Wait, no, please come back. Ah, go in there, please. There we go. Now we have him trapped. Now we're just gonna have to build a staircase all the way up to build heights. What Y level are we at right now? 123, okay. So we're gonna have to build up about 200 blocks. Maybe this actually isn't a great idea because if I fall, then it's certain death. But we're gonna have to do it at some point, so I might as well just do it right now. All right, I'll be back once I've reached Y320. Okay, we're almost there. This is Y300. We just have to go up 20 more blocks. But I think for the advancement to count, it has to be over Y318. So we don't have to go all the way up to Y320. Here's 317 and 318. Whoa, that was the perfect amount of blocks. Wait, what are the odds of that? I ran out of dirt exactly as I reached 318. <laughs> That is kind of insane. Well, we are going to need a few more blocks, though. So let's craft up a crafting table and some slabs. And I guess I'll just go to Y319 just to be safe. And I'll make a little platform up here. This is so scary. If I fall, I'm definitely going to die. There's no way I can hit a bucket clutch from this high up. Okay, this should be a pretty good platform. Let's see. Can we place blocks on here? Yes. Okay, we should be good to go. Let's see. Is there any water that I can drop into? No. Ugh, I should have left some water down for me so I could jump down. But instead, we're just going to have to walk all the way down. Okay, before we go back up, let's make a big water pool down here just in case I accidentally fall so I'll have somewhere to land and so we can also get back down super easily and I think this should be big enough. I'll just fill all of it up with water now. And here we go, our nice little artificial lake. <laughs> oh wait, there's two villagers in here. I guess that's good, because one of them might fall off and die, so it'll be good to have an extra one. But it just became nighttime, so let's sleep real quick. Let's see if I can make this work. He just wants to talk to his friend. No, go to your job, please. Okay, let's just try this out right now. Let's see if it works. Okay, yep, one's coming up the stairs. I think this is gonna work. We're just gonna have to break and replace his workstation all the way up these stairs until we make it up here. This might take an extremely long time. <laughs> But here's a time lapse of me doing it. 
Okay, moment of truth. I'm up at the platform and we have our villager coming up. This honestly did not take too long. Let's see. Do I even have anything to trade with this guy? I have wheat. Hopefully he accepts that. Um, wait, I did not think this through. I don't have anything to trade with him. <laughs> Maybe I can craft some bread, but I don't think they buy bread. I think they might buy wheat. So let's just try to reroll his trade and see if I can get something. Oh, it's 20 wheat though. Okay. Uh, I think I might have to go back down real quick. Let's just block him up here. Oh, well, I guess I can't do that because we're at the build limit. But let's just drop down here real quick. Careful to avoid that one. Okay. Oh, we're going to have to go all the way back up. Oh my gosh. I did not think this through, but this shouldn't be too difficult to get the items that we needed. I'm either going to need to get some potatoes, some carrots, or some wheat. And I have all three of those growing over here. Whoa, and look at this. Our sugarcane farm has grown so much. Let's quickly harvest all this up and replant it. This has definitely been a good thing to do stuff while this is growing because we've been getting stuff done and now we also have all this grown. So I'm not wasting any time. Okay, there we go. I've planted up the entire sugarcane farm. When I was building this, I thought it was going to be too big, but I think it's actually the perfect size. So let's harvest up some wheat now, since we're going to need that to trade with our villager. And I think he wanted 19 or 20, right? So let's make sure we have enough before we go back up there. Okay, I have 34. That should be good. Let's see. Is he still there? Okay, he's wandered down a little bit, but he still is up there. Let's go all the way back up and trade with our villager. All right, so we're almost there. And as I was making my way up here, I realized that this is one of the advancements that I've never done before. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how it goes, but it is about to become nice nighttime here. So let's steal this bed from this villager and I'm going to try to sleep. This is my bed, dude. There we go. <laughs> okay. It's a brand new morning. Let's try to trade with this guy. Here we go. Star trader. Nice. Trade with the villager at the build height limit. This one was actually pretty cool. Let's go set up more. But now for the second advancement, and that's going to be caves and cliffs. I'm going to write down the coordinates of this block right here. This is 264, 289. And this is where I'm going to drop down to get the advancement. But first, we're going to have to dig all the way down to the bottom of the world. So I just need to squeeze by you real quick. Um, please don't push me off. Actually, I can just jump. <laughs> wow, it takes so long to drop. That's crazy. Let's see here. Let's try to find my same coordinates. 264, 289. That's going to be right here. Let's see. Is there anything in the way? Okay, this might be a problem, but I think it's fine. I really hope I line this up properly because if not, then I'm dead. <laughs> but let's go empty out my inventory real quick and then we'll mine all the way down to the bottom of the world. Oh, I should also be breeding my cows too. Let me go do that real quick. We already have tons of them. Then I guess I'll also do some sheep. Nice. Okay, well, let's just empty out the rest of my inventory crafting up a new shovel, killing up my hoe, and we should be good to go. This is honestly going to be an extremely scary advancement. If I mess up just one bit, then I'm dead. So I need to be extremely careful and do this correctly. Okay, so this is the correct block, 264, 289. And I'm going to dig down in two like this, since it'll make it a little bit easier to get back up once we're down there. But now we just have to mine all the way down. Wait, I just realized something. I need two buckets of water because I need one to get back up. And then I also need one to place down there. It's a good thing I didn't go down too far. Okay, let's craft up a new bucket, filling it up with water, and now we should have everything that we need. All right, let's keep mining. I'll be back once I'm all the way down there. Okay, we're here. It's 264, 289. That's this block right here. This is where we're gonna land. I'm so scared, guys. But here goes nothing. We have to make it all the way up here first, though. That might also take quite a while. Okay, we made it. Now we're gonna have to wait for all this water to go down. So in the meantime, I'm gonna tend to my cows and my crops. First, we'll do the crops, and then we'll do the cows. And then I guess I might as well also do some sheep. We're starting to have tons of animals. This is so good. Ooh, and then I also need to do my sugar cane. We have so much of this stuff now. Things are really starting to come together. After we do this advancement, we'll probably have enough stuff to make a full enchanting setup. This is exactly what I was trying to plan. Being productive while also waiting for things to grow. But it has been a little while, so let's go check on that water. Let's see here. Okay, it's still making its way down. Looks like it's almost there, though. There we go. Okay, we have our water right here. Let's just check one more time if this is the right block. And it is. Okay, everything should be all set up for me to do this. I'm so scared. Oh, here's our villager friend. Can you move, please? Um, um, this is dangerous for the both of us. Okay, we're at the top. Let's have a quick nap. Oh my, he just fell. Okay, well... <laughs> Glad that wasn't me. <laughs> Let's see here. If I look straight down, yep, I can see my water. Okay, moment of truth, guys. Um, how should I do this? I think what I want to do is go like this, make sure I'm centered exactly in the center of the block. I think this is about as close as I'm going to get. And then here goes nothing. Let's break the block and we'll see. Here we go. I'm not moving at all. Okay, we made it through there. 
Wait, we didn't get the advancements? Why not? Oh my gosh. What happened? I think I wasn't high enough. I think I might have to be actually at the complete build limits. Or maybe since I broke the block, then it didn't work. That is so weird. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to try again. At least we didn't die though. Oh, what a failure. <laughs> kind of disappointed to be honest. Okay, here we are. I guess we're gonna have to go tend to the crops and the cows again to wait for that water to go down. And then maybe I can also do some research to see why I didn't get the advancements. Okay, I just did some research and I think the reason why we didn't get it is because I broke that block. I think I just have to walk off the edge and then we'll get it. But that's honestly way scarier. But we have to do it. Okay, the crops have been tended to, the animals have been taken care of. So let's try this one more time. This better work this time. Okay, we're at the top. I'm gonna grab a few more blocks because I want to do the actual build limits, which is right up here. And now here goes nothing. Here we go. Oh, I'm scared. Please work. What? I didn't get the advancements again? What is going on? Let's see here. Yeah. Free fall from the top of the world to the bottom of the world and survive. That's exactly what I did. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, guys. Maybe this piece of bedrock is too high up. I have no idea. Maybe we should try down here. Well, let me just dig around a bit and see if I can find a piece of bedrock that's deeper. Yeah, this one might be good. Maybe I should try right here. Can't believe this is not working, though. This is 265, 289. Okay, so it's just one block over. All right, I'm basically gonna have to do the same thing as before and mine all this out. So instead of you guys having to wash this here's a time lapse instead oh minecraft Okay, this should not have taken so long, but I finally have everything all set up There's water all the way down at the bottom and everything should be good to go. So let's see if it works Here we go Please work <laughs> Okay, oh and we got it finally Oh my gosh, that took way too long. <laughs> Caves and cliffs, free fall from the top of the world to the bottom of the world and survive. We finally did it. But now we just have to go all the way back up to the surface. And we're finally at the surface. Wow, that took so long to get this advancement. But as I was on my way up here, I actually got a glow ink sack. Because if you see down here, there's tons of glow squids spawning in here. So that gives me an idea for another advancement. And this one's actually going to be super easy, I promise. All I have to do is grab my glow ink sack, look at one of my signs, and right click it. There we go. Glow and behold. But it just became nighttime, so I'm going to sleep again. And it's day 25 now. We're a quarter way through this challenge. And I still haven't beaten the Ender Dragon yet. What am I doing? But I'm going to do one more easy advancement, and then we're going to get all the leather from my cows, make some bookshelves, and get enchantments. Now, if you see up here, there's some goats. And I also have a boat. If we put a boat in a goat, I mean, a goat in a boat, <laughs> then we can get another advancement. So let's head up here and see if I can find these goats. Okay, there's tons of them up here. Nice. Hello, friends. Would any of you like to get in a boat with me? This one looks like he wants to. Let's go like this and then like this. And there we go. Whatever floats your goats. Get in a boat and float with a goat. <laughs> all right, let's get him out of the boat now. And that's another super easy advancement all done. So now I'm just going to go over to my cows and get a bunch of leather. And then with my sugar cane, craft up a ton of books. And I'll be back once I have all the bookshelves that I'll need for a level 30 enchanting setup. This should be pretty easy. I have tons of cows and tons of sugar cane. So let's get to work. Okay, after a bit more work, I finally have enough leather and sugarcane to craft up all these bookshelves. Wait, actually, hold on. I'm two leather short. I need 45. One moment. <laughs> I thought I had 45, but I guess not. This should be extremely easy, though. I'll just have to kill one of these guys. And there we go, 45. So now we'll head up here, turn all this into paper, and then into some books. There we go. And now I'm just gonna have to get some wood. I already have tons of it. Nice. And now we have to craft up some bookshelves. There we go, 15 bookshelves. Nice. If all goes to plan, this should be enough for a level 30 enchanting setup. Let's see here. Yep, there we go. Level 30. Nice. Now I have 31 levels, so I think we should try to enchant something. Let's see what my options are. Smite? No, thank you. Efficiency on my axe and pickaxe. What about on the armor? Protection 3, unbreaking 3, protection 3, unbreaking 3. Okay. I think I might do my chest plate. I don't know. Let's just try it. Okay. Not too bad, actually. Protection 3, unbreaking 3, and thorns 2. And we also got the enchanter advancement. Nice. Let's put all this back on. And what else can I get? <gasps> Looting 3 on my sword. That is really good. Okay. Let's try to get a few more levels, and then we'll get that. Now, right now, I don't really have a good source of XP, but I have an idea. I have some villagers, so I should be able to craft up two fletching tables and then get two fletchers. Let's see, does anybody else want to become a fletcher? This guy does. Nice, we have two now. Let's see. This one trades sticks, but this one doesn't, so we'll reset him. And there we go, they both trade sticks down. Nice. I'm just gonna have to go get some wood real quick. Actually, I already do have some. Let's turn all this into some sticks, and then we'll get some levels. Then I guess the added benefit is also getting some emeralds, too. Okay, one more trade. There we go. 30 levels. Nice. Let's 
Let's do looting three on my sword. Please don't give me smite or something. Oh, knockback. Okay. It could be worse, but that's still pretty good. <laughs> Let's see what other enchantment options we have real quick. Looks like just unbreaking for my tools. What about for the rest of my armor? Protection three on my boots, fire protection on the helmets, and unbreaking three on the leggings. Okay. None of that seems very good, and I also don't have that much XP, so I think we should do something else. Instead of waiting around here and wasting my time getting tiny bits of XP from both of these guys, I think we should go to the end to defeat the Ender Dragon, and then we can build an Enderman XP farm. And that's gonna be way worth my time than trying to trade with these guys. Now, we already have the Blaze Rods that we'll need, but the only ingredient that we're missing is the Ender Pearls. And to do that, I'm gonna be going to a Bastion in the Nether and trading with some Piglins to get Ender Pearls. And I can already tell this is gonna be very scary. <laughs> um, oh wait, we have these two extremely OP books, so I think I should use these to get a pretty good bow. Since Piglin Brutes are terrifying, and it's way easier to just shoot them with a bow. So let's buy a bow from this guy. And before we add any books to it, let's just see what it's offering here. Okay, punch one. That's not too good. That's fine. Let's head over here and grab my iron. And then I'll craft up an anvil. There we go. Now I can add these to my bow. Power five and infinity. Nice. That's going to make the nether so much safer. Oh, and then also something else that'll make it a lot safer is if I bring my saddle with me as well as my fishing rod. And then we'll just have to get a warp fungus on a stick to be able to ride a strider. And not only is that going to make it a lot easier to get around the nether, but it's also an advancement that we have to do. But besides that, I think I have everything that I need. Let's just empty out all this garbage real quick. I need to make lots of room in my inventory. Oh, we should also grab some building blocks too. Luckily, I have tons of those from my many failed attempts of doing caves and cliffs. And I also have an extra shield with me because my about to break and that should be everything that we need so let's go do this oh i'm so scared okay now we have a fortress off to our left and to our right so my best chance of getting a bastion is going to be either in front of me or behind me but we're also going to need to grab a fungus on a stick and you can only get those in warp forest or crimson forest so let's just check it out back here real quick oh yeah okay this is a crimson forest nice so i think we'll go off in this direction let's just see how am i going to get there though i might have to start my bridge from my existing bridge over here or maybe i can just go through the fortress i don't know that <laughs> fortress was very scary so i'm not sure if i want to do that right now but let's just check it out and see how it is okay Seems like we're okay for now. There is a wither skeleton in here, though. But I'll be able to... Oh my gosh, that jump scared me. <laughs> Whoa, I got a skull? What? Okay. Well, that's another advancement done. <laughs> I was not expecting that. There's another one over here. Wait, this guy can get through. Oops. Where's he going? Oh, okay. Hello. There's also blazes. And ghasts. Oh my. Everything is going terribly. Let's run back real quick. Oh my gosh. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, my health. Okay. Wow, this fortress is terrible. Wait, you know what? I think I got that skull because I have looting three. <laughs> I totally forgot that I got that on my stuff. Okay, go away, please. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Ouch, this hurts. Please don't kill me. I need to leave. Oh my gosh, there's so many blazes trying to snipe me. Oh, I should not be in here right now. This is not a good idea. I'm gonna try over here, I think. Oh, there's a skeleton shooting at me too. That's great. Okay, let's just quickly make my way through here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. Please. I think I might die. No, 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 no. Hurry, run around. I need to eat. I need to eat. No. I'm definitely dead, aren't I? Let's eat. Oh my gosh. That was insane. Okay. Sorry, I had to pause because I didn't know what I was going to do. <laughs> I needed to pause to collect my thoughts. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not cheating. Okay, let's get out of here like right now. Ooh, bone blocks. Let's grab those though. All right, so let's see where I can go now. Looks like we have some crimson forest over here. So I might be able just to make my way down like this. I don't know. Ooh, yes, look at this. Wart funguses. That's exactly what we're looking for. I guess I'll just start my bridge from here. I hear gas. I don't like this. This is like the scariest position to be in right now. But we're almost there. Come on. There is a piglin up here. Oh, there's multiple. Okay, you know what? I just realized I forgot to bring gold boots with me. This might be an issue. Oh, that was our first time shooting a bow. We got an advancement. And that guy just jumped into the lava. What? <laughs> oh, these guys are fighting. I'm just going to watch this play out real quick. Whoa. I wonder who's going to win. Okay, the Hoglin won. And now he's dead. Okay. Oh, wait, this is an island. Okay. Well, we're going to have to do a bit more bridging to get to these guys. That shouldn't be too bad, though. Okay, we made it. Let's grab our warped fungus, and then we'll craft a warped fungus on a stick. There we go. And now we just have to find some striders. And it looks like there's some over here. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna have to bridge out to get them, though. Wait, this one might be close enough. Nope, he's still too far. Okay, wait. Strider, come back. Look, he's looking right at me, but he's not coming. Wait, no, come back. Here he comes. Okay. <laughs> so now I should be able to grab my saddle and put it on him and then get on him. And then as soon as I right click this, there we go. This boat has legs. Nice. But now we just have to find a bastion and that might be easier said than done. And there's gas too. Oh no. Wait, is that? A That's definitely a bastion. Yep. Wow. I can't believe I just found that. <laughs> that was way too easy to be honest. This seed really is godlike. But check this out. There's a bastion right here. That is amazing. And it looks like a treasure bastion too. And while those do 
do have the best loot. They're also the most dangerous. And I kind of don't really want to be dealing with dangerous right now. I just want something easy. Let's see here. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. There's another one over here. And it's also a treasure bastion. Okay, that's insane. Oh, and something I just realized, there's a warp forest right here. Now, I've already been to the Basalt Deltas, the Soul Sand Valley, the Crimson Forest, and the Nether Wastes. So this is the last biome that I have to find in the Nether. And once we approach it, we should get an advancement. So let's see if this works real quick. There we go. Hot tourist destinations. Nice. That was very easy. And now we just have to loot this bastion. Oh, wait. And I also need to get some gold boots, though. Let's try to do that real quick. Let's get some wood over here to get a crafting table. And then there's also tons of gold around here, too. I think it's going to be a lot safer that way. Let's craft up a crafting table. Very nice. Now we just have to get some gold. I saw a ton back there, so I think we're going to go over there instead. But I am going to need to park this guy real quick. We'll put him into the garage. <laughs> Come here, friend. Oh, there's gold right here, too. This is great. Let's mine this up real quick. And I'm not going to need too much. I just need four ingots. Let's see how much that gave me already. 44, which is enough for four ingots. Wow, that was extremely easy. Okay, here are our gold boots, which will keep us nice and safe in the bastion. But let's get back on our strider, friend, and go check out this bastion. Treasure Bastions just look so ominous. It's like this giant blackstone box. It really does look like a scary place. But once again, we're going to park our Strider in the garage, which is right here. <laughs> okay, now since this is a Treasure Bastion, then I should be able to break into the side of it like this. And that's usually the safest way to do it. Oh, we got another advancement. Those were the days. Look at all the advancements we've gotten just in the nether this time. We're doing really good right now. Crossing off a ton of advancements. So let's see here. Yep, here it is. Oh, I'm one block too low. We have to go up real quick. Here we go. Okay. Yep, these are the guys that I don't like. But we have this pretty good bow now, so we should be able just to snipe them. And wow, they have so much health. What? This guy's taking four shots with power five to die. That's insane. I wish I had punch too, so I could knock these guys into the lava. But it is what it is. All right, I have my gold boots, so these guys shouldn't get angry at me. So I think I'm going to run straight into here, break this as fast as possible. There we go. And let's retreat real quick to analyze the situation. And wow, there actually are not that many brutes around here. They're kind of all on the sides. It's the ones that are on top that can drop down on you that I'm worried about, though. Because those ones you don't see, and they'll just drop down on you and kill you. Yeah, there's a normal piglin up there. Hmm. Let's get rid of this magma cube, too, though. Go away. Thank you. And you. Okay, let's see what's in these chests. Okay, tons of diamonds. Nice. We got another right upgrade smithing template. Lots of iron. A diamond chest plate. Nice. Some extra gold. Tons of good stuff. And we also got the war pigs advancements. Let's see. Yeah, nobody's mad right now. This is amazing. This is, like, easy mode. <laughs> okay, we got another right ingot. Nice. More another right upgrade smithing templates. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh, this guy's right here. That totally jump scared me. Okay. <laughs> See, that's exactly what I was worried about. <laughs> Thankfully, it wasn't a brute, though. Oh my gosh. But let's just grab the rest of this stuff. Yeah, look at all this diamond armor. This is insane. And we're also going to get another advancement from this. Who is cutting onions? And I think that's all the good stuff in here. Yeah. Let's grab some gold. Okay. Now we're going to gather up all these gold blocks, which I don't have room in my inventory for. One second. And these are what I'm going to use to trade with piglins to get ender pearls. But I think I saw one more chest over here. Let's be greedy and loot this one as well. Okay. Just obsidian and nothing else very good. I guess I'll take the iron. Okay, that should be good for down here now. That's everything that we can get inside of this treasure room. So now we're gonna go out here, and we have to go to a different part of the bastion, and that's gonna be right up here. Since up here, there's some more chests, but most importantly, there's more gold blocks. And I need as much gold as I can get if I wanna get some ender pearls. Let's see here. Yep, there's a brute. Okay, let's be careful. Okay, this guy's angry too now. He just... No, don't shoot me, please. Can he shoot from that far? I really hope not. Let's just snipe him. There we go. I hate how it makes all the piglins angry when you hit the brutes. Also, how many hits is it gonna take for this guy to die. What? That was like six hits. To be fair, I don't have any sharpness enchantments, but still, that is quite insane. Let's gather up these two gold blocks real quick. Okay, it's this section up here that has the chest. So let's try to go to that next. I already hear Piglin Brutes though. Yep, there's one right there. Wait, did he see me? Okay, oh, there's three of them. Okay, that's not very fun. Oh, they see me, they see me. Can they access me from here? Oh, I don't like this. Let's try to mine up like this. Yeah, this is a lot better. Nice, here they are. Hello, friend. Let's pillar up real quick. They're going so slow on the soul sand, but I guess I might as well use my bow to kill these guys because it does way more damage than my diamond sword. I think there's just one left in here. Oh, there's a normal piglin. Hello. This is so scary seeing him not angry at me. Ooh, he could get aggroed at any second, like right now. <laughs> and there's a gas too. Wait, this might go bad here. Um, hold on. Let's pillar up like this. Let's kill this ghast. There we go. Now we can worry about these guys. <laughs> okay, nice. We got those taken care of. Let's see, was that all of them in here though? I don't know. I don't hear anything. Yep, okay, we should be good. Um, Let's break it to the wall back here and I'll put a block in front of me to stay safe. And then we'll loot this chest. Ooh, ancient debris, nice. That's gonna give us another advancement hidden in the depths. Look at all these that we've gotten so far. That's crazy. Oh, we also have some string too, nice. I've been kind of having quite a bit of trouble getting string in this world, so this is gonna be good. But my inventory is just exploding. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got a golden apple too. Do I even have 
have room for that though. I can't believe I'm contemplating leaving a golden apple. Okay, we don't need this flint. I guess I might as well leave this shield and I'll grab those other things. Okay, nice. Now, if we go up here very carefully, there should be some more gold blocks up here. I'm just gonna block this off though so no one surprises me. Yeah, and right behind these blocks, there's some gold blocks. I remember all this from my speedrunning days. <laughs> all right, and now through this wall, there's one more chest room. Also speedrunning knowledge. Let's see. I'm just gonna block it off down here. Oh, yeah, I see brutes. Can they get to me from here? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I might just try to get rid of these guys. Oh, there's three of them. Hello. Let's use my bow. So it takes three shots with a power five bow. Let's see how many shots it takes with a regular sword. It takes seven swipes with a normal sword. Oh my gosh. That is ridiculous. Okay, well, we got some more ancient debris and even more, as well as gold, iron, magma cream, bone blocks, and obsidian. All very useful stuff. And now last but not least, up here, we'll have some more gold blocks right behind these blocks right here. Okay, it's just one this time. Nice. Now that's all the chests for this upstairs area, as well as all the gold blocks. We got 20 in total. So now we have to find some piglins to trade with. And I think I'm going to come down here and try to find some inside of the treasure room. Because I have been seeing lots of them. Yeah, there's tons down there. But unfortunately, there's also tons of piglin brutes. So we'll have to avoid those guys. Let's do some exploration real quick. Oh, there's a brute. Oh my gosh. That was so much fall damage. <laughs> What am I doing? Okay, well, we have tons of regular guys down here, but they're all gonna get angry as soon as I hit this guy. Oh, I thought that was the end, guys. Can I, like, get this guy to go into that lava? That might be kind of useful. Let's see. Maybe I can just get rid of my water, grab this lava, and then use it to kill the brute. Since if I kill him with lava, then it won't make the other guys angry. Let's see. Come here, friend. And, oh, come on. Oh, there's a guy right here. Okay, we better not make him angry. There we go. Now he's dying. Very nice. He didn't die from that? What? There we go. Now he's dead. I can't believe how much health these guys have. But I think down here, it should only be normal guys. Yeah, and there's quite a few of them. This is gonna be good. Yeah, there's tons of them. Okay, let's make a little trading pit down here now, and I'll try to lure all these guys in with some gold. I'm gonna haul this out back here like this, and then I'll go up like this two blocks, and if I take my gold boots off very briefly, and then throw them some gold, I should get the O shiny advancements. Wait, no, I have to have my gold boots off. Wait, let's keep them off. There we go. I got it. Okay, nice. And I quickly put them back on. Um, but they're kind of just trading randomly right now. So let's see if I can lure them into here. In you go, guys. Okay, there's our trading pit. Nice. Let's see. What do they trade me? Looks like nothing good so far. Oh, wait. I got ender pearls already. Nice. I didn't even see that go in my inventory. But I also brought some chests with me. So let's place those down. Let's just empty out all the stuff that we get. It's probably going to be so many items. But it's probably going to take quite a while for these guys to go through all the gold. So I'll be back once I have it all done. Why are they mad? No. Wait, no, don't be mad. Can you go into the hole, please? Guys, no, don't be mad, please. No, no, don't be mad. No, please be distracted by gold. <laughs> go in the hole. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get back to trading. These piglins are so stressful. Okay, all these piglins went through that gold extremely fast, but they're also extremely angry now. But I have just the idea on how to calm them down. It's gonna involve some gravel. Thank you for your service, guys. Okay, there we go. Nice. <laughs> now we got tons and tons of items from this. Most importantly, we got 14 ender pearls. That's that's basically exactly what we'll need. But let's see here. There's way too much stuff to put into my inventory, so I'm only gonna grab the most important stuff. I think the iron is important, so is the string. I guess I'll grab this Soul Speed 2 book, and I'll also grab these potions of fire resistance. The magma cream should be useful. So will the bones. And... Do I need fire charges? I think you might need those for some sort of brewing recipe, so I'm just gonna grab them just in case. But besides that, I think everything else is fairly useless. And if we ever need any of these items, then they'll be waiting for me here in this chest, so I can always come back. But let's just splash myself with fire resistance, grab my flint and steel, and let's head back home. That was a pretty successful bastion trip, to be honest. A few close calls, but we're about to make it out alive. Probably shouldn't say that too soon, though. Okay, we've officially made it out alive. <laughs> let's put on my diamond boots again to stay extra safe, and we'll take my strider out of the garage and now we can head back home okay we've made it back home i guess i'll just park this guy right here let's see can he fit in a one by one hole where's his hitbox yeah he should be able to there we go and he's nice and happy in some lava too oh wait i don't have any blocks to bridge up here um that might be a slight issue do i bridge with obsidian that's so cursed though oh i can always throw an ender pearl wait but i don't want to waste these though you guys are hearing my entire thought process right now uh okay i have an idea let's just get rid of one of my items and then we'll go around here and collect up some blocks and then i'll try to pillar up like this oh, i still can't reach Hmm, what should we do? This is a minor issue. Maybe I should just drink this fire resistance potion, and then I'll swim over here, and I can always mine up some more of these blocks over here. Yeah, all this should give us enough blocks. Whoa, look at this. Wait, is that my fungus on a stick? Oh no, he has his own. What? I did not know that was possible. Wait, so if I kill him, do I get another fungus on a stick? I don't really want to find out right now, though. Okay, but let's start making a bridge up here now. I think we should have enough blocks. Yep, perfect. Nice. All right, we're back home safe. That was quite the mission. All right, but now that we have our ender pearls and our blaze rods, that's everything we 
need to go to the end. But first, I'm just going to empty out my inventory real quick. Because we got quite a big amount of loot from that trip. Tons of ancient debris. Another right ingots. Loads of good stuff. Let's grab our blaze rods now. Turn them into blaze powder. Then into eyes of ender. Nice. Okay. Now, there are actually a few more things that I want to get before we go. And it's mainly going to be a bunch of extra blocks. And I also want to craft up another diamond pickaxe just in case. Because this one is getting pretty low. Let's just quickly see. What can I get on these? Yeah, only unbreaking three. That's fine. Okay, let's go back to the nether real quick. And let's get some netherrack to use as blocks. Actually, wait. There's no netherrack around here. Let's just use dirt instead. I forgot we were in the basalt deltas. But I'm going to craft up another iron shovel. And let's start getting some dirt. I'm also planning on going to an NC after we defeat the dragons. So we're going to need tons of blocks to bridge in the outer end islands. And we might also need some blocks to get up to the end pillars to shoot them down as well. So I think two or three sacks should be good. Okay, almost three stacks of blocks. I think that should be good. But now this is actually everything that we'll need. So let's throw our first eye and see where it goes. Okay, it's back this way. It's off in the minus 65 direction. Okay, here we go. Wait, I should bring my boat with me just in case. Where's the boat? Here we go. Okay, it's time for an adventure. Oh, I found another village and another one in the background too. Wow. Oh, and one right there too. <laughs> There's so many villages. This is actually good though, because I forgot to bring some beds with me. And I want to use beds to kill the dragon the speedrunner way. Because I can't be bothered to do it the normal way. So let's go to this village real quick and let's get some beds. I'm only gonna need about five or six, I think. And this village is huge, so there should definitely be enough in here. Okay, eight beds. That should be good. Let's see where the eye is taking us now. Okay, it's still off in this direction, so we are still pretty far. So I guess we'll just keep running. Ooh, look at this. Should I do a raid right now? I don't know. I kind of don't have good armor. Maybe I'll just get, um, actually, no. I need to restrain myself. Oh, but there's a ruined portal. Let's see. What do we have in here? Two golden apples. Nice. And nothing else that's very good. All right, let's keep searching. Whoa, I did not know lily pads broke when you hit them with a boat. I can't believe I didn't know that. You learn something new every day, I guess. Okay, let's see where the eye is pointing now. Still in the same direction. This stronghold is very far. I guess it's not too bad. I'm at 1600 blocks right now. I think that's about normal for a stronghold, but I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere in this swamp. We should be getting pretty close. Let's see now. Okay, still in the same direction. It hasn't even changed at all. And the eye broke. That's great. Okay, what about now? Ooh, okay, wow. We're very close. It went hard left. So that means we are getting very close. I think it's going to be right in this ravine right here. Let's see. I'm going to guess right here. Oh, it's over in these chunks. It's definitely going to be right here, right? Yep. Okay. It's going straight down. Nice. What chunk are we in? We're in this chunk. Okay. So if we go to 4-4 four, four in the chunk, which is going to be right here, this should be where the stronghold is. I hope I don't fall into lava or something. Let's just heal up first, just to be extra safe. Oh, yep. Okay. Here we are. And we got the eye spy advancement. Nice. All right. Now to just find the portal. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. Ooh, a library. Nice. Um, I don't really feel like loading up my inventory with this stuff. So I guess I'll just come back in the future. At least we know that this stronghold has one. Let's see here. Yep. Here it is. Nice. Now I do have to make sure to kill a silverfish because we have to kill every single mob today. There we go. Okay. I've killed plenty of them. Let's break this now real quick. Oh gosh. There's so many. They keep spawning. Ah, go away. There's more spawning. Oh my gosh. Stop it, please. How are there? There's, it, this is getting out of control. This was a bad idea to try to kill one. Ow, they're doing so much damage. Okay, is that it? Oh, there's still one more right here. I can just hear more and more spawning. Okay, look at how many spawn. This is crazy. Let's see, how many eyes do we have? Okay, it's a one eye. That's actually perfect because one of my eyes broke. Let's fill all these in. And here we go. Let's do this. Oh, I like fell through it. Okay. Well, here we are. It's a good thing I brought some blocks. Oh my gosh, because we do have to pillar to get to this. Okay, we're here. Hello, dragon. Hello, enderman. Let's head to the center as quick as possible. I'm going to pillar up right here. Place two obsidian. That's going to be used to kill the dragon with the beds. Okay, we'll do hitboxes now, and we just have to wait for it to perch. Okay, it looks like it might be perching here in a little bit. It's circling up right now. That usually means it's about to perch. Let's see here. Yep, it's perching. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Don't mess this up, Julian. Let's line this up like this. We'll get my beds ready. Here we go. Okay, I'm doing a decent job. This should be the last bed. There we go. Nice. That was pretty easy. Let's make sure to get rid of all this fire, though, because it's going to burn all the XP otherwise. Hurry, 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 hurry. No, the XP is burning. No, no, no. 
Okay, but look at that. So much XP. Nice. Wait, I didn't get to free the end advancements. Is that because I killed it with beds? I think that might be the reason, because I didn't actually kill it myself. Let's see in my statistics. Yeah, I haven't killed an ender dragon yet. Okay, so I guess when we have to respawn it for the other advancement, then I'll have to kill it by hand. But that's fine. Let's grab this real quick. Where'd it go? Here it is. This is going to give us another advancement. I'll go down here, place a torch, and here we go. The next generation. Nice. Okay, now where's that gateway? It's right over here. Since we're already in the end, I'm going to try to go get the elytra now. I hope this doesn't end terribly. Let's just carefully bridge over to this gateway now. Wow, it's very far. And it's over the void. Not very fun. Hello. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, we should be able to throw a pearl through it. And here we are. Okay, are there any end cities? Yes, there's one right there, but it doesn't have a ship. Ugh, I guess we might as well just go check that out. Let's pearl over here. There we go. You know what? It might actually not be worth it to go over there. That's extremely far away. I'm gonna have to do a ton of bridging. So let's just go off in this direction and see if I can find one that has a ship. So far, it's not looking so good, though. You know, as we're here, let's go grab some chorus fruit real quick, and let's eat one of these. There we go. Because if you see over here, which tab is it in? Yeah, it's part of the a balanced diet advancements. You have to eat everything that's edible. And chorus fruit is one of them. But I only have one ender pearl left, so I think I should try to get a few more. This might be kind of dangerous, though. I'm going to dig myself a little hole right here. And I should be able just to look at some endermen. And then they'll come right down here, and I can hit them. And I have looting three, too, so this should work pretty good. But I don't have a sharpness, so it's taking forever. <laughs> Let's make you angry. Hello. Wait, no, come back. Here he is. Hello. Okay. Whoa, we got so many pearls from that guy. We got four. Let's just get one more Enderman's worth of pearls. Hello. There we go. We have eight pearls now. That should be good. But it looks like we're kind of at a dead end here, so we're going to have to do a bit of bridging. And I still have tons of blocks, so we should be good. Okay, I still haven't found any end cities. Maybe I should have gone and checked out that other one. <laughs> but it didn't even have a ship, so it's fine. Oh my gosh, look at this. I finally found one. That took so long. Oh, and it looks like a pretty big end city too. But most importantly, it has a ship. And I also had to gather up a ton of blocks to bridge out over here, and I broke my other diamond pickaxe. But it's fine, because I brought a second one with me. But it looks like we're going to have to do some more bridging right here. Actually, I might just be able to pearl. I'm always scared to do this, because I think I might mess it up. But there we go. That was a good pearl. And look at that. We're going to have the elytra very soon. I think that's going to be the first thing that I'm going to go get. So we are going to have to gather up some more blocks real quick. So let's do that real fast. Okay, a stack of endstone. That should be enough. Wait. Is it? I don't know. That's pretty high up. I guess we'll just try it out and see if it works. Let's go like right here. Oh, and then also while we're out here, there's also a few advancements that we can get. One of them is going to be the city at the end of the game, which we'll get very soon. That's the one you get when you enter an end city. And I don't think this was enough blocks. Oh gosh. Yeah. Oh, we got the advancement. <laughs> I'm almost there though, and I still have some dirt, so I think we'll be fine. Here we go. We'll go like this, and then I'll break in. And there it is. Let's just heal up real quick. Now we can fight this guy. Go away. Okay. Nice. Let's grab the elytra, which will give us another advancement. Let's see what's in here. Unbreaking three diamond helmets. I'll take it. Another diamond helmet. Okay. Beetroot seeds and nothing else very good. Okay. Now another advancement that we can get is going to be local brewery. We'll get that if we take this out. There we go. That was a super easy advancement. You might as well grab this as well. Let's just kill this guy real quick. Oh, he teleported. That's not very fun. I guess I'll go out here and grab the dragon head. This doesn't give you an advancement, but it is nice to have. <laughs> Let's put on the elytra now. Let's fly to the rest of the city. There's going to be some more chests up here, so let's try to go to that first. I'll just use my water to get up here. And there's also tons and tons of shulkers in here, so I need to be extremely careful. Okay, here we are. Maybe I should put on this respiration diamond helmet. That would be good. Now I can breathe in the water for a little bit. But we just made it into here. Let's try to get rid of all these shulker bullets. Let's see. Mending diamond pickaxe. Nice. I guess that replaces the one that I broke earlier. Okay, diamond sword. Very nice. I'll definitely be disenchanting that, though. Let's quickly break out of here and see if there's any more chests. Looks like there might be some right here, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's just go investigate. Yeah, there's not going to be any chest in here. Okay, let's get rid of you real quick. Ooh, we should also get some shulker shells to craft shulker boxes. That would make my life so much easier. I'm probably not going to need tons of shulker boxes, but we should at least get a few. Right now, I have enough for one shulker box. Let's try to kill some more of these guys. Hello. Ow. Hello, friends. Okay, that's our fourth shulker shell. That's enough for two shulker boxes. Let's just get enough for three. I think that should be fine. There we go. We have five. We just need one more. All right. Hello. No, I hate when they teleport. It's so annoying. Where did you go? I guess I'll kill a different one. 
Oh, wait, this one's going to have some chests right here. This is one of the three-story ones. Yeah, nice. There's also tons of shulkers in here. Oh, gosh. Hello. Okay, we have all the shulker shells that we'll need. These guys are just not dying. Thank you. And look at that. We got tons more diamond armor. Nice. Oh, protection four. That's really good. Let's swap that out right now. And we also have an ender chest, too. Now, I don't have a silk touch pickaxe, though, so I won't be able to mine that. But I guess I could mine it for the obsidian. Oh, that's kind of useless, I think. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, and that's all the loot in this end city. We looted that extremely fast. Oh, there's one more over there. Hmm. Actually, wait, now that I have levitation, let's try to get this advancement. If I go up like this, then I'm dying in a wall. Oh, gosh. And I almost just died right there. <laughs> that was not a good idea. <laughs> Basically, I'm trying to get the advancement great view from up here. And you have to get it by teleporting from a shulker's bullet up to 50 blocks up, I think. But I think you can kind of get it easily if you ender pearl to a higher location. So that's what I was trying to do. But it didn't really work. Let's just see here. I do need a few more ender pearls, I think. Let's just make a little pit and farm up some more endermen real quick. With my looting three sword, this should go very very fast. Hello, get angry. Okay, hi. This is so scary. Come here, hello. Okay, we got four ender pearls. That should be good. Let's try to prompt one of these guys to shoot me. And if I teleport to a higher location, then it should work. Let's see. I'm going to let one of these guys shoot me. Okay. Now, if I teleport up here, that didn't work. What about up here? That still didn't work. What about... Oh, gosh. Well... <laughs> it ran out. This is a bit harder than I expected. How do I get this advancement? I swear I've done it like that in other worlds, but let's try to have this guy shoot me again. Here we go. Let's try to teleport up here now. Oh, my pearls are not landing high enough, I think. Let's see. Come on, work. Oh, it didn't work. My pearl's right there. And it just teleported me down here. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're gonna need to get some more ender pearls. Something that scares me quite a bit. But I guess I'll put my chest plate back on. Get some enderman angry. Go back into my hole. Hello. Oh, I got way more angry than I wanted to. I better not mess this up. Hello. Give me ender pearls, please. Okay, how many did we get? Five from those three. Nice. Let's just get a few more. Okay, we have nine pearls. I really hope this works now. How can I do this? an easy way. Maybe I should pillar up with some blocks and then I'll teleport into those blocks. Let's try that instead. It's just going to take a little while to get it set up though. So I'll just do that real quick. Okay, I have 55 blocks. Now, I'm just going to make a pillar going up like this right here. And if I ender pearl to the top of this pillar, then this should work. Okay, 55 blocks. Nice. Let's fly down here now. And let's try this again. Hello, friends. Shoot me, please. Okay, we'll go like this. Wait for them to shoot me. Let's teleport up here. Wait, is that going to work? Let's try again. Oh, gosh. Let's try. There we go. We got it now. Great view from up here. <laughs> that was kind of tricky, but let's see what it says. Levitate up to 50 blocks from the attacks of a shulker. Nice. Okay, well, that's everything that we can get at this end city now. Those are all the advancements, as well as all of the loot. So let's head back home. Let's see, how far are we? We're 2,300 blocks away. Oh my gosh. It might take a while to get back home. Maybe I'll try going up here real quick, and then I'll just glide off. Okay, here we are. Let's go all the way up this. And I think home is in this direction. Let's see, do I have my elytra? Yes. Oh, I just got hit. Okay, well, I guess this will give us a little bit more more distance. <laughs> and there we go. We're gliding now. Nice. You know, we might actually be able to make it back like this. Actually, maybe not. <laughs> but it is definitely going to save a ton of time. Yeah, here's one of my old bridges. And here we are. That was about half the distance covered in just 10 seconds. Definitely worth it. But we're going to have to walk the rest of the way. Okay, and here's our gateway. Let's see. Can I glide to this? Oh, this might be dangerous. Um, should I do it? I don't know. I'm scared. Let's just try. Wait, no, I'm not going to be able to. That was really dangerous. <laughs> I just need to gather up a few more blocks to be able to bridge that gap. Okay, and this should be good. Now, real quick before we leave, though, let's check the advancements tab in the end. Let's see. Yeah, we haven't gotten free the end yet, but we'll get that when we respawn the dragon, which is going to be this one. And then we also have to get you need a mint. But besides that, we've completed all the advancements in the end. That was honestly not too difficult. Let's just make my way back up here now. And then I can bridge across. And we'll head back home. Nice. Here we are. All right, that was a very successful end trip. And here are the end credits. But we don't have time for that, so let's skip it. How do I do that? There we go. Okay, and here's our house. So now that we have the dragon killed and we also have the elytra, it's time to get some better enchantments. And I'm going to do that by building an enderman XP farm. Those are extremely easy to build and it's going to give us a ton of XP. Way more than these guys ever could. But we do have 70 levels though, so let's just real quick try to get some enchantments. I wonder if we can get anything good. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything too good actually right now. Maybe I'll try my luck on this pickaxe. I don't know. Let's grab some lapis. Let's just try it out. Okay, unbreaking three efficiency four. Not too bad. We also have a mend 
ending one right here. But let's see what else. Yeah, nothing very good. Okay, so let's have a quick nap. And let's work on building this Enderman XP farm now. Actually, wait. Since we have the Elytra, I think we should first work on getting some firework rockets. Let's see. I only have six gunpowder. Oh my gosh. How many firework rockets can I craft with that? 18. That's not too bad. But let's see. Can I get gunpowder from any other sources? I'll probably have to build a creeper farm or a ghast farm. A ghast farm is probably going to take way too long. So instead, I think we should build a creeper farm. Those are also extremely easy to build and it should go pretty quick. So let's quickly work on that instead. I'm just going to need some building blocks, some trap doors, and I'm actually going to need a ton of this stuff. I'll be needing 20 stacks of cobblestone. And right now I only have one. And I'll also be needing six stacks of trap doors. And right now I only have eight. So let's head down into this cave right here and let's start mining up some stone. <gasps> oh, wait, since we just enchanted our pickaxe with efficiency four, this is going to go so much faster. Yeah, look at this. This is so nice. Okay, this shouldn't take long at all. Okay, I've mined all this out for 20 stacks of stone, and I also found this guy. Now, I'm just going to keep him in this boat for now, but we will need him for later advancements. I really hope he stays safe down here. But like I was saying, here's all the cobblestone. Now to just chop down a ton of trees. And here's everything. Wait, I guess now would be the perfect time to craft up some shulker boxes. Let's see, I think I might be able to craft four. Yeah, I have the perfect amount of wood. Nice. Look at that. Now I should just be able to grab my items like this and then load them up into here. Shulker boxes are so nice to have. This is going to make everything so much easier from now on. But let's get the rest of my items all loaded up. And I think we're ready to go now. Now this farm has to be built above an ocean, but that's perfect because we have two giant oceans right next to us. So I think I'm going to build it over here. Let's grab up our items. Let's go do this. I can't wait to have firework rockets. I mean, I already have some right now, but I should probably preserve my elytra durability until we get enchantments because elytras without unbreaking three are basically useless. So let's just swim into the rough center of this ocean real quick. We'll also take a nap on the seafloor. And now I'm just going to grab up my dirt as scaffolding blocks. And we have to pillar up to be pretty high off the ground. And that's going to make sure we get the max possible rates for this farm. So let's pillar up. Okay, here we are. Now I'll just have to grab out my slabs. And that's what I'm going to make the AFK platform out of. It's going to go right over here. And here it is. Now right over here, I'm going to have to place down a chest with nine hoppers running into it like this. And then on top of those hoppers, we'll place some slabs. And now with our cobblestone, we're going to have to build up a drop chute around this. And this is where the creepers are going to fall. And then real quick for added safety, we're going to add some trap doors like this. Since I don't want to get blown up by a creeper up here. And now we just have to continue the drop chute all the way up. All right, so now that I'm up here, we got to place some stairs like this. And this is going to be so the creepers don't get stuck on the edge of the block as they get pushed off by water. And then we're just going to have to connect all this up with some blocks like this and then build out a little platform. All right, now that we have this, I have to place some trap doors like this, making sure to open them so some creepers can fall through. And now we have to build up these walls. And here's how it's looking so far. Now we just have to build the spawning platforms. And those will look like this. Now on top of all of these, we're going to have to place some carpet so no spiders can spawn. And then in the center right here is going to be the thing that powers this entire farm. And it's going to be centered in the middle of all of this. We're just going to have to build out a plus shape like this, getting rid of these blocks. And then we can build up one, place some fences. And then right here, we're going to place some trap doors to trick the creepers into falling down. The creepers aren't very smart. <laughs> Buttons to prevent anything from spawning on these blocks. And I actually forgot the thing that I need, and it's right down here. It's going to be the ingredients to spawn a snow golem. And that's what's going to power this farm. It's a lot easier than getting cats all the way up here. But here we go. Nice. Now we just have to close these trap doors, build some walls around all of this, and then we'll place trap doors on top of all the spawning platforms so only creepers can spawn in here. And now that we have that done, the last step is to place blocks on top of all these trap doors. And here's the first layer complete. Now I'm just gonna repeat this exact same thing two more times for a total of three layers. And I'll be back once I'm all done. Okay, and here are the three layers all done. Now there's only one thing left to do. If we come down into here, we're gonna have to place down water on top of all these exposed blocks right here. So I'm just gonna set up a quick infinite water source like this, and then we'll place down water on top of all of these blocks. Okay, nice. Let's get rid of all of this, and everything should be working now. That's the farm basically complete. Let's just head up here now, get rid of my water. Let's just see if this water is all good down here real quick. Okay, and it is, nice. And now the last step is to seal it up up top right here. And there we go, the farm is all done. Just to prevent anything from spawning up here, I'm going to place down some torches. And let's go see if this thing works. Let's check with the F3 screen. Okay, nothing spawned up there so far. Let's see here. Please work. Okay, still nothing. I hope I built this correctly. Hello, any creepers? <laughs> oh wait, it's working. Yeah, look, there's creepers spawning. Nice. I got scared for a second. Let's see here. Are there any more up there? Yeah, there's four creepers up there. Nice. This is amazing. And with looting three, this is going to get me a ton of gunpowder. Yeah, look, we already have nine and it hasn't even been that long. So I guess I'll just spend the rest 
rest of today at this farm and we'll see how much gunpowder we get. I'll be back once it's day 40. Okay, the sun just came up on day 40, and we have a few more creepers left in here. I'll just kill the rest of these guys. Oh, and there's more coming. Oh my gosh. Let's see how much we've gotten. Okay, wow. That's actually a lot more than I was expecting. Just over two stacks of gunpowder. That's pretty good. Looting three definitely helps. But now we can head back home. And now let's see how many firework rockets I can craft with all this. Hopefully a pretty good amount. First, we'll harvest up some sugarcane. All of this is fully grown. Now I'll turn this into paper, and then into some firework rockets. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have so many. Just over seven stacks. That is so good. That's definitely gonna last me quite a while. And I guess I'll store the extras in this shulker box. But that's the first farm done. Let's start working on the second farm. And that's gonna be the Enderman XP farm. Now, this is probably the last farm that I'm gonna build today because we're running out of time very quickly. But both of these farms are essential, so it's good that we're gonna have both of them. But let's start gathering up all the materials that we'll need to build this Enderman farm. And you know what? Let's just start flying. Look at this. <laughs> Our first time using firework rockets. And look at the durability on our elytra. Oh my gosh. It's going down one every second. That is insane. I should definitely limit the amount that we use this. But the first ingredient that I'm going to need is a bunch of spruce leaves. Now, I guess it doesn't matter what kind of leaves I use, but I think spruce leaves are the easiest to gather up. So first, I'm going to gather up some saplings. There we go. Eight saplings. Nice. We'll fly back over here now. Grab our extra bones. And then I'll come down here to grow some spruce trees. There we go. All right. I'll be back once I have 10 stacks of leaves. And here are all the leaves. I got quite a few extra because I also want to make a room attached to the side of the farm with my enchanting setup. And I guess I might as well just also build that out of leaves. But that's the main thing all done. And we just have a few random things left to get. So first up is some stone. And then while that's melting, I'm also going to need to gather up some carpets. So let's shear all of my sheep in here and then craft it up into some carpets. Wait a minute. You're not a sheep and neither are you. It's getting so chaotic in here. But that's all the carpet that we'll need. And now next up, I need some hoppers. And I'm going to need nine of these. Do I even have enough? iron? Oh, I don't. Wait, hold on. We have to go mine for some iron. <laughs> this should be fairly easy, though. Let's just head down into this cave real quick. Oh, and we have some friends. I'm glad our zombie villager is still here. Wait, let's have the skeleton kill the creeper. No, don't explode! Okay, well, that backfired. I guess we can always get another zombie villager. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Okay, but real quick, I'm gonna head down into this giant cave. Let's see if I can find some iron. Whoa, there's tons of glow squids. Oh my gosh. Let's see here. Where's all the iron? Okay, I see some. Nice. Whoa, whoa! Okay, I guess that's why shields are a thing. But that should be all the iron that I need. I got 43, that's plenty. All right, here's all the iron. Let's smelt all of it up, craft up the rest of our hoppers. And now the last ingredient that we have to get is gonna be fairly difficult since we have to get a name tag. Actually, wait, I'm doing a test in creative real quick and I think you might not actually need name tags. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm 128 blocks away and this guy is not despawning. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> Let's just go into survival real quick. Yeah, he's still there. Okay, perfect. This is amazing. Oh wait, that's not amazing though. It's okay, this is just the testing world. <laughs> okay, but that's great though. That means we won't have to get a name tag. So this is basically everything that we'll need. Actually, hold on. I think I would like to bring a bucket of lava with me to make this a little bit easier. We should have some lava right here. Nice. Let's go like this. And with this lava and water, we're gonna use it to build down towards Y0. Since this farm has to be built at Y0. Kind of scary. <laughs> but this should be everything that we need. The only thing I'm missing is ender pearls, but we can get those once we're in the end. So let's go do this. Let's put my elytra on. And let's go see if we can find that stronghold now. If I remember correctly, it was over in this direction next to a swamp. But we have to go fast. My elytra durability is quickly deteriorating. Oh wait, I knew I forgot something. I need to bring some books with me and my enchanting setup. I had a feeling that I had forgotten something. Okay, let's grab my extra shulker boxes and then I'll collect up all these bookshelves. Oh, and we also have extra diamond armor and tools to bring too. Oh, and we should also bring my diamonds as well. Oh my gosh, I forgot so much stuff and I have tons of extra stuff in here too. What was I thinking? Well, it's good that we weren't too far, but I'm just gonna need to rebuild all these bookshelves now. There we go. And I also want to craft some more books to bring with us as well. I think 42 is more than enough. Ooh, let's also bring a grindstone as well. We are forgetting so many items today. Let's craft a slab. And then if I remember correctly, the grindstone recipe is like this. Nice. And we also have our anvil as well. Okay, this is actually everything we need now. I'm glad I remembered this because that would have been bad. Especially with my Elijah durability, I want to limit the amount of flying that I'm doing as much as possible. But that's everything we need. So let's go find that stronghold now. And I'm pretty sure it's just right behind this hill. Yep, Here's the ravine. Okay, this is where it is. Oh, and here's my hole. Nice. And there's the stronghold. <laughs> it is becoming nighttime though, so let's sleep. And then I'll carefully fly down here. I still don't have Feather Falling 4, so I need to be extremely careful of fall damage. And here we are. If I remember correctly, it should just be right here. Yep. 
Nice. All right, here we go. Okay, now right over here is where we're gonna build this. So I'll grab some temporary blocks and place my lava right here. And then as we wait for it to go all the way down to Y0, I'm gonna farm up some more pearls because I need ender pearls to spawn an endermite. Okay, let's make our safe tunnel in right here. And we're just gonna have to make some endermen angry. All right, friends. Hello. I hate doing this. It's so scary. Okay, just about two stacks. That should be enough. And we are in the end, so we can always get more if we need. But let's see here. I think the lava should be down at Y0 by now. Yes, it is. So now all I have to do is grab my water, place it down right here, and it should convert all this into cobblestone. That is so satisfying. Look at that. So let's grab my lava now. We can get rid of these temporary blocks. And then I guess I'll leave my water right here so we can get up and down safely. I hate building this farm, though. It is so terrifying, but very worth it. All right, let's just get my stuff organized real quick. The first ingredient that I'll need is all my spruce leaves. All right, now for the scariest part. Let's make sure my elytra is on just in case. And I have firework rockets at the ready. <laughs> but now we just have to carefully make our way down here. Okay, and there's the void. Now very carefully, I'll have to place a block right at the bottom like this. Okay. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> and now we're just gonna have to bridge out 128 blocks away from the main end island. All right, and here we are, all the way at the end of this platform. Now, basically over here, we're gonna have to make the spawning platform, and it's gonna be surrounded by leaves with stone in the center. And it's gonna look something like this. Oh, wait, I forgot to bring torches with me, but I think I have an idea. I might be able just to put my lava in here like this. Wait, let's elevate it just a little bit, just in case. I don't want it to set these leaves on fire. And this should provide enough light. Let's see. Yeah, it does. Okay, nice. Because we don't want Endermen spawning on here just yet. But now I just have to expand this platform to be three wide. This is where the Endermen are going to get angry at the Endermites and run. And then right here, we're going to have to build some stairs. Something like this. And then behind these stairs is going to be the killing area. And I'm also going to place some slabs right here as well. Okay, wow, this is very scary. I hate this. <laughs> All right, but here's the farm almost fully complete. I'm just going to have to place some double carpets over here like this. And then right on top of here is where the Endermite's going to go. He's going to go right here. So I'm going to build up something like this real quick placing down some rails having my minecart ready and i guess we'll try to spawn one oh my gosh first try how is that even possible hello do you want to go in the minecart oh no okay he doesn't um ouch that hurt wait no <laughs> this is bad <laughs> what do i do let me try to just bridge out like this okay here's our friend maybe i have to break one of these yeah and then place the minecarts let's see come on go in Please go in. Please go in. There we go. We got him in. Oh my gosh. He was getting me low, but he's in the perfect spot. Nice. All right. Let's tear all this down now. And I'm actually really scared here. He might be able to hit me off. And down there is the void. So I need to be extremely careful. Oh gosh. I hate Endermites. Let's just push him back a little bit. There we go. That's going to make sure the Enderman can't get to him. But let's just finish this up over here real quick. Placing down tons of carpets as well as getting rid of all my dirt. And now if everything goes to plan, this should work. And I think just for safety, I'm going to build the enchanting setup back here. So let's make a little platform out here like this. Making sure it's covered with a roof as well. Okay, and here's our little enchanting room. <laughs> I guess I might as well enclose all these walls too, just to be extra, extra safe. Okay, let's go build this enchanting setup now. Here's my shulker box full of all my goodies, and I'll build it something like this. Nice. I'll place down my anvil, my grindstone, and the chest, and I just realized I forgot lapis. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, let's just see if this farm works first, and then we'll have to go back and get some. Ah, I can't believe myself. It's okay, though. Okay, now how am I gonna do this? Maybe I should come up like this, and then I can access the farm like this, maybe? I don't know. I think this might be the safest way. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. Let's grab up my lava, get rid of all this dirt, and now as soon as we run over here, then Enderman should spawn behind me. Moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Quickly make it into here. Let's see. Okay. They spawn, but they don't see the Endermites. Is the Endermite still in there? What's going on? I don't really hear it anymore, so maybe it died. How would it have died, though? Let's see. How can I tell if it's still there? Oh, yes. It died because I have thorns on my armor. Okay. Well, minor setback. Let's try to do this one more time. Ah, I can't believe myself. This is why I hate thorns. But we still have plenty of Ender Pearls, so I guess we'll try again. You know what? Maybe I should go grab a chest plate without thorns. That might be a little bit better. Wait, my only other chest plate has thorns three, but this one has thorns two? Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll have to do it without a chest plate. Okay, here we go. Let's try. Oh, there's one. There's one. Um, wait, hold on. I forgot to place the rails. <laughs> one second. <laughs> he was getting me low. Let's go like this. In you go. Very nice. Okay, and then we'll have to push him over this way. Hello. Ouch, this hurts. Wow, he does a lot of knockback. In you go, please. There we go. Did he just die? No. Okay, the Enderman can't see him because there's blocks in front of him, so we should be okay. Let's just quickly remove all these blocks. This farm is so stressful. All right, now as soon as we remove this block, the Enderman will get super angry. Let's see. 
Yep, here they come. Oh my gosh. Did, did he just die? Yeah, he got killed. Oh my gosh. I hate this farm. All right, let's try again. <laughs> Maybe I should just build a different design, actually. I don't know. Okay, so I've done some research, and apparently in the 1.20.2 update, Endermen can reach higher than they used to. So that means they're super easily able to kill the Endermites. But I need to get all these guys to despawn now. Um, How am I going to do that? I need to be careful not to look at any of them. So let's just quickly make my way over here. This is terrifying. And then I'm going to do the same thing as I did before and place some lava inside of here. And this will light it up enough so no more of them can spawn. This is chaos. I need to not look at them. Uh, okay. Run away quickly. <laughs> Let's go all the way over here and they should all despawn behind me. Let's just wait for that to happen real quick. Okay, any second now. Have they despawned yet? No. Weird. Oh, it's the ones that are holding blocks that can't despawn. I hate this. Guys, why? <laughs> okay, I might just have to take care of them. I should have also brought some torches with me. Okay, now I might be able to go into here and kill them. Hello, friends. Thank you. Goodbye. Now let's get this guy angry, and we'll also kill him. And now I'm also going to try to get all of these guys angry. Here we go. Hi, friends. Okay, that's the last of them. Let's go up here now, get rid of all this dirt, and let's try this again. We're going to place the Endermite two blocks higher, so that's right here. So I guess we'll see if this works. All right, here we go again. Finally, oh my gosh. That took like three stacks of pearls. Oh wait, no, 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 this is bad. Oh my gosh. Let's heal up real quick. This guy's getting me low. Let's try to push him in. There we go, we got him in. Nice. Let's get him into his center spot now. There we go. Okay, and we should be good. Let's see if this works. I really hope it does. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, he's angry at him. Okay, I thought he was angry at me. Wait, please go away. Oh, that was terrifying. Is the Endermite still there though? No, he's dead. What? What's happening to this thing? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm giving up on using an Endermite, and I have a different idea instead. I'm just gonna come down here like this. First, I'll have to get rid of my lava, though. And then we can tear all of this down. And now I'm just gonna break a block right here and right here. Then I'm just gonna look at the Endermen to make them angry, because clearly this is not working. Let's just go over here and get rid of these two blocks real quick, though. And then push this guy off. Goodbye. All right, so let's see if this will work now. I'm just gonna have to head over here and get all these guys angry. And yeah, this looks like it's working pretty good. And we'll just kill them like this. It's probably not going to be as efficient as using an Endermite, but that's fine. I don't need a crazy efficient farm. I just need to get a little bit of XP to get some enchantments. But I desperately need a better sword, because look at how long it's taking to kill these guys. This is insane. Okay, that's the first round of Endermen all dead. Now that I have a decent amount of XP... Oh, wait. We still have to get some Lapis. And this guy is angry at me. Why? He's worrying me. Where did he go? Did he fall off? Let's just protect this bridge like this real quick. And then I'll go back home and get some Lapis. I can't believe I forgot to get some. Okay, let's head back home. We've been having quite a few setbacks today and we're almost halfway through the challenge so i need to go as fast as possible i need to get some good armor and tools and then we'll get on with the rest of the advancements but the first thing that we have to get is some lapis i'm just gonna grab all of it and let's see is there anything else that i need to get while i'm here let's just double check i think that's everything so let's fly back to the stronghold you know what i might also need to get some mending on my elytra pretty soon because look at how fast the durability is going down maybe if i get unbreaking three then it'll be manageable but i don't know i guess we'll have to see once we enchant everything else Okay, here we are. Let's head back to the end and then back to our cursed farm. Okay, let's try some enchanting on this sword. This one already has looting three, so let's see. Do I have any other swords? Yeah, I do. I have a knockback two sword, which is terrible, so I'll disenchant it. Let's see. Unbreaking three. Okay. Hmm. What about a book enchantment? Smite. No, thank you. I guess I'll just roll the dice on this. It's just unbreaking three. Okay, that's great. Let's undo it and let's try again. Looting three and smite five. Okay. Thank you for that. Let's try again. Sleeping Edge 3. That'll be great for the Enderman farm. And Sharpness 3. Okay, I'll take it. I guess we'll disenchant this one now since I don't really want knockback. And we could probably get Looting 3 again. Let's see what we can get on this one now. Sharpness 4. Okay. Sleeping Edge 3 and Fire Aspect. Mmm, I don't like Fire Aspect. Let's get rid of that. And let's just keep trying. Oh, Sharpness 4. Finally. And Sleeping Edge 3 and Unbreaking 3. Okay, that's really good. I'm definitely gonna keep this. Let's try again on this one now. Knockback 2. No, thank you. <laughs> it's like it wants me to have knockback. Oh, and also while I'm here, I should keep an eye out for a channeling book, since I'm going to need a channeling trident to do a few of the later advancements, so I'm definitely going to keep my eyes peeled for that. But this is going to be my last level 30 enchantment here, and it's Bane of Arthropods. No, thank you. Oh, we have a flame book. That's pretty good. I'll take that from my bow. And here we go. This is the last one. Oh, sharpness four. Okay, please be something good.
good. It's just sharpness four. So if I combine it with this one, then I'll have sharpness five. But then I won't have looting three though. But I might just have to make another sword. Yeah, I have plenty of diamonds. Let's just combine these two. And it's not even that expensive. Nice. And here's our first decent tool. And I guess while I'm here, I might as well also add flame to my bow. Let's get some more levels now. Hello, friends. Let's make all them angry. It's so funny to see their heads pop up. Oh, wow. Okay, he was able to hit me there. Um, hello, friends. Very scary. Oh, but I'm killing them so much faster. Wow, look at that. That is insane how much of a difference Sharpness 5 makes. And that means we're going to be able to get XP much faster now, too. This is honestly not that bad of a method. I don't think we're missing too much by not having an Endermite, to be honest. But we're almost back at 30 levels. That was extremely fast. Look at this. I have a pretty good method now. I'm able to make them angry through these Endermen and then more just keep coming. This is almost as good as the Endermites. Okay, but I just got 30 levels. Let's get rid of you. Goodbye. Look at that. That's how you know it's a good XP farm when you're fully saturated with XP. But let's craft a new sword here and let's try to get looting three. I'll be back once I've gotten it. Okay, I finally got looting three on my sword. And I also got a little bit carried away and also enchanted everything else. I have protection four on all of my armor, efficiency five on all of my tools except for my hoe. And I also got a ton of unbreaking three books. Now, since this elytra is about to break and we don't have any mending, I think we should try to go find the new one real quick. Hopefully it should be pretty easy, but I have to find it in less than a hundred seconds because that's all I have left of flying. So I think I'll head over to my gateway real quick and then we'll head through. Now, since I've already gone off in this direction to search for an elytra i'm gonna go off in this direction instead let's see what i can find i need to keep an eye on my elytra though look at this 90 seconds left i need to find something fast if it breaks when i'm over the void it's game over oh but also i got feather falling four so we should be safer from fall damage wait there's one right here let's quickly go we only have one minute left hurry 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 okay we're safe let's head in here kill this guy go away thank you very much oh he teleported but whatever and we'll grab a new elytra and what's in here oh a saddle and oh a silk touch diamond pickaxe that's actually pretty good because this one's only fortune three. Nice. Okay. Um, I forgot to bring my anvil with me. That's a minor problem, but I guess I'll just swap this one out. And since we're already out here, let's try to go find another one. Since we have the elytra, this should be super easy to find some more end cities. Wait, there's one right here. Look at this. Does it have a ship though? It doesn't look like it. Okay. I'm not going to go to that one. Oh, but look at this. There's two with a ship right here. This is so good. This should be all the elytras that I'll need. That way we don't have to waste time getting mending, but I'll still have enough elytras to fly around and get everything done. I think this is the best scenario to be honest, but here's elytra number three. We got some more diamonds. Very nice. And let's go get elytra number four. And there we go. Nice. Okay, that's everything we'll need. Let's head back home. And I think home is in this direction. Yeah. Actually, quick pit stop. I'm too tempted. I need to see what's inside of these chests. Is it diamonds? Yes, more diamonds. Okay, it was worth the stop. And more iron. Amazing. Okay. Oh, and another saddle. Nice. Okay, let's leave. I had a feeling there was going to be something good in there. But let's fly back to the main end island now. And here we are. That was super easy. Definitely a lot faster than trying to get a mending book. But let's fly back in here. Head over to my anvil and add unbreaking three onto all these elytras and we'll also do this one nice now we have three unbreaking three elytras that should definitely last us quite a while but that's all the enchantments that i'll need so it's time to do some more advancements let's just see here yeah look at this it's taking like no durability that is so good these are gonna last so long okay well let's head back through and here we are back home okay but now that we're here let's look at the advancements tab and see what we have to do we have so many to do oh my gosh let's knock out a few easy ones first like bullseye sniper duel and the power of books. Those should be pretty simple. I think first up, I'm going to do the power of books. Oh, hello, nitwit villager. <laughs> oh, and we can fly in here. Oh, this is so nice. But for us to do the power of books advancement, we have to get a comparator. So that means I'm going to need some quartz. I think that should be more than enough. Oh, let's also see if we can farm these guys. Yeah, because we're going to need gas tiers to respawn the dragon too. And we already have two. Nice. Everything goes so much faster once you have an elytra, to be honest. Wait, our iron golem came through here too. We have a whole village in the nether. It's insane. But let's grab some redstone now. And I'm also going to need some sticks. That way I can craft up redstone torches. And then I'm also going to need some stone. And now we can craft up a comparator. There we go. Nice. Okay, now we just have to craft a chiseled bookshelf. And if I remember correctly, it should just be like this. Yeah, there we go. Now I'll place the chiseled bookshelf right here. And then the comparator. And there we go. The power of books. That was super easy. All right, what's next? Let's do bullseye next. For that, I'm going to need some more redstone. Just four pieces. And I'm also going to need to craft 
craft up a hay bale and then we can turn it into a target block. Nice. All right, so now I'm just gonna need a line of redstone, a repeater and a lever. Oh wait, and we're also gonna need a trap door. Let's go like this. Okay, now my aim is not very good. So that's why we're doing it the kind of cheating way, <laughs> but it still counts for the advancement. So that's fine. Let's just quickly see how far it has to be real quick. 30 meters. Okay, 30 meters is 30 blocks. So right here, I'm gonna place my trap door and let's just quickly see if my setup works real quick. When I flick this lever, the trap door should open. Nice. Now I'm gonna shoot some arrows into the center of this right here. That way when the trap door opens and I'm 30 blocks away, then it'll hit the center of the target block and count. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. There's 15. And here's another 15. Okay, this should work. There we go, we got it. <laughs> that was so easy. I kind of feel bad doing it that way, but I don't want to spend a million years trying to get the center of that bullseye from far away. But we did it, we got bullseye. Let's just break all this down real quick. And let's see, what's next? Should I try sniper duel? You have to kill one from 50 meters away? That's insane. Okay, let's just try it. I'm gonna go over here into this giant cave and I might be able to snipe a skeleton in here. Let's just see. I'm not sure if I'll have to do this with some redstone cheats though, <laughs> but there's a skeleton over here. I don't think that's 50 blocks away though. Let's just try. Okay, it died, but I didn't get the advancement. It probably wasn't far enough away. <gasps> but wait, we have a zombie villager. Um, wait a minute. We can also do zombie doctor real quick. Let's just quickly craft up a boat and then I'll save this guy inside of it since mobs don't despawn inside of boats. Okay, nice. He's still here. Hello, friend. And in he goes. Nice. Let's just get rid of his friend right here and I'll save this guy for later. But let's keep trying to do sniper duel. Ooh, there's a skeleton all the way down there. Is that 50 blocks away? Let's see. Okay, a little bit higher. Ooh. Is he gonna die? Come on. Oh, maybe he has to die to my arrow and not to the flame. I don't know. Maybe I should craft a normal bow for this. Let's try this skeleton right here. There we go. I got it. Nice. <laughs> okay. Sniper duel. Finally. <laughs> that honestly was not too difficult, but we have our zombie villager friend waiting for us in that cave. So I think we should do zombie doctor next. Now for that, I'm going to need a brewing stand, which I have right here. And then I'm also going to need a spider eye. Thankfully I have one of those. I'm also going to need some sugar. And then lastly, a brown mushroom. And then with these, I can craft up a fermented spider eye. And let's see here. Do I have any glass bottles? It doesn't look like it, but we can always craft some up like this. I'll fill them up with some water, plop them into here. Oh, and then we also need some blaze powder to power this. There we go. And now we can place our fermented spider eye. And while this is going, let's see if I have a golden apple. Oh yeah, I have three of them. Nice. Okay, we have our potions of weakness. Now we have to turn them into splash potions. And while that's going, I'm going to take a quick nap. Oh, he stole my bed. And there we have it. We're halfway through this challenge and we still have so many advancements to do. But let's keep going. I have my splash potions of weakness and my golden apples. That should be everything that we need. So let's come back to our friend over here. Oh, and he has lots of friends. This is not good. Please leave me alone. How do skeletons can still do one heart of damage when I have full prop four? That doesn't make any sense. Stop it. Did I make that Enderman angry? Oh, I did. Thankfully, he's in the boat, though. <laughs> Go away. Okay, let's exterminate this guy real quick. Thank you very much. Now we can convert this guy. We're gonna do splash potion of weakness and a golden apple. And now we just have to wait. But I guess as we wait, we can do another advancement. Let's see here. What's an easy thing to do? Oh, I might be able to do, is it a balloon? That should be fairly straightforward. Let's fly back over here. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot my firework rockets in the end. That's no good. Let's go grab them real quick. What a rookie mistake. Okay, here we are. Um, I'm just gonna break down into here. <laughs> and here we go. Here are the firework rockets. Oh, nice. I guess that didn't waste too much time. So let's head back home. And let's go see if our zombie villager has been converted yet. We haven't gotten the advancement, so maybe he hasn't been converted. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's still shaking. Nice. I was afraid that he would convert in the end and that would make it glitch out or something, but it looks like it's still going to work. Oh yeah. I said I was going to do, is it a balloon as we're waiting for him to cure? So let's go do that real quick. Actually, wait, I need amethyst and I don't have any. So I guess we'll do that later. <laughs> Sorry if I'm being confusing. <laughs> let's just make things simple and let's wait for this guy to convert any second now. There we go. Nice. We got zombie doctor. Now, what should I do with this guy? Maybe I should turn him into a mending villager, actually. I know I said I wouldn't do it, but I think since he's been cured, it's going to be worth it. And it'll also give me peace of mind for my elytra, all of my armor and my tools. So let's see if we can quickly do that. Let's craft up a bookshelf and then a lectern. And I'll make this guy a librarian villager. Wait, let's also grab some emeralds and some extra books. Okay, let's go see if we can get mending. I really only need mending on my elytra and my armor. Wait, there's a skeleton right in the boat with him. Do skeletons not attack villagers? That's really surprising. I'm glad he's still alive though. But as I was saying, I only need mending for my armor and maybe my elytra and maybe my pickaxe. And I think that's probably it. <laughs> but let's try to get some mending now. Hello, friend. Imagine we got it first try. I would scream. I'm not going to spend too long doing this. Oh my gosh. There is no way. I think that's the fastest I've ever gotten mending ever. That is insane. <laughs> and it's a one emerald trade too. 
Wow, that could not have gone any better. I swear, guys, I'm not cheating. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Well, thank you for the mending, Mr. Villager. Let's get rid of you real quick. Please go away. Thank you. And let's just buy as many as we can. There we go. That's enough for all my armor and tools. Wow. Um, I guess I have all the mending that I'll need, so I'm just gonna leave this guy here. Maybe he'll die. Maybe he won't. I guess we'll find out later. <laughs> let's go put this on my armor and tools now. But before we do that, let's have a quick nap. And now we have to craft up an anvil, which I don't have enough iron for. Okay, I guess we're going mining. <laughs> this should be very easy though. There's tons of iron in this cave. And I also have a fortune three pickaxe. All right, here's the iron. Oh, I think I'm lost. Um, where did I come from? It's over here. Nice. Okay, 55 iron. That should be good. Oh, wait. I had iron in here. That's fine, though. We always need more iron. But now we can craft up an anvil. And I'll add mending onto this elytra, my axe, both of my pickaxes, and then also my armor. Wait, I might not have enough levels. Let's just see. Five for that. Three for that. Okay, I don't have enough levels, actually. Let's just go to the end real quick and get all this put on my armor. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I'm trying to go as fast as possible. <laughs> okay, here we are. Let's get some more levels real quick. Hello, friends. Oh, they're very angry. Okay, we have tons of levels now. Let's bust out all of these, and I'll add them to all of my armor. Gosh, I have way too much stuff in my inventory. It's just exploding. There's my leggings. There's my boots. Just double check. We have mending on all my armor. Yes. I'll do mending on my sword. I have it on both of my pickaxes. I guess I'll do it on my shovel, my hoe. And the only reason I have a diamond hoe is because later on, we have to upgrade it to netherite to get an advancement. Otherwise, I would not waste two diamonds on that. But I'm gonna need a couple more levels real quick. Come on, friends. Get angry. Thank you. And I guess I'll add mending on this last elytra. Nice, now we have two mending and unbreaking three elytras, and another unbreaking three elytra, and we have mending on all of my tools and all of my armor. That's pretty good, but let's quickly heal up my elytra, as well as my axe. And lastly, my pickaxe. Okay, everything is all healed up. Nice. And we officially have all the enchanting done. So let's get to work on some more advancements. I think just to make things simple, I want to cross off all the advancements in one tab first, and then we'll move on to the next tab. Now, which tab is going to be the easiest? Okay, we're almost done with the end tab. So I think we should go and do this one next. I just need to respawn the dragon, kill it with my sword, and also gather up some dragon's breath. That should be super easy. We can do that all in one go. But first, we'll have a quick nap. And now we have to get some more gas tiers. I I already have two and it should be super easy to get two more. I just need four in total. So let's see here. Yeah, there's a big soul sand valley over here. So that's where I'll go to search for one. And there's already one right here. Hello, friend. And look at that. Four gas tiers. Perfect. <laughs> that was so easy. Now we can head back here. Oh, I'm in lava. Oops. Let's just extinguish myself real quick. There we go. And now we have to craft up some end crystals. I'm just going to need four eyes of ender. And then I can go like this. I don't have enough glass. Oh my gosh. One moment. This is getting very chaotic. I have so much stuff in my inventory, but I don't don't want to waste the time to organize all of it. But real quick, I'll gather up some more sand and we'll smelt it into glass. All right, so we should have enough glass now. And here's our last two end crystals. Perfect. Now I'm also going to need to collect up the dragon's breath. So I'm going to need to craft up some glass bottles. That'll be super easy. And I think we're good to go. I have my bow with me to shoot out the towers. I have my sword to kill the dragon, my end crystals to respawn the dragon, and my glass bottles to gather up the dragon's breath. So let's go do this. Okay, here we are. Let's fly to the center here. I'll work on respawning the dragon. And here we go. Whoa! Oh my gosh. I was standing way too close to that. But here's the dragon. <laughs> and we already got one of the advancements. I'll have to wait for it to shoot at me now, since I want to collect up the dragon's breath. Let's get my glass bottles ready for that. All right, dragon, shoot at me, please. Hello. There we go. Okay, he's shooting it. Here we go. And we got it. You need a mint. Nice. Let's just collect up as much as we can. And nice. Now I'll just have to shoot out all the towers. That should be very easy with the elytra, though. Okay, all the towers are destroyed. We just have to kill the dragon now. I guess I'll just start shooting it with my bow. Oh, I'm doing some good damage. Nice. <laughs> okay, it's perching. Hello. Okay, that was some great damage. It's almost dead. Come on, just a few more shots. Then there we go. Nice. <laughs> that should be all the advancements in the end completed. Yep, there we have it. That was not too difficult, to be honest. Am I gonna get some more XP from you? Oh, yes. XP. Thank you. I like this stuff. <laughs> okay, that's the end tab all done. So we can head back home, have a quick nap. Now let's see what other advancements we have to complete. Oh yeah, let's do is it a bird and is it a balloon? I was meaning to do those earlier, but I got distracted. Now we're still gonna have to get some amethyst to craft a spyglass, but this should be pretty easy now that we have an elytra. Usually you can see some sticking out of the floor of an ocean. So let's see if I can find one. Amethyst geodes, where are you? Maybe this is not a thing anymore, actually. I don't know. Maybe they fixed it in the newer updates. But I need to bust out some more firework rockets. And let's keep searching. 
thing. Okay, I couldn't find that. It's time for plan B. That's gonna be to head down into this cave and try to find a geode. Let's see if there's anything down here. Okay, we have some deep dark, <laughs> but still no. Oh my gosh, look at this. I promise that wasn't planned, but that seemed very planned. <laughs> but here we have an amethyst geode. Let's gather up some amethyst now. There's tons of this stuff in here. Nice. Do you get more if you mine it with fortune three? Oh, I guess you do. Yeah, I have 48 now. Oh my gosh. That should definitely be enough. And there's diamonds right here. I only got one with fortune three though. <laughs> and it's also only a one vein. Okay, so now we can head back home. If I can even find where I came from. Was it over here? No. Oh, it was over here. Okay, nice. Here's the surface finally. So now we'll head back home. Let's see. Do I have any copper? Oh, I have the perfect amount. Nice. And now we can craft up a spyglass. Okay, let's go do the is it a balloon advancements. For this one, you have to look at a gas with a spyglass. Let's see. This should be super easy. There's a giant soul sand valley right here and a gas. And there we have it. Is it a balloon? Let's kill you though. And we got four gas gears from that. Oh my gosh, that's great. <laughs> but that's the first is it advancement. The next one is, is it a bird? And for that, you have to look at a parrot through a spyglass. So that means I'm going to have to find a jungle. Let's see. Okay, my elytra is doing good. I have plenty of firework rockets. So let's go try to find one. Oh, there's one. That was extremely close. Let's see if I see any parrots though. Oh, this is kind of a small biome. Hopefully there's parrots in here. I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Oh, and we have badlands. Nice. Oh, I think I just saw one. Yeah, there's a parrot right here. Hello, friend. Let's go like this. Is it a bird? I think it definitely is. <laughs> okay, we got both of the is it advancements. Let's see now. Oh, wait. I totally forgot about this one. It's the is it a plane advancement. And you have to look at the ender dragon with a spyglass. Oh my gosh. I should have done that when I was respawning the dragon. So I guess we'll have to head back home, which is actually not far away at all. And I'll quickly have a sleep. And it looks like we're going to have to respawn the dragon again. But I guess this works out because we got four gas tears from that gas we killed. And I also have some blaze powder left over. Wait, I only have three though. Hold on. Let's go kill some blazes. With looting three, this should go super fast though. I'll just head over to this blaze spawner and there's already a few waiting for me. Hello friends. Okay, there we go. One extra blaze rod. Let's turn it into blaze powder and then into eyes of ender and then into some end crystals. Nice. Okay, let's go respawn the dragon again. I think I should actually bring some beds with me this time to make it go a little bit faster since killing it the normal way is going to take way too long. Let's grab an empty shulker box as well as some extra wool. I'm going to need a whole lot more of this stuff though. Hello sheep. Thank you very much. All right, let's craft up some beds. That should be more than enough. Nice. I'll load them up into here and let's go do this. Okay, we're here. Let's respawn the dragon real quick. There we go. And this time I'm going to stand far away from those end crystals because it almost killed me last time. But here's the dragon. I'll bust out my beds, organize my inventory. Wait, and I can't forget to look at it. There we go. Is it a plane? <laughs> Imagine I forgot to do it. That would be so embarrassing. But let's finish organizing my inventory. This should be good like this. And let's wait for it to perch now. Hopefully this won't take too long. Oh, it just perched and I didn't even notice. Wait, don't charge at me. Ow. All right, I guess we'll have to wait again. Okay, I think he's going to perch. Maybe. It's looking promising. Yeah, he's spinning around. This usually means he'll perch. There we go. He's perching. Okay, let's get this done. I'm not doing a good job. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I almost didn't get him, but let's just make sure. Did I get the advancement? Yes. Okay. Hopefully this is the last time that I have to respawn this thing. But now we can head back through here and let's see. Yeah, we have all the is it advancements completed. Nice. So now I think we should start working on some of the nether advancements. Subspace bubble should be pretty easy. Country load take me home should also be pretty easy. Oh, and not quite nine lives. Let's do that one first. I think I have everything I need to craft up a respawn anchor. Let's see here. Yeah, I have some crying obsidian. Oh, but I'm just going to need some glowstone. That should be super easy to get though. So we'll head to the nether. There's already some glowstone right here. Hello. Oh, I should be doing this with silk touch. Okay, 11 pieces. That should be good. So now we'll head back home, craft up a respawn anchor, and I need to not use this in the overworld because otherwise it'll explode and kill me. So we're going to have to head back to the nether, and I think all you have to do for this advancement is charge it to full, right? I'm actually very scared of this stuff, so I'm just going to go down here just in case it explodes. Let's put on my chest plate. Let's see. I think once I charge it to full, it should be good. There we go. We got it. Not quite nine lives. <laughs> so I'll head back home once again, have a quick nap, and let's see, what can we do next? Country load take me home should be pretty easy. All we have to do is find a bridge bastion. Oh, and we haven't even done return to sender yet. This one should also be super easy. But for the respawn anchor, I'm gonna need a compass. So let's craft one of those up real quick. I think the recipe is like this, right? There we go. And now let's go try to find a bridge bastion. And we'll also keep our eyes peeled for any gas so we can do return to sender. Wait, I don't have any firework rockets. Oh no. Oh, it's a good thing I wasn't in the lava. <laughs> let's grab a new one real quick. Let's go searching for some ghasts or some bridge bastions. Oh, I just heard one. Here's one. Oh, there's multiple. Let's try to hit this back to him. This should be very easy. Come on, please. 
There we go. We got it. <laughs> that was so easy. Go away. Okay, let's try to go find a bridge bastion now. I think the other two bastions that I found were over in this direction. Yeah, is this the one that we've already been to? Wait, I can't tell. Maybe this is a new one. Oh, wait, no, it's not. This is the one that we haven't looted yet. But it's not a bridge bastion, so I don't want to loot that one just yet. Because it's only bridge bastions that have lodestones. Oh, there's one right here. But this looks like a Hoglin Stables. Oh, no, it's a housing bastion. Um, I don't feel like looting that right now. <laughs> let's try to go... Maybe I should just check the chests up here real quick. I have a really good bow, so it should be pretty easy to get rid of all these brutes. Hello. Hello, friends. Okay, I killed those guys. Are there any left? Looks like no one's here. Let's quickly loot. Okay, nothing good in this one. More upgrade smithing templates. That's so good. Um, and pick step. Nice. Okay, that's good for looting. Let's go try to find a bridge bastion now. Oh, it's another treasure bastion. Oh my gosh. When will I ever find a bridge bastion? Whoa, and there's more fortresses too? Wow. There are so many structures around here, but sadly, not the ones that I'm looking for. Yeah, another fortress and another one. Oh my gosh. Oh, another bastion. Let's see. This one's also housing, I think. Yeah, it is. Should we check out the chests? Let's just do it. Piglin Brutes, where are you? Here they are. Let's get rid of all these guys. Oh, there's a crossbow guy. Let's make sure to get rid of him first. Okay, they're all dead. Oh, there's another one down here. Goodbye. Let's check out these chests real quick. More ancient debris. Very nice. And some bone stuff. Oh, this guy's shooting at me. Um, that should be good. Okay, let's leave. <laughs> okay, another bastion. Which one is this one? Another treasure bastion? Oh my gosh. That's like the fourth one that I found so far. But still no bridge bastions. Oh, here's another bastion. Which one are you? This looks like Hoglin Stables. Yeah, it is. I guess I'll check out the chests up top real quick. Those are easy access. Okay, hold on. Let's reposition. I'll try to snipe these guys in here. Hello. Okay, those guys are all dead. There's more angry boys down here. Let's just quickly loot these chests. More upgrade smithing templates. Nice. And a golden apple. Okay, nothing else super good, but it was worth it. <laughs> okay, another bastion. Oh, it's bridge. Finally. Oh my gosh. That took way too long. Let's grab out some more firework rockets though. Let's quickly go grab the lodestone. Maybe I should grab these gold blocks too real quick. Let's just collect all these up. You never know when these might come in handy. Okay, but let's see here. I think the chest is going to be somewhere over here. It's hard to remember the layout of this bastion. Yeah, the chest is right there. Okay. Um, I'm scared of this guy though. So let's just get rid of him. Oh, there's another guy right here. Ow, that hurts very much. Please go away. Okay. Oh, there's a brute. Oh my gosh. Okay. I hate Piglin Brutes. They do so much damage. Let's try to just snipe as many as I can. And let's go reassess. The chest is up here. How can I get there safely? I have some building blocks. So I guess I'll pillar up like this. No one's really around here though. Okay, let's open the chest. Okay, it looks like we're still safe. Let's open the chest, grab the lodestone, and get out of here. Okay, we got it. That was way too dangerous. Oh, there's another bastion over here. Wait, hold on. This is another bridge bastion. Should we check it out real quick? Oh, it looks mainly enclosed though. But there's the chest actually. So we might be able to grab it pretty easily. There is a brute right here. Please go away. He was there protecting that chest. <laughs> let's see. Um, I'm just going to grab it and leave. Oh, we got the snout armor trim. Um, let's grab this. Uh, let's grab a multi-shot crossbow and let's leave. Okay, this is so nerve-wracking. But we did get an armor trim, and we also got a crossbow. Wait a minute. If I shoot this crossbow, it'll give us an advancement. All I have to do is this. <laughs> That's probably one of the easiest advancements. <laughs> okay, but let's head back home now. I am very, very far away. And you know what's ironic? A lodestone would probably be pretty useful right now. Because those make finding your way back in the nether super easy. Okay, but here's our portal. And wait, I'm going to put my lodestone down right here. And if I right-click it with this compass, we'll get the advancements. Nice. Country load, take me home. <laughs> but let's see what other advancements we can do now. I guess we could try to go get a wither and then a beacon. And we can also get full netherite armor too. I think I might want to do netherite armor first though. Because then with netherite armor, it's going to make killing the wither just a little bit safer. But first I'll empty out my inventory. And look at this, we have five upgrade smithing templates. That's enough for a full suit of armor. But now since we're going to be mining for netherites, I'm going to craft up a ton more beds. Here we go. And wait, we have three ancient debris right here. We have three more over here. And we also have an ingot. Now, there's only two advancements that require netherite, and that's to get netherite on all of your armor, and also to get a netherite hoe. So since it's not important to get netherite on all these other tools, then I'm only going to get five ingots. Now, with these six ancient debris and this one ingot, we already have two, so that leaves us with just three to get, and that should be pretty easy. I'm just going to grab some more wool from my sheep to craft up some more beds, and there we have it. That should be good. Oh, wait, we should also bring fire resistance potions. Did I keep any from the bastion? It doesn't look like it, but I can always craft some more. Let's fill these bottles 
bottles with some water, throw them into here, alongside some nether warts, some magma cream, and finally some redstone dust. Oh wait, I just thought of something. Before we go to the nether, let's try to get another advancement. It just requires one diamond to craft up a jukebox, and then we also just got this music disc, and I'm gonna try to get the sound of music. Is this a meadow up here? Yeah, it is. Perfect. Let's go like this, and like this. So easy. <laughs> Alright, but now we have some eight minute potions of fire resistance, and it's time to go mine for some ancient debris. Now, I already have two ingots worth of ancient debris over here, so I'm just gonna need two more to craft up a third ingot, and then four more on top of that to craft up two more ingots. And that'll be five ingots total. So that means we just have to find ten pieces of ancient debris. Hold on, I'm in lava. Wait, um, how can I get out of here? Should I drink my potion of fire resistance? I don't know. I think I'm okay. But as I was saying, we only have to get 10 more pieces of ancient debris. Let's mine down here now. And there's already lava. Oh gosh. Maybe I should just drink this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This will make things a lot easier. But I'll mine down to Y14 now. And that's going to be right here. And then I'll make a long tunnel in this direction. And I think this should be long enough since we just hit a basalt delta. And let's grab out our beds now. I'll place one down right here. And then we'll protect ourselves, heal up, and explode it. All right. No luck on the first try. What about this time? Still no luck. Oh, here we go. It looks like it's just one piece, though. Yeah, okay. That leaves us with nine pieces to go. Oh, wait, there's one right here. Now we have eight pieces left to go. We're already off to a fairly good start. So let's try right here now. Okay, here we go. We finally got some. That was actually my last bed. <laughs> oh, and it's a three vein. Nice. Okay, what are we up to? Eleven. So we just need five more. Now, I don't have any more beds, so we're just gonna have to do this the normal way now. That's gonna be mining in between chunks like this. I hope this doesn't take too long. Oh, here's some. That was so easy. Is it just one, though? Yeah, it looks like it. But that leaves us with just four more to get. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I still haven't found any more. This is taking way too long. But we have to do it, so let's keep searching. Actually, you know what might be a little bit more fun than this? There were quite literally dozens of treasure bastions around here. Most of them have either a netherite ingot or a bunch of ancient debris. So I think we should do that instead. That might be quite a bit easier than just mining aimlessly. And it'll also be more fun. And hopefully faster as well. <laughs> but let's see here. Our first treasure bastion that we already looted is over here. And I remember there's one right here. Yep, there we go. And we haven't gone to this one yet. So I guess I'll just fly into here. That was so perfect. And let's see what I can find. I hear brutes though. Oh gosh. Let's try to safely break in. Oh yeah, there's brutes. Hello. Wait, can he... Can he get to me? Oh yeah, he's right here. Hello. Goodbye. You too. I hate these guys. There's also a magma cube too. Uh, maybe this isn't going to be easier. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay. That's exactly what I was scared of. Let's try a different way. Maybe I should just come into the top right here. Hello. Any friends in here? Let's just fly down here to a safe spot. I'll break this. And I still have four minutes of fire resistance, so I should be safe. And now I can kind of just bathe in this lava and be safe from everyone else. Except for this pesky magma cube. Go away, please. Oh yeah, look at this. Our piglin brute friend is still there. Go away, please. Oh, hi. Let's just... Okay, I need to make the most use of my fire resistance. Let's just see this chest here. And look at that. A netherite ingot. That is amazing. And another upgrade smithing template. And a netherite scrap. Wow. I knew this would be worth it. Let's check the other chest real quick. Okay, there's one right here. Another netherite ingot? Oh my gosh. And also tons of diamonds. Another upgrade smithing template. And some blocks of gold. This was definitely worth it. Wait, do I have everything I need now? So I have 12. That's enough for three. And then I have three, which is six. And I only needed five. So we are good to go. Just one bastion and we have everything that we need. That was most definitely worth it. So let's head back home. Okay, we made it. Let's head over here and smelt up all this ancient debris. While that's smelting, I'll empty out my inventory. I got so much good stuff from those bastions. And then I'll grab my smithing templates. I have seven now. Oh my gosh. I won't even have to duplicate any of these. But we're also going to need to craft a smithing table. Here we go. And here's all of our scraps. Now with my gold, I can turn these into netherite ingots. There we go. We have five now. Perfect. Let's just craft one more. There we go. Now we have six. All right, let's do all my armor. I'll do hell Helmets, chest plates, leggings, and boots. And as soon as I put this in my inventory, we'll get the advancements. Cover me in debris. <laughs> Let's put all this on. Look at this, we're dripped out. <laughs> all right, and now for another advancement, we're gonna put one on my hoe. This is painful, but we have to do it. And there we go. Serious dedication. <laughs> Look at all the advancements that we just did. That was quite a lot. And we still have two smithing templates to spare, but that's covered me in debris all done. And real quick, let's go do subspace bubble. This one should be super easy. All I need for that is some obsidian and a flint and steel. Okay, let's go do this. To get the subspace bubble advancement, we have to travel over 8,000 blocks using the nether. And since every block in the nether is equal to eight in the overworld, then we're just gonna have to travel a thousand blocks in the nether. Wait, there's another bastion right here. Hold 
one. Let's go investigate. There's one brute though. Let's make quick work of him with my good bow. There we go. More netherite. Oh my gosh. And ancient debris. Oh my gosh. This is so good. <laughs> Bastions are really, really good with loot. Okay, but that was everything. Let's get back to the task at hand. And that's going to be traveling a thousand blocks away. We're at 980. We just reached a thousand. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit more just in case. Wait, there was a bridge bastion right here. Let's get distracted one more time and mine up all these gold blocks real quick. We might as well. They're just right here in the open. Let's fight us a little bit further and then we'll build our portal. Wait, another bastion. Hold on. Let's see. Is there anything good in here? This is Hoglin Stables and there's also lots of brutes. So I don't think it's worth it. Okay. But right here should be far enough to build our portal. So I'll do that real quick. Okay. And now we'll light it. And once we go through, we should get the advancements. Let's see here. There we go. Subspace bubble. <laughs> another very easy advancement crossed off the list. But now it's time to get some more skulls to spawn a wither. And then we're going to go get a beacon. Now I already got one skull much earlier. So we're just going to have to get two more. Oh my gosh. That was really bad. One heart. Holy wow. I need to be more careful with my elytra. Maybe we should get some totems too. But first I'll have to make my way back home. And what? I just mined right into a bastion. Look, I was mining in a straight line trying to head home. And I just ended up in here. What the heck? <laughs> I kind of don't want to be here though, so I'm just going to mine around it. Wait, oh no, I'm accidentally inside. No, I don't want to be here. This is too scary. What are the odds of that? That is so random. But for some reason, I'm having a very hard time finding my way back home. Okay, here's the surface. Nice. I was so lost that I just decided to dig in a straight line, but we should be getting home here pretty soon. Okay, here's my portal. And I guess I'll go over here, making sure to kill this guy first. <laughs> and I guess we'll start killing some wither skeletons. There's already one right here. Hello. Um, should I get potions of fire resistance? Maybe I should. Let's go quickly get some. I should make this whole process a lot less painful. So let's fill up some glass bottles. Whoa, okay. There is a massive wave of zombies. <laughs> oh, wow. There's quite a few. Um, Let's take my bed. Let's go over here to safety and then I'll sleep. Hopefully they don't kill any of my villagers though. Let's go see. No, they converted him. Oh gosh. Well, he's gonna die anyways. So I don't think we need villagers for any more of these advancements. So we should be fine. But look at this. Look at all these burning zombies. <laughs> and of course there's one that has a helmet on. So he's not burning. Well, that was kind of unfortunate. So let's throw our water bottles into here and I'll brew some some potions of fire resistance. Okay, here we have it. And I think I also have one more in here. Yeah, there we go. Now we have four. That should hopefully be enough for us to get two more skulls. But let's go kill some wither skeletons and find out. Oh yeah, we got a big pack right here. Let's drink a potion of fire resistance. I'll also put on my chest plates. And maybe I should snipe this guy first. Go away, thank you. And now we can kill these guys. Hello. Leave me alone, please. There we go. Oh, they're like all down here. This is so easy. I'm just farming them practically. There's one more right here. Hello. Oh, we got a skull already. Wow. Okay. We only need one more now. That was much faster than I was expecting. But looks like we have some more friends up here. Tons of them. Okay, hello. No skulls from those guys, but I guess I'll keep trying. This is like the best fortress for this. There are so many spawning. We just got one. What? <laughs> okay. That was extremely easy. That is insane. Wow. I didn't even need all these potions of fire resistance. But there we have it. We have everything we need to spawn a wither. That was ridiculously easy. Okay, let's grab my other one that I have in here. I'll also grab four soul sand. And I'm thinking, should I kill this guy the easy way or should I actually fight him? I think I'll just kill him the easy way since we're hunting for advancements. Not for the challenge of killing a wither. But wait, I forgot obsidian and I'm actually going to need this. So it's a good thing we have this ruined portal right here. I'm just going to need four pieces of obsidian. And now we're going to go kill him in the end. All right, here we are. And now to kill this guy the easy way, we're going to have to go under the end fountain. And I'm going to have to dig out a little room down here. Okay, we have this all cleared out. And now right here is the center block. So we're going to have to place the wither right here. Something... Wait, what am I doing? I placed it backwards. I need to place obsidian on the ground and then the soul sand above it. Here we go. The obsidian and then the soul sand. I hope I'm doing this correctly, but here goes nothing. Let's spawn him. That doesn't really look right. Oh no. Um... Well, we got the advancement. Let's put on my chest plate in case he escapes. Um, and I also have golden apples. Let's see. Okay, no, it actually worked. Good. I was quite concerned there for a second. But we should just be able to kill him super easily now. Hello, wither friend. And goodbye. Okay, we got our nether star. Nice. Let's go craft up a beacon now. Should be as easy as grabbing some glass, which I actually need to get more of real quick. Okay, we have everything. Let's craft up a beacon. There we go. And now I don't think I have enough stuff to make a full powered beacon just yet, but I definitely have enough stuff to make a level one beacon. So let's just do that to get the advancement. 
There we go. Bring home the beacon. Nice. <laughs> I'll work on getting a max powered beacon later because I'm going to need a ton of resource blocks for that. But now that we have our beacon, let's see what other advancements we can do. Ooh, should we do a raid? I feel like that could be fun. And I think it's also time for me to get some totems too, especially with that close call in the nether. So let's see if I can find a pillager outpost. Oh wait, and I should also bring my crossbow with me since I also have to do the who's the pillager now advancements. And I think for that one, you just have to kill a pillager with a crossbow. Let's grab my crossbow right here. And wait, should I put mending or unbreaking three on this? Let's see what books I have. Oh, this one also has loyalty three. I think I'm going to save this for when I get a trident. So I'll just use this multi-shot crossbow for now. But let's go try to find a pillager outpost now. There's two villages over here, so I think that's where I'm going to do the raid. But first, we have to get bad omen. Oh, and I guess that's also another advancement too. Okay, yeah, here are the two villages. So let's see if there's any nearby outposts. Whoa, there's one right here. This is like right next to those other two villages. Okay, nice. Let's see if there's any armor trims in here first. And there's two of them. Wow. And a goat horn. Nice. And another crossbow. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Now let's grab my crossbow here and let's try to kill a pillager with it. Hello. Die already, please. There we go. Who's the pillager now? <laughs> I think it's me. Well, let's see if we can find a raid captain now and then we'll go do a raid. Whoa, wait, look at this. There's more of it down here. Oh, and there's a laze too. That's going to be super useful for later advancements. But let's focus on the task at hand and that's going to be killing this guy. And now we have voluntary exile. And yeah, look, this village is just right here. That was super close by. But now it's time to do a raid. And I'm kind of scared for this. It's just going to be a level one raid, so it should be fine. But now it's starting. Okay, run for your lives, villagers. <laughs> oh, wait, they go ring the bells? That's so cool. Yeah, look at that. They're ringing the bell. <laughs> let's see. Here's the first wave. Hello, friends. The first wave's very easy. It's just pillagers. So I'll get rid of all of these guys. Oh, maybe they can drop me some good crossbows when I kill them too. Because we are going to need a piercing four crossbow for a later advancement. So that's the first wave all done. All these villagers are just ringing the bell. <laughs> and here's the second wave. This one's a little bit scarier because we have vindicators now. So just to be safe, I'm going to snipe these guys from a distance. And I should probably also put my chest plate on. <laughs> okay, where's this vindicator? No, leave the villagers alone. No, leave them alone. <laughs> Ow. There we go. We killed them. <laughs> oh, and we get emeralds too. Nice. Okay, but where's the next wave? Looks like it's over here. Oh, we have a ravager this time. Um, Let's fly up on top of here and then i'll snipe these guys from a distance okay the last raider remaining is the ravager and where did he go here he is he's terrorizing the villagers please come back oh he sees me now okay hello oh gosh whoa okay this is very scary he's almost dead last shot there we go okay and as a reward we get a saddle all right here's the next wave and they're over here this time let's see yeah lots of witches and some vindicators and pillagers Look at all of them. <laughs> They're all just hanging out in here. It's a big vindicator party. Where's the last one? Is he upstairs? Wait, he's upstairs. What the heck? How did you get up there? <laughs> all right, here's the next wave. And yeah, this is the first one that has the evokers in it. They run so fast. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to snipe everyone else first. And then we're gonna have to kill the evoker ourselves. There's ravagers. Oh gosh. Iron golem, help me. Help me, iron golem. Ah, oh my gosh. <laughs> also, I accidentally hit the iron golem, so he might be angry at me. Okay, but he died, so it's fine. All right, so there's a bunch of these guys in this house now, I don't know why they like going in that house. What's so special about that house, guys? Okay, we have the evoker. Hello. I need him to spawn vexes because I have to kill a vex. Since we do have to kill every hostile mob today. But I just killed one, so we're all good. And ouch, they're chasing me. But now we just have to kill this evoker real quick. Go away, go away. There we go, he's dead. Nice. Oh, there's still vexes. Uh Let's grab this totem real quick. And there we go. We have a totem. Nice. Is that the raid done? Oh, no. There's still one more wave. I think I want to sleep real quick, though. There's monsters nearby. Oh, yeah. There's a Vex. <laughs> Wait. Just let me sleep, please. I don't want to deal with zombies and a raid. Let's just have a quick nap real quick. And here we go. Now it's time to finish off this last wave. Oh, wow. There's lots of Vindicators. Hello. I have poison now. No. Are there any Evokers in this wave? Yeah. It says there's one Raider remaining. Where are you? Oh, is it this Vex? Wait, the Vex is terrorizing the villagers. No. Oh yeah, there's one evoker left. Let's try to kill him real quick. Go away, go away, go away. Okay, he's dead. Nice. There's more waves spawning? Why? But we have two totems now, so that's good. And I think this should be the last wave, hopefully. Okay, last wave. There's lots of evokers. Oh my gosh. Let's seek shelter up here. There's still a Vex chasing me though. All right, bring it on, guys. Okay, that was as much as I could snipe from up here. Let's go grab our loot. There's one more totem right here. There's one Vindicator in here. And I killed another Evoker over here. Yeah, there's tons of Vexes. Oh my gosh. Where's that totem though? Here it is. Let's swap it out for this glass, I guess. And it looks like there's two Raiders left. I don't know where they are though. Here's one. Goodbye. And there's also some in here. I don't know why they like this house so much. <laughs> oh, there's an Evoker. Oh my gosh. Okay. For a level one raid, this has a lot of Evokers. There we go. He's dead. Is it completed? Yes, it is. We got Hero of the Village. Nice. And since we have a totem, let's try to do an advancement right away. I'm going to put on my elytra. I'm going to fly super high up. And then I'm going to take my elytra off. 
And I didn't die from that? How? Let's try again. Please die. There we go. Post mortal. <laughs> Wait, I need to put on another totem though, because just Vex is attacking me. But there we have it. A successful raid with also tons of advancements completed. So now what should we do next? Oh, let's do respecting the remnants and careful restoration. That should be a nice change from all this fighting that we're having to do. Now to get respecting the remnants, we have to brush a suspicious block to obtain a pottery shirt. And then careful restoration, we have to make a decorated pot out of four of them. So this should be fairly straightforward. First, I'll have to head back home though. And we're going to have to craft up a brush now. Now I think to do that, we're going to need some copper and also to empty out my inventory because it's just exploding right now but let's smelt up this copper as we're doing that and now to craft up a brush i'm pretty sure it's just a stick one piece of copper and a feather let's see is it like this there we go we got a brush nice and now we just have to brush a piece of suspicious sand or gravel now usually around these ruins there's some suspicious blocks let's see if i can see any oh yeah here's one let's brush it what are we gonna get a gold nugget that's great wait why didn't we get the advancements let me just read it again oh you have to brush a suspicious block to obtain a pottery shirt. Okay, okay. Oh, there's one more right here. And that looks like a pottery shirt. Nice. And we got it. Nice. Respecting the remnants. We're just going to need four of these now. Oh, and look at that. There's a second one coming up right here. Let's see if I can find any more sus blocks. Yeah, here's one. And another pottery shirt. Nice. That's our third one. And I just need one more now. Are there any more sus blocks? Yes, there's one right here. Okay, and it's a piece of coal. That's very nice. What about over here? I can't find any more sus blocks. Let's try a different ocean ruins. I think there might be a few more around here. Yeah, there's one right down here. Let's see. Are there any sus blocks? Oh, no sus blocks, but there is a drowned. Oh, wait, there is a sus block. Nice. But it's just giving us an emerald. I guess we can always dig around. Oh yeah, there's two more right here. This one's an emerald, and that one is a hoe. I don't need any of that, so I can just break those. Okay, it looks like that's it for this one, so we're gonna have to find a different ocean ruins. That should be fairly easy, though. We have a giant ocean over here as well. So let's keep our eyes peeled for any ocean ruins. Okay, here's one. And there's tons of sus blocks. Nice. And here we go, a pottery shirt. Finally. Now we have four of them. Let's just see if I can get anything else from here. Yeah, another one. That's good. And it looks like there's two more over here. But they're both wooden hoes. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, that's everything. Let's go craft up our decorated pot now. And I kind of have no idea how you do this. Does it tell me in the recipe book? Let's see here. Decorated pot. Here it is. Wait, it's four bricks? How do you decorate it with the shirts? Um, I guess we can just try making it with the bricks real quick. I will have to go get some clay though. And there's some right down here. Oh wait, I need clay balls, not clay. I just need four. Okay, we have eight. Nice. Let's smelt these into bricks now. And let's craft up a decorated pot like this. Can I like use these ones in the crafting table? No. Can I replace one of these with a crafting table oh wait you can okay nice i didn't even have to get those bricks <laughs> but here's our decorated pot and we got the advancement careful restoration i guess i'll just put it right here <laughs> nice let's see what else can we do now let's do sticky situation that should be pretty easy i already have one honey bottle and i'll just have to get three more to craft up a honey block so let's head over to my beehive over here it was somewhere around here right yeah here it is and i'll grab one more and that gives us two and let's see if i can find any other beehives now are there any over here oh here's one and it's full of honey nice they are gonna get angry at me though oh there was nobody even inside Okay, whatever. <laughs> we just need one more bottle of honey now. And I'm also gonna need some more firework rockets. Ooh, we're down to just 39. We might have to spend a bit of time at our creeper farm in a bit. So here's another beehive. Oh, and it's empty. Okay. I guess this is perfect timing because I have to wait for my beehive to refill. And we also need to get some more gunpowder. So I'm just gonna spend the rest of today at my creeper farm while we wait for our beehives to fill up with honey. And here we go. Come on, creepers. Oh, there's already some spawning. Nice. Hello. I'll be back once it's day 62. Okay, it just became day 62. Let's see how much gunpowder we have. Nice, two and a half stacks. Amazing. That should definitely last us quite a while. Oh, but also before we craft up some more firework rockets, let's check on my beehive. Oh, it hasn't even been refilled yet. Oh gosh. Maybe I should place some more flowers around it for this guy. He seems to be having a hard time. And it's only one bee over here too. It's so sad. Where are his friends? Let's place some flowers around here for him. Here you go. Hope this makes you happy, friend. But I guess since we're still waiting on that, we can go craft up some more firework rockets. I'm just gonna need my sugar cane and some paper to craft up some more rockets. Okay, nice. All right, now I guess since that one isn't filled up with honey, let's just try to go find another one. Hopefully this shouldn't be too difficult. Or maybe what I can do is also try to get the total bee location advancement. Since now I have a silk touch pickaxe. Let's see. I'm not sure if there's a bee in here, but I guess I'll just grab this. And let's see if we can find any more bees. I saw some flying around here earlier, but I don't know if they're still here. Maybe I'll have to go somewhere else. I don't know. Let's also grab this one too, I guess. Let's try to find some bees now. Oh, bees, where are you? Oh, I found some bees. 
Jeez, finally. Hello, friends. Um, Do any of you want to go into either of these beehives? Maybe. I think to get the advancement, there has to be three bees in one hive. Let's just make sure real quick. Yeah, move a bee nest with three bees inside using silk touch. Okay, that's definitely doable. And I think there's also three bees here too. So this should be perfect. I'm going to try to lure them real quick. Come here, friends. Follow my flowers, please. Okay, here we go. I guess I might as well just breed two of them since we also have to breed every single animal today. But now we have four bees. And let's see if any of them want to go back inside their hive. There's definitely a bee inside of one of these, but we might have to wait until nighttime for them to go back in their hive. Okay, which one has a bee inside? Is it you? Let's try to listen. Oh, okay. It's not this one. Is it this one? Okay, no, it's this one. This one has one bee inside already. So I'm going to just take these two with me. And then this is the beehive where I want all these bees to go into. Looks like they're going very far away though. Where are you guys going? Come back into this hive, please. Oh, this guy just popped out. Okay. Okay. There's one inside. There's two inside. I just need three, please. This guy. Come back. Hurry. There we go. There's three inside now. There we go. Total bee location. Very easy. <laughs> but I'm going to try to grab all of them and get them to all come back inside. Come on, friend. Join your friends, please. It's also almost nighttime, too, so he'll definitely be going back in. Where are you going? It's nighttime. You should be tired. Go sleep. Come here. Look, there's a beehive. Look at this. This bee does not want to go back inside. Are there too many bees in here? Is it maximum three bees per hive? I have no idea. Let's put another one next to it and let's see. Okay, this guy's just not interested. Interesting. Okay, do you want to go in? Come on, bro. It's night. Here we go. Here he comes. And there we go. Nice. We have four bees now. Perfect. <laughs> but since the bees are going to sleep, that means it's also time for me to sleep. But now that it's a new day, I'll quickly head back home. And it's very easy to spot where my house is with this monstrosity. <laughs> and I guess I'll come back over here, place down my beehives. This one is the one that has the honey in it. So I'm going to put it down right here. And I guess I'll just also put the other ones around it. And now I just need to get one more honey from this, please. As soon as they come out, it should fill up with honey, right? Or is it when they go in that it fills up with honey? I have no idea. I guess we'll wait here to and find out. There we go. Nice. I now have four honey bottles that I can craft up into a honey block. And then I'm pretty sure if I just go like this and slide on it, we get sticky situation. Jump into a honey block to break your fall. Nice. That was pretty easy. But let's see what else we can do now. Oh, we can do wax on, wax off. That should also be super easy. And it's also bee related. <laughs> for this one, I'm just going to need some shears. And I'm going to have to head back to my beehives and wait for these guys to fill it up again. I'm going to put a ton of flowers around here, though, to make it go as fast as possible. And I guess I'll wait for these guys to fill us up again. Hopefully it goes quickly. Okay, check it out. This one just needs one more notch until it's full. And it looks like that might happen very shortly. Yes, there we go. It's full. Awesome. That did not take long at all. Since this one is over a campfire, we should be fine, right? There we go. Nice. We got three honeycomb. So now all I have to do is head over here, grab some copper. Let's see. Is it four or nine? Yep, it's nine. Okay. We're going to have to smelt up a few more. Here's eight and nine. Okay, let's craft up a block of copper now. And I should be able just to go like this to get wax on. And then with my axe, get wax off. <laughs> So easy. All right, what's next? Tactical fishing. Let's do that. That should be super easy. Let's head over here and find a fish. I'll grab my bucket of water and boom. Super easy. <laughs> I'll return you to the sea though. I don't want to be cruel. And let's see. What else can we do? The cutest predator. And we can also do the healing power of friendship. Let's try to work on those two real quick. Now, I don't think I've seen any lush caves down below my house. So I'm going to search in a different area. Maybe over here instead. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for any azalea trees on the surface. Whoa. Hold on. Is this a trail ruins? Yeah, it is. Are there any advancements that we have to do in here? Let me just look real quick. From what I can tell, we actually don't have any advancements to do in here because we already did respecting the remnants. And I think that was kind of the only one related to a trail ruins. But if I'm wrong, then I always know where this is and we can always come back for it. But let's keep searching for some azalea trees to find a lush cave. I wonder if there's any around here. Okay, I can't find any. I guess I'll just dig down like right here and see if I can find anything good. Oh, I found three creepers. That's the only thing that I was able to find. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the gunpowder, friends. But I guess I'll just dig down right here and see if we can find anything. Hopefully I get lucky. Okay, we're already at deep slate. This is not looking too promising. Oh, wait. Um, it's just a water cave. Ooh, but there's diamonds. Oh, and look at this. Also a giant vein of iron. Maybe I should mine that because we still have to get a max powered beacon. But once again, Fortune 3 has let me down and I only got two diamonds from two veins. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to spend a bit of time mining up all this iron and I'll be back once I have about two or three stacks. With Fortune 3, this should hopefully go super fast. Okay, wow, three stacks of iron in no time at all. But there's also a big cave over here. Let's see this. Sadly, not a lush cave. But there is more stuff over here, though. Let's go see. Maybe if I just wander around down here, then I might be able to find something. I don't know. Ooh, I found some diamonds. <laughs> all right, let's see. Ooh, it's a six vein. Nice. So I had two before this, and I just picked up six, and I have 12. That's not too bad. Oh, wait, look, there's more diamonds. 
And a lush cave. <laughs> Let's see, are there any more diamonds that I'm missing before I go? I just need to be 100% sure. It doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go to this lush cave. And I'm on the mission to get an axolotl. Is there anyone in here? Nope. What about in here? Also no. Wait, I have to eat tropical fish. If I catch a tropical fish, is that an advancement? Hold on. Okay, no, it's not. But if I kill it and then eat it, then it's part of the balanced diet advancement. But let's keep searching for an axolotl. Looks like this cave might actually be kind of small, unfortunately. And I'm not seeing any axolotls, but I am seeing more zombies and more diamonds and even more iron and more diamonds <laughs> all right so the hunt continues oh wait also another thing since we're here we also have to eat glow berries that's gonna be part of the a balanced diet advancement and is there anything else that i have to do while i'm here let me quickly check the advancements list okay from the looks of it it doesn't look like it we just have to find an axolotl now and this is actually surprisingly difficult i thought these guys were supposed to be common maybe it's because we're so low down in the world maybe i have to go higher up let's try up here instead yeah we're finally past the deep slate level nice but it looks like this is where the cave ends though. Did I just find the worst lush cave in history? I think I might have. Okay, I kind of don't know what to do. Should I just dig up here and see if there's anything else? Because so far down here, I don't see any axolotls. Okay, we're at the surface. That was not successful at all. Why is it so hard to find an axolotl? But I guess I'll just try to find a different lush cave. Oh yes, look, an azalea tree. Hopefully this one gives me better luck. But we're gonna dig down and find out. Okay, we're not at the bottom just yet. Oh, I see some clay. We might be getting close. Here we are. Wow, it put me right above lava. Look at that. Whoa, what? There's an ancient city right here? That is so funny. This azalea tree led me right to an ancient city. Well, let's see if there's any axolotls here first. And it still doesn't look like it. Oh my gosh, why? Oh, this actually is a pretty good lush cave though. We probably will have a chance of finding one. Why is everyone so angry in here? We also have some more diamonds, which is nice, as well as some more over here. And a baby zombie, which is being very cringe. Please go away. Thank you. Okay, please give me an axolotl. Is this a cave spider spawner? Oh, I think it is. Oh, and I just got poisoned too. Lush caves are supposed to be safe, not full of terrible mobs trying to kill you. But I have been finding quite a few diamonds, so I'm not gonna complain. Oh yeah, there's a cave spider spawner. I think it might be too light for anything to spawn, but just to make 100% sure, I'm just gonna break it. I hate cave spiders. There we go. Look at all these diamonds. I can't believe I'm finding so many diamonds, but literally zero axolotls. Yeah, there's more diamonds right here. And it's an eight vein. Oh my gosh. Look, I have 49 diamonds and I haven't found a single axolotl. That is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. There's more diamonds right here. And there's also more right here. I'm gonna have over a stack. Yeah, I have 60 diamonds. This is ridiculous. I guess it's not all terrible, but I still really need an axolotl. I don't really need diamonds anymore, to be honest. <gasps> here is, there's finally one. Oh my gosh, I found it. Let's grab him. There we go. We got the advancement. Finally, the cutest predator. <laughs> oh, and there's more diamonds. Wow, 62. That is insane. But I guess since we're down here, maybe we should go check out that ancient city. Actually, I think I have a better idea. Wait, there's a mob spawner right here. A skeleton spawner too, nice. And it has the cat music disc, thank you. But as I was saying, I think I have a better idea. I'm gonna fly back up here. This is where we came down from that azalea tree. Here we are. And now I'm gonna come up here, mark it with a pillar of stone, since that way I can remember where it is. And let's head back home real quick. I think my house is right over here, yeah. Oh, also, I just realized we're at a stack of days. But now that we're back home, I'm gonna start smelting up all my iron. I quite literally have tons of it. And I'm also gonna empty out the rest of my inventory. Yeah, look at this. We have a stack and 17 diamonds now. That was insane. But now before we go loot that ancient city, I think I wanna finish up the advancements with the axolotl. And that's gonna be this one, the healing power of friendship. Team up with an axolotl and win a fight. Now this is actually perfect timing because it's just becoming nighttime. So I'm gonna fly over here and try to find some drowned. Let's see, are there any drowned over here? Here's one. Now I'm gonna head down here, place down my axolotl and I think I just have to kill this guy and I'll get the advancements. There we go. That was extremely easy. The healing power of friendship. Nice. I honestly thought it was going to be way harder than that. But let's try to grab our friend back real quick. Hello, come back. Thank you. And now we can head back home. And I'll also have a quick nap. All right, it's day 65. Let's place down my axolotl right here in case I'll need him in the future. And let's see how all my iron is doing. How many blocks will I be able to get? Oh, wait. I totally miscalculated. I thought you needed about three stacks of ingots, but it's about three stacks of blocks. Two stacks and 36 to be exact. I am definitely not going to have enough iron for this, but that's fine. We can always go get more to get a max powered beacon. But now that my inventory is all emptied out, let's go loot that ancient city. I really need to find some enchanted golden apples because I'm going to need some for some advancements. So I really hope this ancient city has some. Oh, and I'm also going to need the silence armor trim too. And you can also only find those in ancient cities. So let's head down here and hope we get lucky. All right. Oh, wait, there's slime. This is amazing. Let's kill these guys real quick. I have to kill every hostile mob today and slimes are a part of them. And you never know when slime balls could come in handy. But okay, 
That's all we need. Let's check out this ancient city. Already, I'm very scared. All right, so I think our first chest is gonna be right over here. And I should probably bust out my hoe since we're gonna need it to break Skulk Sensors and Skulk Shriekers. But yeah, there's one chest to our right and one to our left. Oh, but there's so many Shriekers. I hate this. Let's just stock up on some wool real quick. This is also something that I should have brought with me, but I forgot to. But it's fine because there's plenty of wool here for us to gather up. Okay, now just to be safe, I'm gonna cover this one up with some wool. And now we should be able to get rid of this one. Okay, that didn't work, but whatever. Uh, there's Amethyst Shards and Diamond Horse Armor. Let's check out this chest now. Blast Protection 4 and Swift Sneak 3. Nice. I don't need Blast Protection, but I am going to grab Swift Sneak. That's going to be super useful. You know what? Maybe we should apply that to our armor right now, since Swift Sneak is actually most useful when you're looting ancient cities. So let's quickly head back home. Thankfully, this is not too far away. And I'll add Swift Sneak 3 onto my leggings. 15 levels? Wow. <laughs> but look at this. I can sneak so fast now. We're going to loot that ancient city in no time. Oh, but I guess while we're here as well, I can also grab some wool. Also grab my shears to harvest up even more. Okay, we're quite stocked up on wool now. We should be good to go. So we'll head back down here now. Let's try to find some more chests to loot. I see quite a few around here. So let's sneak three again. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just grab it. Let's also grab some echo shards and some amethyst. And maybe also some skulk sensors. But I am going to be breaking these chests to keep track. And wait, oh, there's so many shriekers over here. It might be impossible to open this chest without setting them off. Let's just do it. Okay, we got a saddle, a name tag, um, and I'll grab these leggings. Okay, let's leave. Wait, we gotta break this though. Okay, let's find some more chests. Ooh, diamonds. Okay, we have one more chest over here with one shrieker. Nothing good in this chest. Let's keep searching. If I break this, is it gonna set that one off? I kind of don't want to find out. Let's place some wool around this one. We should be able to break this. Okay, it worked. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's loot this chest. And we got other side. Nice. Still no enchanted golden apples though. So we're gonna have to keep searching. Whoa, it's thundering outside. Let's sleep real quick. Thunder is very scary. All right, one more chest over here with also nothing good inside. Oh, we do have a lead though. That's pretty good. And more name tags. Okay, there's one chest in here, but there are so many Skulk Shriekers. Let's do a test. If I place a bunch of wool like this, will it prevent the sound from escaping? Let's see. Whoa, it did. Nice. That's actually a pretty good method. But unfortunately, there was nothing good in that chest. Let's check over here now. Oh, we set one off. Oops. Is that going to spawn a warden? Okay, it's not. I think the next one spawns a warden, but I'll check this chest real quick. There's nothing good in there, so we'll keep searching. Okay, we have one more chest and one more Skulk Shrieker with also nothing good inside. What about this one? Okay, we got two enchanted golden apples. Nice. And Swift Sneak 3 and Flame. I already have all that, so that's fine. But we finally have two god apples. That's all the enchanted golden apples that I'll need today. But I still think we should keep searching in here because there's probably going to be some more good stuff. Let's see what's inside. Okay, we have a third god apple. Nice. What about in this chest? Swift Sneak 3 again, but still nothing good. Oh, wait, let's grab a Skull Catalyst because we also need that for an advancement. We're finding some really good stuff in here, but there's going to be one more chest up here. Hello. With also nothing good inside. We found tons of Swift Sneak 3 books, though. And we have two more chests right here. Oh, I set one off. Oops. This is going to spawn a warden, right? I think it is. Yep. Here he is. Hello. Let's run away. <laughs> That's a little bit less than ideal. So I guess I'll just have to wait for this guy to despawn. What's inside of here? Oh, it's like a secret room and it has ice baked potatoes and snowballs interesting i don't think i've eaten baked potatoes yet so let's eat one real quick that's gonna be part of a balanced diet and there's also some sus stew let's also eat this oh it gives you night vision nice <laughs> i'm glad it wasn't one of the bad ones but let's see is that warden still there i would really like to loot those chests i think he's gone yeah he spawned like right here okay Nice. Um, what can we do here? If I break this, we should be fine. Okay. And there's also one more up here, which I'll also break. Let's check these chests now. Infinity, I already have that, right? Yeah. So that's not really important. What about in here? More god apples. Nice. And some other garbage. All right, so let's keep looting. Oh, wait. Oops. Um, let's just loot this and then let's leave. I'm too fast for these wardens. Whoa, he just got angry at something. Whoa, who is he getting angry at? Oh, I think it's that bat. Yeah, he's about to go insane on that bat. Let's watch him. He's probably going to snipe it. Let's see. That bat has him triggered. Oh, he just obliterated the bat. Oh my gosh. Wow, this guy is not very happy today. Oh wait, now he smells me. Hold on, let's not get too close. I guess we'll try to find some more chests while he's getting triggered. Oh yeah, there's usually like three chests in this structure. Let's see here. Yeah, there's one right there with some Skulk Shriekers. There's one more right here. And I believe there should be one in there. Yeah, okay. Now how can I do this without setting these off? Um, Let's encase this one like this. 
Then I'll break this one. Okay, that was safe. Now let's open this chest, which has nothing very good inside. I'll also check this chest. And lastly, this chest. Okay, they were all terrible. <laughs> and those were all the chests. Honestly, a pretty successful ancient city looting trip. I got four god apples, 11 diamonds, four leads, eight name tags, and eight skulk catalysts. And that brings us to the next advancement, which is going to be it spreads. This one should be super easy, and we just have to kill a mob next to a skulk catalyst. And it's also perfect timing because it just became nighttime. So let's fly down here and see if we can see any mobs spawning. Yep, I see some zombies. Hello. And some skeletons. I'll place down my skulk catalyst. Now if I kill this guy... Oh, he blows up. Just kidding. If I kill this guy... Is he gonna be close enough? Let's make sure he's really close. There we go. We get it spreads. Nice. <laughs> Another very easy advancement. But I don't like the dark, so let's sleep. And we'll watch this skeleton burn and suffer. Skeletons are the worst mob. Changed my mind. Wow, he's been burning for a while. There we go. All right, let's head back home and see what other advancements we can do. Let's see here. We've already done quite a few. I guess we can do crafting a new look. That should be super easy. I already have the sentry armor trim and the snout armor trim. So let's do that real quick. I think I'm going to do sentry and I might as well also do snout, right? But let's see here. I think there's another advantage where we have to do a bunch of hard ones. Yeah. We need Spire, Snout, Rib, Ward, Silence, Vex, Tide, and Wayfinder. That's gonna be smithing with style. Now, most of these are pretty easy to get, but Silence is the hardest one. So I guess we can start with this advancement by doing Sentry and Snout right now. Here's my smithing table. Um, I think I'm gonna use Amethyst for this. I think Amethyst should look pretty cool. Let's do Sentry on my leggings. Um, I think you have to go like this and like this, right? Oh wait, that's my chest plate. Hold on. There we go. And we got the advancement, crafting a new look. Let's see how it looks real quick. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> then I think I'm gonna do Snout on my helmet. There we have it. Let's see how this one looks. Oh wait, you can only see it on the sides. Yeah, if I go like this, you can see it. Not the coolest looking one, but at least we got the advancement. So now I'm just gonna empty out my inventory real quick. I know I say that a lot, but it's important to be organized in a challenge like this. And now I think I have an idea for another advancement we can do. If we head into the husbandry tab, it's gonna be when the squad hops into town. For that one, we have to get each frog variant on a lead. And that's perfect, because I got leads in that ancient city. And I guess while we're doing that, we can also breed some frogs and try to get this advancement. Bucket, bucket. Oh, and I guess this is actually perfect, because I just got some slime balls as well. And to breed frogs, you have to use slime balls. So let's go see if I can do this. This is also one of the other advancements that I've never done before. So I'm gonna be experiencing this for the first time with you guys. But first off, head to a swamp and I think I saw some frogs here earlier let's see oh yeah here's one I found a frog now what are the different frog variants because we have this one but I feel like they all look like this I kind of have no idea let's just bring this guy with me and see if we can find any more frogs hello any frogs ribbit ribbit <laughs> I'm trying to attract them. Oh, here's one. Oh, there's two more. Nice. But yeah, look, these guys all look the same. How are there different frog variants? That makes no sense. Maybe I have to breed them? I don't know. Let's just bring them close to some water and then we'll see. All right, hello, friends. Um, If I grab some slime balls and then I breed these guys, let's see what happens. This is my first time breeding frogs, so... Oh, yeah, look. They laid down some frog spawn. Now, I'm pretty sure I have to wait for this to turn into tadpoles, and then I can pick it up in my bucket and get the advancement. So I guess we'll just wait for that to happen. And I guess while I'm waiting for this, I can also go and research what the different frog variants are, because I don't see much variance between these guys. Wait, also, look at how he swims. That's so derpy. These guys are so funny. But let's wait for this frog spawn to spawn. Okay, so I've done some research, and apparently you can get the different frog variants by hatching tadpoles in different biomes. According to the Minecraft wiki, there's three different types of frogs. I think this one is the temperate frog, and then there's also the warm frog and the cold frog. And then also based on what kind of frog it is, they give you a different frog light when they kill a magma cube. So I think what I should do here is get all these guys off a lead, and then I'll write down these coordinates, and I want to go get some more buckets. Since if I have more buckets, then I'll be able to transport more tadpoles and get all the different frog variants. Why do frogs have to be so complicated? But it's fine, at least I know what I have to do. So we'll fly back home real quick, grab some iron, and I'm going to craft up a bunch of buckets. I think four total should be fine, but let's grab five just to be on the safe side. Okay, and now we can head back to our frogs. Okay, we're back at the frogs and this frog spawn still hasn't turned to tadpoles. Why? This takes so long, but I guess we can prepare by filling all my buckets up with water and now we're just gonna have to wait. Actually, wait, can you grab a frog in a bucket? Okay, you can't. <laughs> just wanted to check though. You know what? It's also been quite a while as well. I can probably breed some more frogs too. Let's get these guys to come with me. Let's see. Can you guys breed again? They can. Nice. Okay, now we have two things of frog spawn. So I guess 
we'll just wait for these to hatch. Ooh, something happened. Wait, there's tadpoles. Let's grab one of these guys. And there we go. We got Bucket Bucket. Nice. I'll also grab a second one. Where did he go? Here he is. Hello, friend. And now I just need to grab a third one. Or maybe I'll just grab one of these guys on a lead, actually. I think that would be a little bit easier. If I grab you and then fly away, is this going to work? Okay, it didn't work. How can I bring a frog with me? What if I go like this? Nope, it doesn't work. Okay, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. There's no easy way to transport these guys. Maybe if I try going up here, and then if I glide off, will he follow? Nope. Still doesn't work. How am I supposed to get three different frog variants on Elite if they're in completely different biomes? I have no idea. I guess I'll just drag this guy home with me though. And I also didn't bring a bed with me so I can't sleep. I'm scared of the dark. Maybe if I kill some sheep, I can get some wool. Hello and hello. Okay, I need one more white sheep. Ooh, look at this. There's a witch hut. I'll save that for later. But let's grab one more white sheep over here. Hello. And now I need to craft up a bed. This should be pretty easy. Okay, we have a bed. Oh, leave me alone, guys. Don't hurt my frog, please. Okay, let's sleep. And now it's the morning of a very nice day. But we have a cold biome over here, so I might be able to get the cold frog. I need the cold frog, the warm frog, and the temperate frog. Which type are you? Are you the warm or the temperate? I don't know. Okay, I just checked, and this guy is the temperate frog. The warm frog is white, and the cold frog is green. So let's craft up a boat real quick. And can frogs go in boats? Let's see. Um, it doesn't look like it. That sucks. Let's see. Oh, wait, he can. Okay, nice. Let's take our tempered frog and let's go over to this cold biome to get a cold frog. Okay, we're in a cold biome. Now, I should be able just to build a little thing like this, plop our tadpole into here, and eventually he'll grow up into a cold frog. I wonder how long this is going to take, though. Can I feed you slime balls? Yeah, I can. Maybe that will speed it up. <laughs> Come on grow. Please. How many did I give you already? Hello? Is he frozen? <laughs> let's just wait for this guy to grow up, I guess. Okay, we got one, but the other one escaped. Um, let's just grab you. But look at that. We have the cold frog. He grew up and started dying in here, but I guess I'll just put him on a lead and then I'll get into my boat. And is this going to work? Yeah, it's working. Nice. Okay, now we have to head to a warm biome to get the warm frog. And I think warm biomes are biomes like the desert, the savannah, the badlands, and probably a few others that I'm forgetting. So let's try to find one of those and get ourselves a warm frog. Okay, we're almost back home, and I think I'm gonna make a quick pit stop over here, since there are a few things I need to get for another advancement. And this advancement also requires frogs. Alright, our two frogs are in here, and I'm just gonna fly back to my chest real quick, and I'm gonna grab some obsidian, a flint and steel, and a fence. Since once we get all the frog variants, we also have to get all the frog light variants. And for that, we have to head to the nether and have these guys kill a magma cube. Honestly, quite random, but we have to do it. But it just became nighttime, so I'll sleep. And now let's go get that warm frog. Let's get these guys out of the boat real quick though and put them on leads and now we have to go to a warm biome to hatch our warm frog and i think one of the biomes that we can do this in is a jungle and there's one right on the other side of this ocean so this should be pretty easy let's hop back in our boat and here we go okay we're in the jungle now to just place this guy down and now we just have to wait for him to turn into a warm frog i really hope this works wait did it hatch already <gasps> there it is Look at this. This is the warm frog. <laughs> Let's get this guy on a lead now. And wait, I got the advancement. What? I thought I had to have them all three on a lead at once. But there we go. Get each frog variant on a lead. Nice. Let's go bring him to my other two frogs. Hello, friend. And now we're just going to have to get these guys to come to the nether with me. Let's just make a portal right here real quick. And I hope this puts us into a good biome. Here we go. Let's see. How can I get these guys to come through? I might have to go like this and... Hmm, this might be a little bit tricky. Let's go like this. And does this guy want to go in? Hello. I need to get him up on top of that block. Okay, he's getting up. And he should walk into the portal now. Wait, I have to link the portal. Hold on. Let's get this guy off the lead. And oh, we're right by a basalt delta. This is perfect. Let's head back through now. And our frog should go through. Let's see. Let's try to just push him in. Um, hello. He might have to wait. I think there might be a cooldown. I guess while we're waiting for that guy to cool down, I can get these two guys out of the boat. And let's try to bring these guys through as well. Come on, cold frog. I know you guys can do it. Come on. It's not that difficult. <laughs> you just need to get up on top of this block, please. Okay, we have the cold frog. And I think he just went through. Let's get the temperate frog through now. Come here, friend. Okay, I think he just went through as well. And then we'll get the warm frog. Nice. They've all went through. Perfect. Let's see. Yeah, they're all here. Nice. Let's get all these guys on leads. And now we have to bring them over to a magma cube. And there's one right here. I've literally never done this before. So let's see if it works. Hello. Are you going to kill the magma cube? How does this work? How do we get them to kill them? Do they need to come off the leads? Um... Hello. Does it have to be the small ones? Let's see. Oh, yep. There we go. Look at that. And this one. Nice. 
That was so easy. With our powers combined, have all frog lights in your inventory. <laughs> okay, now I'm not sure if I need these guys for any other advancements, but I'm gonna bring them back over towards this portal and I'm just gonna put them on a fence post like this. Enjoy your new home, guys. They are so cute. Okay, that's all the frog advancements done. Let's see what else we can do. Oh yeah, we have to do a bunch of advancements with a trident. This might be a good time to try to get one. Let's see, yeah, it's about to become nighttime in about two minutes and that's gonna be the perfect time to farm for some tridents. I also have looting three, so hopefully this should go a little bit easier. But in one of my other hardcore worlds, it took me 50 drowns with a trident to get a single trident. So I really hope I'm not that unlucky in this world. But let's just head back home. And as I wait for it to become nighttime, I'm just gonna empty out my inventory because it's completely overflowing, like always. Okay, my inventory is all organized, but it's not quite nighttime. So I think we should do another advancement. And I have an idea for a super easy one. It's just gonna require some blocks of iron and some pumpkins. Let's just plant up a few of these real quick. I only really need one. And then I'll also grab some bone meal. Let's try to grow a pumpkin. There we go, immediately, nice. Now if I grab some shears and turn this into a carved pumpkin, I can complete the hired help advancement. It should be as easy as this. Nice. <laughs> Hello, friend. Our other iron golem went through the portal on accident, so it's good that we have one here now. Even though I think every villager in this village is dead or in the nether. But it just became nighttime. This is perfect. Let's try to find some drowns with tridents now. I hope I can get this completed this first night. Let's see. I have hitboxes on to make this a little bit easier. And we have our first drowned, but he doesn't have a tridents. Okay, let's keep searching. You know, I might be better off trying to find them at Ocean Ruins instead. So let's see if I can find any of those. Oh, wait, look. This guy's holding a Nautilus shell. That's also another advancement that we have to do. Since we have to craft a conduit. And to do that, you need Nautilus shells. There we go. We have one of eight Nautilus shells. So I guess tonight we can farm for both tridents and Nautilus shells. Hopefully I'll get everything I need very easily. And maybe I should head to a river biome. Apparently drowns spawn way more in here. Yeah, there's already tons of them. Nice. Do any of you guys have tridents? Oh, I thought this guy did for a second. Oh, wait. Yep. There is a trident guy. He's right here. Let's put on my chest plate because these guys do lots of damage. And let's see. Am I going to get lucky and get it first try? Please. Okay, no luck this time, but there's another trident guy right here. Let's see if we can get it from him. Oh my gosh, we did. Wow, that is amazing. I think for the first advancement, it's just a throwaway joke, and we just have to throw a trident. Okay, never mind. <laughs> How do you do this one? Throw a trident at something. Okay, let's throw it at this guy. There we go. <laughs> we got a throwaway joke. That was surprisingly easy, to be honest. So I guess I'll spend the rest of tonight trying to get drowned with Nautilus shells. Because we're also going to need those too. Let's see, which one of you guys has a Nautilus shell? Oh, there's another trident boy. Oh, ouch. Let's hit him with my trident, but he didn't drop one. Wait, now which one of these is mine? Is it this one? There we go. <laughs> I need loyalty three on this thing like right away, but this is the perfect biome to get drowned in. There's so many drowned in this river. Let's just fly up here to get some more to spawn and we'll keep farming for Nautilus shells. Oh, there's another trident boy. Hello. Oh my gosh, I have a second trident. That's insane. And there's another trident guy too. Hello. Okay, let's try to find some Nautilus shells now. Here's one. Thank you very much. That's our second Nautilus shell. We just have six more to go. Oh, another one. Nice. Here's Nautilus shell number three. Nautilus shell number four. Oh, look at this guy. He's holding a Nautilus shell in his offhand and a trident in his main hand. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but that's Nautilus shell number five. Wow, and there's actually three trident guys. Wow. Let's try to kill these guys real quick. Have I gotten any more tridents? No, I still only have two, but we are up to five Nautilus shells. We're getting super close. We only have three more to go. Okay, and it looks like that was all I was able to get tonight. Ever since it became daytime, I haven't seen any drown with a trident or any holding a Nautilus shell. So maybe they just spawn more at night? I have no idea, but it's fine because there's still plenty of stuff that we can do while we wait for it to be nighttime. And I'm also going to try to not sleep these next few nights since I want some phantoms to spawn, since we are going to need phantoms to get phantom membranes. But while I wait for it to become nighttime again, let's head back home. I'll grab my extra lapis, my books, and my two tridents. And now let's go to the end and try to get channeling on one of these, since I am going to need channeling for the very, very frightening advancements. But real quick, I think I have a loyalty three book here. Yeah, let's grab that real quick. Okay, and let's head to the end. We're doing so many advancements right now, it's amazing. But we are about three quarters of the way done with this challenge, so we're going to have to pick up the pace. We still have so many advancements left to gets, and most of them are actually pretty difficult. But first, I'm working on the very, very frightening advancements, as well as Surge Protector. Both of those require a channeling trident. Okay, let's head to the end, and then over to my slightly cursed XP farm. Let's get some more XP now. This will always be scary, no matter how many times I've done it. Just hearing the angry Enderman sound is so terrifying. I hear these sounds in my nightmares. Okay, 31 levels. Let's see what I can get here. Unbreaking three. What about on a book? Knock back two. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna spend a bit of time here trying to get some good enchantments and I'll be back once I've gotten channeling. Okay, check this out. 
channeling. That was so easy. That did not take long at all. And I also got loyalty three on this trident too. But I have a loyalty three unbreaking three books. So I'm going to disenchant this one and I'll add channeling to this one. Or wait, should I try to get some better enchantments first? Oh, impaling four. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get some good enchantments first on these ones, and then I'll add the books to them later. So I'll be back once I have that. Impaling 4. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Loyalty 3, Impaling 4, Unbreaking 3, and Channeling. That is so good. <laughs> let's try this one. Okay, just Unbreaking 3. Okay, let's do some more enchanting, and I'll be back once I have some good stuff. Ooh, Loyalty 3, Impaling 4, Unbreaking 3. These ones are really good. I don't think I need to try to get Impaling 5, so I think this is good enough. This one already has channeling on it. Oh, wait, I need to get Riptide. That's what I need to get. Okay, let's try to get that real quick. <laughs> I don't think you need Riptide, but I think it would be cool to have it. So let's get some more XP. Okay, there we go. I got Riptide 3 on this one and channeling on this one. So now I should be able to add Loyalty 3 to this one. Um... Wait, why is this not working? Can you not add loyalty to Riptide? Hold on, research time. Okay, I guess you can't add loyalty 3 to Riptide, but that's fine. And while I was doing this, I also got a punch 2 book, so I'll add this to my bow. And I also got two piercing 4 books. Piercing 4 is the max, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Wait a minute, can you add these two together? Okay, no, you can't. <laughs> I'm not that familiar with trident enchantments, to be honest. But it looks like we have two pretty good tridents. But channeling is the most important one, since we need that to get the advancements. So let's just get a few more levels real quick, and then I'll head back home. I'll grab some emeralds. And now let's see if my mending villager is still alive. Um, okay. He's been converted. That's fine though. Wait, no, don't explode, please. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that just happened. Oh, that is so annoying. I could have just converted him back to a villager, but now he's dead. Okay. Well, these tridents are extremely low on durability, especially this one. So I definitely need to get mending. So I guess I'll have to get another villager. Now there's no villagers in this village. So let's go to one of the other two villages over here and try to get mending. It's just just my luck that the creeper explodes. Okay, here's our other village. And yeah, there's plenty of villagers in here. Okay, hopefully it doesn't take too long to get mending. Hello, who wants to be a mending villager? I think it's you. Okay, I guess we'll just reset this guy's trade until he trades mending. Okay, we got it. Mending. 20 emeralds, but it's fine. Let's buy two of these. Okay, let's fly back home now. And I'll add mending to both of these tridents. There we go. Okay, let's head to my creeper farm now and let's just heal these up real quick. Hello, creepers. Give me some XP, please. Okay, the channeling trident is all healed up. And since the riptide one is isn't as important. I didn't heal this one up as much. Let's see. Yeah, we got tons of gunpowder. Nice. Now, I can't do the advancements that we need the tridents for just yet because we have to wait for it to start thundering. So I'll just keep these in my inventory and then once it starts thundering, then we can do the advancements. Actually, I guess I can just prepare everything I'll need for it since that way once it starts thundering, I can just go straight to completing the advancements. And there's two advancements that we have to do with the channeling tridents. First, we have surge protector. And for this one, we have to protect a villager from an undesired shock without starting a fire. That sounds pretty straightforward. And then the second one is very, very frightening, which is basically just to hit a villager with a channeling trident to turn it into a witch. Both of those should be pretty straightforward. But let's go through the nether now and let's try to get some villagers to come back through here. There's literally the entire village in here. How can I get these guys to come back with me? Maybe I can use boats? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, we got this guy in. Let's try to bring him over here now. <laughs> I have no idea why these guys wanted to come into here. There's lava and magma everywhere. This is not a good place to live. But let's box this guy in like this now. And then I should be able to break the boat like this. And maybe he's going to want to come through. Oh, I think he just did. Yeah, nice. Where's our villager? There he is. He's going straight to his bed. Nice. And since he's sleeping, I guess I might as well do the same thing. Day 75. We're three quarters of the way done with this challenge. Leave my villager alone. Okay, let's grab some copper real quick. I'll just need three pieces. And I'll have to craft up a lightning rod. There we go. Now, how am I going to get this set up? It looks like this guy became a toolsmith as soon as he came through. So maybe I can try luring him with this job site block. Oh, I have way too many job site blocks around here. I have fletching tables, smithing tables, stone cutters, brewing stand smokers it's gonna be impossible to get this guy over here let's get him into a boat real quick i guess if he even wants to go in there we go and now i guess i'll just put him down into a pit right here and then I'll just bring him in with the boat, and then I'll let him out. And then since we can't set anything on fire, I'm going to put the lightning rod up here somewhere. I think like this should be pretty good. And then all I'll have to do when it's thundering is just stand right here and hit that lightning rod with my trident. And I think we should be able to get the advancement that way. But since it's not thundering yet, then we can't try it out. So let's see what other advancements we can do in the meantime. Oh, I just remembered there's actually quite a few hidden advancements that deal with the sniffer. I think getting a sniffer egg is an advancement. Planting one of the sniffer seeds that they dig up is an 
extended advancements. And then also feeding a torch flower to a baby sniffer is another advancement. So there's three advancements that we can do if we find a sniffer. So let's grab my brush. And now to get this sniffer egg, we have to brush suspicious sand. And I'm pretty sure you can only find that in ocean ruins in warm oceans. I think it's oceans, warm oceans, or lukewarm oceans. I'm not 100% sure though, but it's definitely not this ocean biome. So let's fly around here and see if I can find anything. Okay, we have some warmer biomes around here. We have a badlands and a jungle. So hopefully nearby we can find a warm ocean. I'll just follow this river and see where it takes us. Oh, an exposed minecart chest. Let's check that out real quick. Let's see here. Okay, it was not worth it. Oh, but look at this, a warm ocean. And I found my first ruins, nice. That was not difficult to find at all. Looks like there's just one drowned. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. We finally have some sus sand. Looks like this one's just coal, though. Let's stick around and see if I can find any more. Oh, yeah, we have one more right here. It's also more coal. That's great. <laughs> what about these ones? A gold nugget. What about this one? A wooden hoe. Let's just keep digging. Okay, those were all the suspicious blocks for this ruins. It was a pretty small one, though, to be fair. So let's try to find some more of these. Wait, hold on. This warm ocean is actually very small. No, <laughs> I don't think there's any more ruins in here either. Oh, wait, no, it continues over here. Okay, and look at that. A pretty big one. Nice. Let's look around for some sus sand. Oh, you know what? I also need a puffer fish. Let's kill that. And I have to eat this for an advancement. That's part of the a balanced diet advancement. Okay, let's eat our puffer fish as a part of the advancement. Here we go. That hurts a lot. Wait, it gives you poison too for a minute? Hold on, this is bad. Oh, and it gives you nausea too? Wow, that's kind of OP. Let's just break in here and stay safe real quick. Because I'm definitely going to get down to half a heart with this. Oh, poison too is insane. And I have it for so long. I guess while I'm in here, I can sleep. And half a heart. This is so scary. Just five seconds left, though. There we go. I'm cured. <laughs> we definitely do need to heal up, though. Nice. Okay, let's keep searching for some suspicious sand. Wow, that's all the suspicious sand in this ruins, and I didn't find anything. I guess we'll have to find a different one now. Why am I getting so unlucky? This is actually a massive warm ocean, though, so we should hopefully find one. Oh, look at this geode. <laughs> okay, I found one. Please give me a sniffer egg this time. <laughs> And that's another ocean ruins all looted with no sniffer eggs. So I guess we'll keep searching. Oh, wait, is that one? Let's go see. It's not in a warm ocean though, but it does have sand. So I think we should be fine. Let's go investigate. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's one. Finally, look at this. As soon as we get this in our inventory, then we'll get smells interesting. <laughs> nice. Now I would like to get a second one of these since that way we can breed them. Since we are going to need two sniffers to get one of the other advancements. So let's just keep searching around here and try to get another egg. Hopefully it doesn't take as long as the first one did though. <gasps> okay, finally, we got a second one. This one was not as bad as the first one, but there we have it. And we're 4,000 blocks away from home. Wow. Let's make our way back home though. You know what? There is one thing that I need to grab before we have head back home. And that's going to be a moss block since apparently sniffer eggs grow faster on top of moss. And that's perfect because right here is a lush cave. So let's go check it out. Okay, here we are. <laughs> let's grab some moss. Just a few blocks will suffice. And now we can head back home. And that's in this direction. Okay, here we are. Let's grab out our moss. And I guess I'll just grow these guys right here. And I'll place them on top like this. There we go. I think the green particles means that they're on top of moss and that they'll grow faster, hopefully. <laughs> but as we're waiting for these two to grow, let's see what other advancements we can do. Are there any easy ones that I haven't done yet? Let's see. I guess we could go mining for iron to try to do Beaconator. But let's see how many resource blocks we have first. I need two stacks and 36 six of resource blocks. That might be kind of insane to get. Okay, right now I have 28 blocks of iron and 40 blocks of gold. So we still have 96 resource blocks left to get. And if I multiply that by nine, that's 864 iron or 864 gold. That's 13 and a half stacks. So I think we might be better off building an iron farm, to be honest, because mining that much iron or gold is probably going to take way too long. But is setting up an iron farm going to take longer? I have no idea. I guess we might as well just try to do that. And then we can always let the iron farm run in the background. So let's get everything that I'll need to build this iron farm. I've built quite a few iron farms before, so this should go pretty fast. And I have an empty shulker box with me. This will be super useful for all the materials. Now, since it doesn't need to be pretty, I'm just going to be building it out of netherrack, something like this. And then I'm also going to need a name tag, since we are going to have to rename a zombie. Let's call him Iron Generator. That's not a very clever name, but it's fine. And then I'm also going to need three beds. And I think that should be it. Oh, wait, we're also going to need some lava and some signs. Okay, we should be good to go. Let's go to that other village and get this set up. Or should I try to set it up here? Maybe that would be better because we are in the spawn chunks. Let's just see how many villagers we have on this side though, because we will be needing three villagers for this. Yeah, there's one more guy right here. Let's just bring him in this boat and then I'll let him out. And he just went through. Nice. Let's see. Where is he? Here he is. Let's extinguish myself real quick. <laughs> 
Oh, no. Okay, I accidentally hit the villager. Is the iron golem gonna be mad at me? It doesn't look like it. That's good. Okay, the last thing I need is an iron golem attacking me right now. But let's get this guy into a boat now. And I'll bring him over to his friend inside this pit over here. Since we only have two villagers, so we're gonna have to breed a few. This should be pretty easy, though. I'll grab a ton of wheat, turn it into bread, harvest up even more wheat. And then I'll also harvest up all my potatoes and my carrots. Okay, let's go breed these guys now. Hello, here's some food. Oh, wait, they also need beds. Hold on. Wait, they're already breeding. Nice. Let's throw down some beds for them. And hopefully this works. Okay, it works. Nice. That was extremely easy. And it looks like our sniffers are right about to hatch as well. Everything is working out so good right now. I probably shouldn't say that though. I'm going to jinx it. Come on, Iron Golem, help me. Oh, <gasps> wait, look. We got sniffers. Nice. <laughs> this is so cool. Hello, little guys. Maybe I should put them into a little enclosure real quick. Let's just drop them down into here. And there's a lot of zombies. Oh, gosh. Let's fly away. <laughs> Luckily, the iron golem's taking care of that for me. Why are there so many zombies? Oh, stop it, please. Oh, wait. No, they can escape right here. Oops. This is not good. I guess we'll turn this whole thing into our sniffer enclosure. Okay, and here we have it. Guess we'll just have to wait for these guys to grow up now. And as I'm doing that, I can start building the iron farm. And also, it's been a few nights since I've slept, but I'm still not seeing any phantoms. I really need these guys to spawn, please. But let's grab my materials and we'll start building this iron farm. Okay, the top part of the iron farm is all done. It's also pretty much done down here as well. All we have left to do is move in the villagers. So let's see here. These guys probably have not grown up yet, right? Yeah, we still have two babies. And our sniffers also haven't grown up either. Okay, I guess I might as well give these guys some more beds so they can breed more. Something like this. And now since we're kind of waiting on a lot of things right now, let's see what other advancements we can do. It looks like I have most of the difficult ones left, to be honest. I actually only have a few. Oh, wait a minute. There's a few hidden advancements that we can do with Alaze. Let's Let's do those real quick. Now, I think the first one is you got a friend in me. And basically, all you have to do is have an Allay give you an item. That should be super easy. And then there's another one that's going to be a little bit more difficult, and it's to have an Allay drop a cake at a note block. So let's gather up some items real quick and see if we can make this work. First, I'm going to need to craft up a note block, which is very easy. And then I'm also going to need a redstone torch. That's also very easy. And let's just see. Can you activate a note block with a torch? Okay, you can. Nice. I'll just do this to get the Allays to drop the item over here. All right, now we have to craft up a cake. And this might be easier said than done. I think for a cake, you need sugar as well as some wheat. And then you also need some milk. It should be very easy with all these cows. Let's go try to craft this up now. I don't want to look at the recipe just yet. So I'm going to try it like this. Um, is it like this? Oh, wait, you need an egg as well. Hold on. Do I have any eggs? Yeah, I do. Nice. I think you just need one. And I'm pretty sure the recipe is like this, right? Yeah, look at that. Nice. <laughs> oh, wait, I just realized we have to have an LA drop a cake at a no block. So that means we're going to need one cake to give to the LA and then also one cake for it to pick up. So let's craft one more real quick. Let's grab all of our ingredients and we'll craft it up. I can't believe I remember this recipe, but there we go. Two cakes. All right. I think that should be everything. Let's grab a lead just in case. And I'll also get two random items for the LA to drop to me. And let's go rescue that LA that's over at this pillager outpost. I really hope he's still there. Okay, here's the outpost. And down here, there should be some malaise. Oh yes, nice. There's two of them. Hello, friends. Let's get this advancement done real quick. I'll drop an item, and then if he returns it to me, there we go. You got a friend in me. <laughs> um, let's try to bring these guys with me now. I would like to get away from these pillagers. They're very annoying. Let's go over here and try to get the other advancements. Let's grab our note block. Let's take this item from this allay. Hello. And I'm going to give him a cake. And now I should be able to drop this cake and activate this repeatedly. And there we go. Birthday song. Nice. <laughs> that was honestly much easier than I was expecting. Expecting. But I think those are all the advancements that we have to do with these guys. So I guess I'll just give them both cakes and then we'll fly back home. Maybe they'll follow me. Let's see. Yeah, they're following me. Nice. Hello, friends. <laughs> I love Alays. They're so fun. They're also extremely useful too. But let's slowly make our way back home and have these guys follow me. Okay, we're back home with both of our Alays. Let's see. How are these villagers doing? They're still not grown up yet. And neither are our sniffers. Okay. And I still don't have any phantoms spawning. Why? But let's see here. What other advancements can I do? I guess we could try Feels Like Home since I think that's the only easy advancement left. So let's grab our wart fungus on a stick. I'll empty out my inventory and let's go get our strider friend. I think he should be just down here, right? Yeah, here he is. There's also this guy. Go away, please. Okay, let's bring him up here and then through our portal. There we go. I think that worked. Let's see here. Yeah, here he is. 
Hello, friend. Okay, now we're gonna have to find a giant lava lake. I think I might be better off leading that guy with the lead. So I guess we'll have to let one of our lays free. It's okay, though. We don't need them for any more advancements. Well, let's bring this guy with us now. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. He doesn't want to come with. Come on, buddy. Okay, this is not working. Let's resort to plan B. I'm gonna bring him in here and put him in a pit, something like this. And then we're gonna have to cover the top like this, since these guys die if they get rained on. And I guess I'll be able to go like this and bring our lay back home. Nice. Okay, let's grab all of my extra buckets now. I have tons of these, and I'm gonna fill all of them up with lava. Let's see here. How long do we have to ride this rider for, though? I think it might be 30 blocks, but let me just make sure. Okay, turns out it's 50 blocks. That is kind of insane. <laughs> but let's grab some building blocks, and I'm gonna set up a little path somewhere over here. Maybe up on top of this mountain would work. It just needs to be relatively flat for about 50 blocks. Let's try it right here. Oh, this guy has invisibility. I was like, what is hitting me? Okay, well, let's count this out now. One, two, three. Let's go like a few extra just to make sure. Okay, this is how long it has to be. This is probably gonna be so difficult, but we have to do it. All right, I'll enclose all of this like this now. Get rid of this annoying guy. And there we have it. That's over 50 blocks long. Now we just have to go get some lava. Let's empty out all my buckets. And since we're about to have an iron farm, then I guess I might as well just craft some more. Okay, an inventory full of buckets. Let's go get some lava now, which should be extremely easy. Then I'll just start placing all this down right here. Let's go one, two, three, and so on. I'll be back once I have all this filled up with lava. Okay, there we go. 50 blocks of lava. Let's see if this works now. I'll grab my strider. Let's make our way over here now. Slowly but surely. Okay, we're at the start here. Let's see. Ooh, this might be hard. I should have made it a little bit wider, I think. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, this is like really hard. Oh gosh. Yeah, I think I might need to make this wider. <laughs> let's just expand it by one block. I'll put my strider back into a garage. Oh wait, no, I hit him. Oh, sorry, dude. No, come back. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Okay, he forgave me. Nice. <laughs> All right, in you go. Let's try to expand this by one block now. Okay, there we go. I hope this works. Let's get this guy out of here. Oh, he's so cold. He needs to be warmed up with some lava. <laughs> but here we go. Let's go like this, and we'll see if it works. Once we get towards the end, then it should be good. Let's see. Yes, we got it. Nice. Feels like home. Amazing. That was honestly not too difficult. And I don't need this guy anymore, so we're just gonna let him... Oh, wait, no, this is sad, actually. Hold on. Let's not do that. I felt bad. <laughs> we'll just leave him in here. I couldn't bring myself to kill this guy. He's just too cute. Okay, but that's the last of the easy advancements done, and our sniffers are still baby. Wow. But we do have some more adult villagers now, so let's keep working on our iron farm. Okay, let's let one of these guys out, and let's see if I can lure him with a job site block. Maybe a fletching table like this. Let's see here. Oh wait, he's just following me. Hello. Would you like to become a fletcher? Yes, he would like to become one. I guess this will be our first villager that we lure. Looks like things are going quite well. Oh wait, no, it's not going well. He went back to sleep. Hold on. We have to lure him with beds instead because it's becoming nighttime. Okay, we have this guy isolated. Let's try to lure him with some beds now. Let's go like this. Okay, he's coming. Nice. All right, we're almost there. And if I place this right here, he should come up here. No, where are you going? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't like villagers, guys. But I'll be back once I have three of them all moved in. Come, friend, please. Oh, wait, we have phantoms. This is great. I need phantom membranes. And there's tons of them, too. Nice. Okay, we got our first phantom membrane. I'm just gonna kill all these guys and then we'll go to sleep. Or I guess we'll go to sleep after we get all the villagers moved in. Because it is a lot easier to lure them with beds. Okay, there's just one phantom left. Hello, and hello. Oh wait, we need to do the two birds, one arrow advancements. And that requires you to kill two phantoms with one arrow. Let's try to do that real quick, actually. I think over here I should have a piercing four book. Yes, I do. And I also have this crossbow right here. Okay, let's add piercing four onto it. And I think that might be the only thing that we need for this. Multi-shot won't really do anything. And unbreaking three and mending are kind of useless. So I guess I'll just keep moving this villager in. And then once we see some more phantoms, then I'll try to kill them with one arrow. This is going to be quite a hard advancement, though. And it's also one of the ones that I've never done before, but I guess we'll see how it goes when some more phantoms spawn. Okay, we have this guy almost moved in. His final resting spot is gonna be right here, and then I'll block him in like this. Nice, that's one of three villagers moved in. Let's go get the other two now. Oh my gosh, the villager fell. <laughs> Okay, well, we have some more. Let's lure these guys instead. <laughs> oh, villagers, you bring me so much pain. Okay, that's villager number two all moved in. We just have one more to go. Okay, here comes the last villager, finally. That took way too long. But let's get him moved in. There he goes. Okay, everyone is all moved in now. This was so painful. Now, the only thing we have left to do to get this thing up and running is to get a zombie up here. So let's go see if I can lure a zombie with armor. <gasps> oh, wait, hold on. Look at this. We got a pitcher pod. We have fully grown sniffers now, and they're digging us up some stuff. 
Now, real quick, let's get the planting the past advancements. And all we have to do is this. Planting the past. Nice. <laughs> all right, now, while I wait for them to dig us up some more stuff, let's try to go get some zombies. They need to have armor, though. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff down there. Whoa, hold on. There are too many of you. Please leave me alone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there's so many mobs down there. I built a mob farm, practically. Let's go see who we have down here, though. Lots of annoying guys. Okay, any guys with armor? Nope, nobody has armor. Okay, I guess we'll have to wait until nighttime, but that's fine. Let's get back to doing the sniffer advancements. And I think these guys probably need a bigger enclosure. So let's work on expanding that real quick. Okay, hopefully this is big enough for these guys. They are some big boys. And now I guess we'll just wait for these guys to dig us up some stuff. I already got a pitcher pod, but I would like to get some torch flower seeds. Since for one of the other advancements, we have to use torch flower seeds. And we also need torch flower seeds to breed these guys too. So let's just wait around here for a bit and have them dig me something up. Oh, is it happening? I see him sniffing. Oh, yeah, it's happening. Nice. Let's see, which one's it gonna be? Another pitcher pod. Okay, we need torch flower seeds, so we'll have to keep waiting. Okay, it's happening again. Let's see. What are you gonna give me this time? Another pitcher pod? Oh my gosh. But it is about to become nighttime, so I guess we can shift our focus to getting a zombie up into our iron farm. Let's have our name tag ready to go. Let's see if I can find any zombies. Oh yeah, there's one right here. You're gonna be my subject. All right, friend, follow me. Do I have any thorns on my armor? I don't. Okay, nice. This should make this a little bit easier, but let's get our friend to follow us up here now. This should be very easy because he seems very angry. And then we'll come all the way up here, go like this with some dirt, pull her up right here. And hello there. Let's go like this with some water. That was so easy. Wow. We'll go like this. And now he's in. And look at that. We already have an iron golem spawning. <laughs> and he picked up a block, so we don't even need the name tag. And we have more phantoms. Okay, hold on. Too many things happening at once. Let's name tag this guy real quick. Let's get rid of all these other blocks. This is getting too chaotic. Okay, that should be good for now. Let's try to kill these phantoms with one arrow now. How am I going to make this work? Maybe I'll go like this, and I'll dig into the side right here. This should hopefully force them to charge at me all in a line. Okay, there's one right here. Can I get these guys trapped somehow? That might be a better way. Let's try to go like this, and maybe I can get them trapped underneath here. Let's go like this. Oh yeah, this guy's trapped. Oh wait, not anymore. <laughs> Let's kind of expand this platform real quick. Let's see. There's two phantoms over here. Okay. I would like it if you guys try to charge me at the same time. Wait, this guy's just flying super low. If I just run around like this, then he'll just keep doing that. Oh, and there's multiple phantoms now too. Nice. Let's try to get all of them to do that. Oh yeah, there's so many. Okay, I should be able to do this. Come on, let's line it up. And like this. Oh, it didn't work. What? Do I have to get them low first? I think I do. Maybe I have to damage all them. Let's just get a nice crit on all of them. Okay. Wow, they're doing tons of damage. This is so difficult. But there are so many of them. Let's see. Let's try to go like... Oh, wait. Oh, they knocked me off. Come on, guys. Let's see. Uh, can I go... Oh, wait. I never have a good shot. What about like this? There we go. We got it. Wow. That was so much easier than I expected. <laughs> Two birds, one arrow. That was my first time ever doing that advancement. Wow, I'm actually so proud of myself. <laughs> but I guess we might as well farm these guys for some more phantom membranes. Hello, please give me your membranes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. There's one more right here. And we're done. Nice. I can't believe we did this. But let's see here. Yeah, we have way too many iron golems coming out of this iron farm now. I need to work on building a collection chute. But since we just completed two birds, one arrow, let's have a quick nap. Since now we don't really need phantoms anymore. Okay, let's work on the collection system. I'll have to just clear out a little bit of my sugarcane farm. Now we should be able to set up a little collection system. It's gonna be pretty rudimentary, but this iron farm is purely functional. I don't care how it looks. All right, let's get a bit of a chamber set up here now. This should be a pretty good size. Real quick, we'll check on our sniffers. Still just pitcher pods. Okay, that's fine. We can wait. And now I'll head over here, grab my signs and my lava. Let's grab a few more over here as well. Now we can head over here, place down a bunch of signs. And there's already so many iron golems in here. I need to make extra sure not to hit any of these guys because there's two of them in here and they would instantly kill me. <laughs> oh, there's so many. Oh my gosh. I can't even place my signs anymore. Let's just place some lava real quick to try to get rid of a few of them. There we go. Seems like it's working. Okay, and that's the killing chamber all completed. Let's place lava in every corner now. I'll do something like this. And here we go. We have an iron farm. I guess since we want this thing to run fully in the background, then I also need to craft up a ton of hoppers. Thankfully, we have tons of iron though, and also tons of wood. Oops, that's 
that's mine. Sorry. Okay, let's head over here. I'll dig out this area down here. Oh, wait, I didn't think of this. They get extinguished immediately. Oops. Let's just quickly place down all these hoppers, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Now he's dying. Okay, perfect. And now right here, I'll just place a chest. Here comes the iron. It's already flowing in. Now our iron farm's gonna run in the background 24-7, so we can work on some other stuff in the meantime, such as getting some torch flower seeds. When are you guys gonna give me some? Okay, let's see here. Oh, yes, finally. We got some torch flower seeds. Now, I'm pretty sure I should be able to plant these and grow them. So let's grab some bone meal. Let's go see. Oh, wait, look, this one's fully grown. Wait, or is it? I can't tell. <laughs> but oh my gosh. Okay. Well, <laughs> there was a creeper. <laughs> Good thing he didn't kill me. But I like didn't, I didn't even hear that guy, but it's okay. We don't have to keep this world pretty. And look at that. He cleared out some room for my crops. Nice. Let's plant these torch flower seeds. Let's see if I bone meal it and then I break it. <gasps> oh, it only gives you a torch flower. Interesting. So is there no way to get torch flower seeds? I guess we just have to wait for the sniffers to dig them up then, right? That's not very ideal to be honest. But let's see, are there any more in here? Okay, that was it. <laughs> wait, so I wasted my only torch flower seed. Well, I guess it's fine. But let's see here. We're still waiting on these guys to dig us up some seeds. And let's see how my iron farm is doing as well. Okay, it hasn't produced too much, but it's still doing pretty good. So I think we should start working on a different advancement. And I have just the advancement in mind. If we look over here in the adventure tab, we found 37 of the 53 biomes. So I think we should try to do this advancement next. It's basically just going to be a ton of flying around. So let's make sure I'm nice and stocked up on firework rockets. And I am. I'll bring my other trident with me just in case it starts raining. And let's go do this. I've already been to this biome. I've already been to this biome. But I don't think I've been to the snowy plains over here yet. Oh, and there's also frozen river and all this stuff too. Nice. Let's see. Did it increase? Yep, we're at 39 of 53 now. Cool. Now over here, there's an ice box biome. So let's cross that one off real quick. And where is it? Yeah, it's right here. I can't believe there's one so close to my house. That's crazy. But as soon as we enter into here, we should be at 40 now. Let's see. Oh, 41. Nice. We're already making some really good progress. But to keep track of all the biomes that we have to go to, I think I'm going to make a book real quick. That's going to make it a whole lot easier and less confusing. So first I'll grab a book and a feather. And the last thing we need is an ink sack. Nice. We should be able to craft this now. Book and quill. Perfect. All right. I'm just going to spend a bit of time writing down all the biomes in here. And I'll be back once I have that done. Okay. Here they all are. There are so many of them. But I know I've been to a Badlands. I've definitely been to a beach. I've also been to a dark forest. And I'm just going to spend a bit of time crossing off all the ones that I know I've been to. Okay, nice. Let's just try to find the rest of these and then we should have them all completed. Wait, over here is a stony shore, right? Let's see. Yeah, stony shore. Cool. We can cross that off the list. And we have some mountains over here. Let's see which ones these are. So this one is a grove. Nice. And then up here is jagged peaks. Okay, we can cross both of those off now. Grove, jagged peaks. Now over here, I think is frozen peaks. Let's see. And this might be snowy slopes. Okay, this is frozen peaks. And this is snowy slopes. Okay, let's cross both of those off. And let's see what else we can find over here. We only have nine more to go. Wait. We only have 12 more to go. Is this old growth birch? I think it might be. Let's go investigate. This is old growth birch. Okay, nice. Let's cross that off. Now what's next? Looks like this right here is a lukewarm ocean. Is there any deep lukewarm ocean around here? It doesn't look like it. That's fine. We can at least just cross this off. Oh, and right here is a sparse jungle. Nice. We're making tons of progress. And then over here are the different badlands biomes. Let's see. Okay, this is a badlands. Up here is a wooded badlands. Oh, and then over there is a desert. Nice. Oh, and look, down here is dripstone caves. Nice. Let's get this one crossed off. Are we inside of it? Yes. Okay. It counts. Let's cross this off. And then over here, I saw a desert. Let's go to that real quick. Okay. Nice. Now I think somewhere over here, there was eroded badlands, right? I think I remember seeing it, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh yeah, this is definitely eroded badlands. Nice. Let's make sure we're in this biome. There we go. Eroded badlands. I can cross this off. And what else do we have to do? Looks like these might be lukewarm oceans. This is the warm ocean that we already crossed off though. Yeah, I'm looking for a deep lukewarm ocean. Is this going to be it right here? This looks pretty deep. Okay, deep lukewarm ocean. Nice. Let's cross that off. Oh, and over here we have a savanna. Nice. Is this a regular savanna? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and it looks like it's all regular savanna. Nice. Let's cross this off. And let's see, what are we at so far? Okay, we have 10 left to go. Nice. We found two new ones by doing that. Okay, now what is this over here? Deep ocean. Nice. Let's cross that off. Let's try to find some cold ocean. Where is that? Or maybe I've already been to that because there is some cold stuff by my house. But I guess I'll just keep flying and see what I can find. Ooh, this looks like cold ocean over here. Let's see. It is deep 
deep, cold ocean. Okay. Oh, we have an old growth biome over here. I think this might be old growth spruce. Oh, and with a different one behind it too. Nice. This is old growth pine taiga. And then over here should be old growth spruce taiga. Let's see. Nice. We got both of them. Those are actually fairly rare. OG spruce and OG pine. Nice. We also just got cold ocean. Let's see what we're at so far. 46 to 53. Nice. We're finding a ton of new biomes, but we'll keep searching. This looks like a snowy beach. Nice. We can cross that off. Over here, we have some snowy taiga, which we can also cross off. Let's see what else over here. This is a massive biome. Wait, and there's more ice spikes. That's insane. Oh, it's a big biome too. Wow. So now how come I found... Oh, look, there's more over here. But as I was saying, how come I found so many ice spikes biome, but I still haven't found mushroom fields? That's a little peculiar. <laughs> but anyways, we only have a few biomes left to go. I don't think I found a bamboo jungle yet. Have I found a regular birch forest? I think I definitely have, right? I'm not sure though. I don't really want to cross that off if I haven't found it yet. Oh, look at this. Cherry Grove. Nice. This is definitely another new biome. Let's fly into it and then we'll cross it off. And we only have one page of stuff left to do. Nice. Let's see. Oh, this looks like old growth birch forest. This one over here looks normal though. Let's just be 100% sure that I've found all these biomes. Yeah, okay. This is old growth. And is this normal? Yes. Okay. We can definitely cross this off now. All right. So there's some jungle over here and we're looking for a bamboo jungle. So let's see if there's any over here. Oh, wait. Look, a jungle temple. I think there might be an armor trim in here that we have to find. Let's go see real quick. And there's nothing in there. Ouch, that hurt. And nothing in there. Okay, it was worth a shot. All right, but let's see if I can find a bamboo jungle. Please, I really need one. Okay, no bamboo jungle. Very sad. But what else can we cross off? I need windswept forest, windswept gravelly hills. A bunch of pretty random biomes, to be honest. But right, let's keep searching. Oh, this might be a new biome. Let's see. Is it windswept forest? I think it might be. Let's see. No, it's just a taiga. Weird. This looks so different though. Is none of this windswept forest? Oh wait, that was windswept forest. Okay. Well, we technically entered it so I can cross it off. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah. Interesting. I did see a tiny sliver of windswept forest though, so it counts. Oh, this is definitely windswept forest right here, right? Yeah. Okay. This is all windswept forest. Nice. Let's see. What are we at now? 47 of 53. We're getting super close. Here's a regular swamp. I still have yet to find a mangrove swamp though. <gasps> There's llamas. Look at these guys. <laughs> and yeah, this is all windswept forest too. Nice. Is this windswept hills? <gasps> this is definitely windswept hills. Yeah. This is another new biome. Yeah. Windswept hills. Nice. Let's cross this off the list. And now we just have to find windswept gravelly hills. And I think this is it right here. Yeah. Nice. There's another one completed. And let's see. We should be at 50 now, I think, right? Okay. 48 of 53. We're getting super, super close. I'm still looking for a mushroom island, a savanna plateau, and a windswept savanna. And what else on here? Probably a bamboo jungle too, right? Oh yeah. I've definitely been to frozen ocean. I can totally cross this off. And I've also been to frozen peaks. We can also cross this off. Oh, it's starting to rain. I might be able to use this now. Yeah. Oh, we can go way faster. Nice. This is going to make this so much more efficient. We can go super fast and we don't have to use any firework rockets. This is going to be so good. Look at this. We're zooming. Oh, look at this. A mushroom island. Nice. I can't believe I found that. And it's not even that far away from home either. But we can cross it off the list now. And now we should be at 50. Let's see. Wait, we're still at 49? What? Maybe it said a 48 before and I just can't read. But that means we only have four left to go. Okay, let's keep searching. Wow, you fly so fast with this. This is insane. All right, we're keeping our eyes peeled for a savanna plateau or a windswept savanna. Wait, I'm flying so fast the chunks can't even load. <laughs> Riptide is just too good, but it's back to searching. Oh wait, bamboo jungle. Nice. Let's make sure that we're in it. Amazing. And we can cross it off. Oh, there's some savanna right here. Oh, this might be savanna plateau. Let's see. Okay, now this is all normal savanna. Wait, this is savanna plateau though. Let's see. And hello. What? This is not savanna plateau? Is this savanna plateau? Let's go see. Please. There we go. Savanna plateau. Nice. Let's cross that off. And let's see. What are we at now? 50 of 53. Okay. Nice. And I have four biomes left on here. So we've already been to one of these, but I'm not sure which one it is. Let's keep our eyes peeled for a sunflower plains. Oh, wait. Look. Sunflower Plains. Let's make sure that we're inside the biome. And we are. Nice. And we can cross this off. Let's see. Did that increase my thing by one? It didn't. Okay, so we had already been to Sunflower Plains. So these are the only three that we have left to find. A mangrove swamp, stony peaks, and a windswept savanna. So let's try to find some. Wait, okay. There's a savanna right here. Oh, this looks like stony peaks. Let's see. Yes, yeah, Stony Peaks. Nice. Did it increase? It did. We only have two left. Mangrove Swamp and Windswept Savanna. There is some Savanna over here. So let's see. We might be able to find something. Is any of this Windswept? It doesn't look like it, to be honest. So I guess we'll keep searching. Ooh! 
This is definitely windswept savannah. Let's see. It is nice. Do we have only one left to go? We do. Okay. The only thing we have left to get is a mangrove swamp. This was fairly quick. And it's also so much faster with a trident too. Everything goes so fast with this. But we still have yet to find a mangrove swamp. So let's try to do that next. Oh my gosh. My elytra is about to break. Hold on. Let's fly all the way down here. This has been going so fast with the trident. And I'll swap out my elytra. Nice. There we go. Wait. It just stopped raining. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we'll have to go out at the conventional way now. Oh, we're like back at spawn. I wasn't even looking where I was flying. <laughs> but I guess I might as well go home and restock real quick. Any torch flower seeds for me? Oh, yes. Look, there's some right here. Nice. We just need one more. Come on, skeleton. Come in here. I dare you. The iron golem just really wants to just hit this guy. There we go. Nice. Thank you, Iron Golem. <laughs> All right, let's restock on some rockets. And let's keep searching for a mangrove swamp. I guess I might as well just go check out this swamp over here. Maybe there'll be a mangrove swamp around it. I have no idea. But I guess we're about to find out. All right, here's the normal swamp. And let's see here. There's probably not going to be any, to be honest. But I guess I might as well just check. Yeah, it all looks like normal swamp. But this actually is quite a big biome. Let's see. Oh, wait. There's no way. <laughs> there is mangrove swamp around here. I guess I just never traveled farther than my end portal, which is right here. And let's see. If I go right here, then yeah, the mangrove swamp is just out of render distance. Wow. But as soon as we enter this biome, we'll have the advancement completed. And there's windswept savannah right here too. Wow. But there we go. Adventuring time. <laughs> nice. Discover every biome. That one took quite a while, to be honest. But now that I've completed that, let's head back home real quick. And I really want to do this last sniffer advancement. <gasps> Wait. We got one more torch flower seed. Nice. I just need one more and then we'll be good. So let's just wait right here real quick and see if we can get one. And I guess as we're waiting, I can grab out a moss block since I'm going to need it to grow a new sniffer egg on top of. But let's wait for these guys to dig me up some more stuff. Oh, it just happened. Let's see. But it's a pitcher pod. Oh my gosh. Okay. I guess we'll have to keep waiting. You know, I guess I can just breed these guys right now. That way we can get ourselves another sniffer egg. Where is it? Here it is. And then I'm going to plant it right here and we'll grow it. Since that way we can wait for it to grow and also get another torch flower seed. You know what? I guess as we're waiting for these guys to dig up some more torch flower seeds, I can start preparing for the next advancement. And that's going to be a balanced diet. We have to eat everything that can be eaten, even if it's not good for you. So I'm just going to bust out my book and quill again, and I'm going to write down everything we have to eat. Okay, here it all is. It's three pages of tons of stuff. So since we're still waiting, then I guess we can just start getting all this organized. It's 40 different things that we have to eat. That is so much. So let's craft up two chests, and I'm going to start loading in everything that we have to eat into here. First up is an apple and then a baked potato. I guess I'll have to bake one. Next up is some beetroot and there should be some right up here. Nice. And now I'm just going to spend a bit of time getting all the rest of this organized. Actually, wait, hold on. Next up is beetroot soup. How do you even make that? Whoa, that is so many beetroots. Okay, I guess we'll have to craft a bowl, grab some bone meal, check on my sniffers, which are giving me just pitcher pods. That's great. And let's grow some more beetroot now. I'm not waiting for this though. We're just going to speed it up with bone meal. And there's a skeleton trying to snipe me. This is so good. He's missed every single shot though. Look at this. I'm just too fast for him. Come on, buddy. Aim better. Let's see. I can grab my whole bow out. He's still missing me. He hasn't hit me a single time and now he's dead. That is embarrassing. Okay, let's craft up some beetroot soup now. There we go. Nice. I don't think I've ever crafted this in Minecraft before, but I'm going to keep working on the rest of this and I'll be back once I'm done. Okay, I'm at a bit of a dilemma right now. I need to get some chicken, but I usually don't kill chickens in my hardcore worlds. But I think just for this one time, I have to make an exception, since I don't know how I'm going to get chicken otherwise. So let's see, let's try to find some chickens. And surprisingly, there's none to be found. Okay, here's some. Oh, this is going to be so sad. Wait a minute, I have an idea. Let's mine down real quick. And I'm looking for some gravel. <gasps> Look, there's some right here. Nice. Now, I'm not sure if this will work, but I think it's worth a shot. Oh, wait, maybe I could just have a creeper explode. That might be better. Let's try. Okay, creepers explode, please. Oh, and look at that. We got it. And we didn't even have to kill it ourselves. <laughs> I am going to need a raw chicken and a cooked chicken, though. So we're going to have to kill one more chicken. Well, we're not the ones killing it. It's the creepers. <laughs> Come on, creeper. Follow me. There's a nice chicken for you to kill over here. Okay, now if you could explode, that would be great. There we go. Okay, we got some more chicken. Perfect. And if we look at my statistics, I've never killed a chicken. So it's fine. <laughs> okay, but once again, it's back to getting all this food organized. Oh, wait, our sniffer hatched. No, and we don't have any torch flowers seeds. This is bad. He can't grow up. He needs to stay a baby because the advancement is to feed a baby sniffer a torch flower seed. So we desperately need these guys to give me one, please. Oh, look, finally we have one. Okay, let's feed it to this guy and we should get the advancements. 
Little sniffs. <laughs> Those are all the sniffer advancements all done. But I'm still working to organize all the food. There's actually quite a bit, but I'm super close to being done. Okay, so this is all the food that I have to eat, minus a few that I know I've already eaten. But there's just one that we have left to get, and it's rabbit stew. I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> Let's see how you craft this up real quick. Rabbit stew. Oh my gosh. Baked potato, cooked rabbit, bowl, carrots, and brown mushroom. That is quite the recipe. I think we should have all of that though, except for cooked rabbits. So I guess I'll just get everything else ready to go right now. Okay, so it's baked potato, a carrot, a red mushroom, as well as a bowl. And the last thing we have to get is some cooked rabbits. Now let's see here. I already got two rabbits from up here and I didn't even kill them myself. I just found them dead for some reason, but it doesn't look like there's any more around here. So we're gonna have to go searching for one. Maybe I can find some more meadows over here. Let's see. Since I'm pretty sure rabbits spawn most commonly in meadows. <gasps> Wait, look, pink sheep. <laughs> Look at this. Hopefully that's a good luck charm, but it looks like we have some more meadow over here. Let's see. Are there any rabbits? Oh yeah, I see some. Let's kill some. Okay, nice. I got two raw rabbits. That's kind of a hard word to say. <laughs> and all the other little ones around here are babies, so they won't give us anything. But that was super easy. Let's head back home now and we should be able to craft up our rabbit stew. Oh wait, hold on. We have to cook this. There we go. Okay, let's craft it. A bowl, a baked potato, red mushroom, carrots, and cooked rabbits. That is an insane recipe. But there we go. That's everything that I'll need to eat to get the a balanced diet advancement. So let's go through and eat all of this, starting with an apple. Wait, I'm not even hungry. Hold on. How can I get hungry? Maybe I'll just burn in some lava real quick. Here we go. Wait, no, I want it to be hungry, not dead. Hold on. Okay, we're at low hearts. Maybe I should just bring some lava with me. Hold on. And then I can just take a bath in it whenever I have to get hungry. Here we go. Okay, but first up is my apple. Nice. And then our baked potato. And then killing a zombie. And then we'll do our beetroot, our beetroot soup. That felt quite healthy. Now we have to burn some more. Wait, no, I'm stuck in here. Oh gosh. Oh, that was bad. Wait, am I gonna die? Hold on, um, let's extinguish myself. Wow, <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> let's try to not do that. Let's make this a lot larger and I'll go like this. There we go. Okay, but what's next? Some bread. Nice. And then I'll do a carrot. This pains me, but we have to eat a cooked chicken. So sad. And now we have to eat a cooked cod. Cutting it very close with my health. Oh my gosh. And now we have to eat a cooked pork chop, followed by some cooked rabbits, some cooked salmon. And then I'll eat a cookie, some dried kelp. I'm saving this one for last. Next up, we'll do glowberries. And then a golden apple, followed by a golden carrot, a honey bottle. Very yummy. And then I'll eat a melon slice, followed by some mushroom stew. Then we'll do a poisonous potato. Wait, I'm burning and I have poison? Hold on. <laughs> this is double bad. <laughs> Next up, I'll do a regular potato and then a pumpkin pie. Here's our very complicated rabbit stew. And I guess it's a fairly decent food source. Then I'll do some raw beef, some raw chicken, some raw cod, some raw mutton. That didn't do anything for my health. Hold on, let's extinguish. <laughs> Next up is a raw pork chop, followed by some raw rabbits, raw salmon, rotten flesh, a spider eye. I didn't even know you could eat these. Wow. Oh, and it gives you poison. That's great. <laughs> Next up is a steak, something that'll actually do good things for my health. And then we have to do a sus stew. This one gave me weakness. That's great. And now I'm going to have to burn again, since next up I have to do some sweet berries. And let's check the advancement now. 39 out of 40. Nice. The only thing we have left to eat is an enchanted golden apple. It kind of feels wasteful doing this. Well, I'm burning, so I guess I might as well do it. And there we go, a balanced diet. <laughs> That's also another advancement I've never done before. Eat everything that is edible, even if it's not good for you. And there we go. That's another fairly difficult advancement crossed off the list. So let's check on my iron farm now. How's it doing? Ooh, pretty good. Nice. Not enough for a full beacon yet, but we're making progress. So let's see what other advancements we can work on. I really don't have that many left. And the ones I have left are very difficult. But let's just see which one we should do next. And I think we should do Monsters Hunted next. We're at 26 of 34, so we don't have that many more to go. So I guess I'll bust out my book real quick and I'll write down everything that we have to kill. Since we've already killed so many, there's only eight left to go. Cave Spider, Elder Guardian, Endermite, Guardian, Husk, Stray, Zoglin, and Zombified Piglin. Those should all be super easy. Now, since we are so close to an ocean monument, I'm going to grab some milk from my cows and we're going to kill the Guardian and Elder Guardians first. This should be extremely easy. Let's just bust into here, put on my chest plate and start yoinking. <laughs> Hello. And he's already dead. Nice. <laughs> that was very easy. And I haven't even gotten 
mining fatigue yet. So I guess we'll cross Elder Guardian off the list. And let's try to find the other two because we also have to get the Tide Armor Trim and you can only get those by killing Elder Guardians. So let's try to find the other ones. Oh, I hear him. Sounds like he's over here. Wait, this is the outside. What? Is he down below? Um, he should be in here, right? Let's see. Maybe he's around here. Oh, there's the mining fatigue. <laughs> let's keep searching. Okay, here's one. This is the second Elder Guardian. Let's try to get the Tide Armor Trim, please. And he's dead. And it looks like I didn't get it. Yeah. Okay, we'll have to keep searching. Let's milk and we'll get out of here. Now we're going to go over to this side and find the other one. Where, oh, where could he be? Oh, I hear something. Oh, here he is. Hello. Okay, let's try to kill him. And he's dead. Nice. Did we get anything? Okay, no Tide Armor Trim, but it's fine. Oh, and we also have to kill a normal Guardian. So let's do that real quick. Hello and goodbye. <laughs> okay, we can cross Guardian off the list now. And let's head back home to regroup. First, I'll have to empty out my inventory. And I don't have like any room in these chests anymore. Oh, there's phantoms, bro. I can't sleep right now because I'm waiting for it to thunder. So we're gonna just have to let these guys be. And I guess I might as well also try to kill them. <laughs> okay, but let's see what other mobs we have to kill next. Ooh, an endermite. Okay, let's do that next. That should be super easy. I have tons of ender pearls in here. So I'll just spam them until we get one. Oh, there's one. And he's dead. Nice. All right, so we'll cross Endermite off the list. And now next up, we have to do a husk and a stray. Over here is a snowy plains biome, and it's also nighttime, so it should be perfect to find some strays. Let's see here. Any strays? Hello. Um, okay, there's a stray. Hello. And now he's dead. Nice. <laughs> Let's cross that off the list. And now we're gonna have to find a desert to kill a husk. And I'm pretty sure there's a desert off in this direction. Okay, here's the desert. Now, where are the husks? There's one. Hello, friend. Aerial attack. <laughs> okay, he's dead. Dead. Let's cross that off the list. Oh, we also just did Endermite. Oh, and I guess this is the perfect biome to find a cave spider spawner because there's Badlands right over here. So let's see if I can find an exposed one. Oh, wait, there's lush caves right here. Hold on, quick detour. After we do this advancement, I want to do the two by two advancement, which is this one right here. And for that, you have to breed every single animal. And one of them is an axolotl. So let's see if we can quickly get a second axolotl because I already have one back at home. Okay, hello, any axolotls? Um, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh, wait, here's one. And we'll yoink him. Nice. Okay, back to the task at hand of finding a cave spider spawner. It should hopefully be pretty easy to find one over here. Oh yeah, there's one right there. Nice. Let's head over to it. Wait for some cave spiders to spawn. And here's one. Ouch. Oh, okay, we killed him. Let's cross it off. And we only have two left to go, a Zoglin and a Zombified Piglin, both of which should be very easy. All we have to do is head back home. I'll empty out my inventory. We have so much garbage. Oh my gosh. And now let's grab some obsidian, a flint and steel, and we'll leave these phantoms alone by heading into the nether. Please go away. Okay, now we have to head to a crimson forest, and there's one right over here. And I guess while we're at it, I can kill a Zombified Piglin. Let's do that one first. Where are you? Yeah, there's one right here. There's multiple, but it's fine. If I snipe him with my bow, it might not make them angry. Let's see. Okay, he instantly died, so it didn't make them angry. Nice. So we'll cross Zombified Piglin off the list. And the only thing left to do is a Zoglin, which should be pretty straightforward. Let's just fly around till we find a Hoglin. Okay, there's one right here. And I'll get a portal set up for you. Please leave me alone. Ouch. Let's put on my chest plate. Stop it. There's two of them. No, please leave me alone. <laughs> Ow. Oh, there's so many. Why do there have to be four? I only need one of them. Let's eat real quick. And maybe I can find a warped fungus, actually. Then they'll leave me alone because they're scared of those. Where's the warped fungus, please? There's none around here. It's okay. If I light this portal, then they'll be scared of that instead. Okay, we'll go like this. And they're scared of portals. Nice. So we'll head through and link this one. And we end up right here. So we'll head back through. Okay, now that the portal is linked, we can break this portal. Um, Wait, I'm doing it with my axe. <laughs> Here we go. Then we'll go like this. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then we'll go like this. There we go. <laughs> okay, now he should be through on this side. And where is he? Here he is. Let's wait for him to convert. It should be fairly quick. And there we go. Now we can kill him. And there we go. We got the advancement. Monsters hunted. <laughs> okay, amazing. We're making some really good progress. But now next up, I want to do the 2x2 two two advancement. And we should probably fly back through the nether real quick. We're very far away. Okay, here's our portal. Wait, another iron golem came through. Hello, friend. Let's head back through ourselves now. And like I said, I want to do the 2x2 two two advancement next. So I'm going to bust out my book once again. And I'm going to write down all the mobs that we have to breed. Okay, that's all of them. Nice. And then I guess over on this side, I also need to do the a complete catalog advancements and that requires you to get every type of cat and these are all of them but i'll start working on the two by two advancements and i already have my axolotl in here nice let's make his pit a little bit bigger now i should be able to add the second one right here oh wait but we need tropical fish to breed them don't we hold on we have to go find some back over here with the badlands and the desert is a warm ocean and inside of there there's usually tons of tropical fish so that's where we'll go to get some okay here's the desert and the badlands now we just have to find the warm ocean hello where are you okay there it is nice i have two buckets with me we should be able just to fly in like this and go yoink and yoink. <laughs> okay, let's grab up some firework rockets and we'll head home. Okay, let's breed these two axolotls now. Let's see, how can we make this work? Let's go like 
this, and... Wait, which one was it? No, they're all spun around. There we go. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, is it this one? Okay, there we go. And, um, is it gonna work? There we go. Okay, wow. <laughs> that was kind of stressful. Let's cross Axolotl off the list now. And what are some other ones that we can do fairly easily? Oh yeah, we can do chicken, goat, horse, and pig. Those are all very easy. Let's just grab up all the materials that we'll need to breed all those guys. I need golden carrots for horses, donkeys, and mules. I'll need to grab some wheat for the goats, some carrots for the pigs, and some steak for myself. And I guess we're crossing this one off the list now, the cows. But I've already bred so many of these, so we're fine. Hello. Okay, let's get a little bit more food. And I guess we'll also need some raw beef to breed wolves. So I guess this works out. But I just quickly need to cook this. And I'm also gonna need to grab my leads. Sorry, Elaze, I don't need you anymore. And I'll grab up the rest of my food. That should definitely be enough. And let's go breed some animals now. I'm gonna start with a goat. Whoa, there's a cat up here. What? Hold on, we also have to do this advancement. Let's see if we can get this guy to be nice. Okay, we don't have enough fish. Oops, whatever. Um, hold on, let's actually go get some fish real quick. Because I desperately need to do the complete catalog advancement as well. That's gonna be another pretty difficult one to do. But I'm just gonna spend a bit of time gathering up some fish real quick. This is not a fish. What? Okay, I've gotten about a stack of each. That should be good. Let's go try to tame that cat now. Is he still here? I really hope he is. Hello, cat. Where are you? No, is he gone? Please tell me he's still here. Yeah, I think he's gone. Ah, oh, that's so sad. But it's fine. We'll probably find a ton more cats later on. But let's get back to the task at hand, and that's going to be breeding these two goats. We'll do you and you. There we go. Nice. Let's grab our book, and we'll cross goat off the list. Okay, who's next? <gasps> Wait, there's some cats right here. Let's see. This is the black cat, I think. Yeah, nice. Let's go over here and cross black cat off the list. And I guess I might as well also breed these guys, since we also have to do that. Let's go like this and like this. Okay, nice. We've bred a cat. Amazing. Let's just sit all these guys down now. You too. <laughs> Look, he's so tiny. <laughs> all right, now what can we do next? I haven't done a chicken yet, so let's do that. And we also have to do pigs as well. Oh, and also turtles too. Well, let's get these pigs done. There we go. We'll cross pig off the list. Let's go see. Is there only one turtle over here? Yeah, there is. All right, let's try to find some more turtles. And yeah, there's way more over here. Nice. Oh, but I will need some shears to get some seagrass though. So let's grab those. I'll gather up some seagrass and we'll feed it to these guys. Hello. Did it work? I mean, I got some XP, so I think it did. <laughs> okay, let's cross turtle off the list. Let's do a wolf next. There's tons of wolves by my houses, and there's probably also tons in this snowy taiga too. But I will have to head home real quick and grab some bones. Here we go. Let's go find some wolves. Oh, wait, hold on. Since we are going to be going to a snowy taiga, I can also find some foxes to breed too. And to breed those, you need sweet berries. And I have some right here. Okay, we're on the hunt for some foxes and some wolves. There's one right there. Look at him. <laughs> Hello, fox. I'm gonna just put you on a lead because I know you're gonna run away from me. There we go. Oh, there's one more right here. This is so good. They were so close to each other. Yoink. Okay. Let's grab our sweet berries now, and I'll go like this and like this. I have never bred foxes before. And look at this, we got a little baby. <laughs> they are so cute, these guys. But we'll go over here and cross it off the list. Okay, it's time to find some wolves. There should probably also be a ton in here as well. Yeah, I already see one, nice. Let's get this guy on a lead. Wait, no, I didn't mean to hit him. No, I'm sorry, okay. I tried to break the grass next to him. That was a minor setback. But let's try to find another one now. Hopefully they're not angry at me. Yeah, this guy doesn't seem very angry, nice. And here we go, we have one tamed. Let's Let's go try to find a second one now. And there's one right here. Hello. And he tamed immediately too. Nice. Okay, let's get these both over here and we'll breed them with some raw beef. And there we go. That's wolf all done. We only have a few left to do. Wait, I already did the axolotl. Let's cross that off. Um, let's try to do some chickens. And I already see one right over here. Okay, let's try to find you a friend now, please. Here's one. Okay, let's go like this and like this. Okay, chickens all done. What can we do next? Ooh, let's do a hoglin. I totally forgot you could breed those, but this should be fun. And it should also be pretty easy as well. We're just gonna have to head to the nether and then over to a crimson forest. I'll have to grab some crimson fungus. And there's already a hoglin down here. I need to find two of them though. Okay, any hoglins? Why are there none? <laughs> it always goes like this. Whenever you don't want to find a mob, you always find it. But then when you do, you never find it. That's just how it is. Oh, this guy's dying. I don't feel bad. Okay, let's keep trying to search, I guess. Oh, there's some over here. Nice. Let's go like this and like this. Is it gonna work? It did, nice. <laughs> Let's quickly escape though. They're doing lots of damage and we can cross Hoglin off the list. Nice. That is so weird that you can even breed those, but we're just gonna have to find my way back home now. Oh wait, and since we're in the nether, let's try to breed some striders. For that, we're gonna need some warped fungus. Luckily, there's tons of it over here. Let's try to find some striders. Yeah, hello friends. Here, follow me. Wait, oh, that guy's just too far away. Come on. No, he's just like one block too far away. Here we go. Okay, let's go like this and like this. And there we go. Where's the baby? I want to see him. Aw, look at him. 
He's so tiny. <laughs> okay, that's Strider all done. Let's go do some more overworld animals now. I think next up, I'm going to do the donkey, the horse, and the mule. Those should all be super quick to do. All right, so I have my golden carrots, and I guess I'll get my horse out of his pen right here. We'll ride him, and let's try to go find some more horses now. Oh, wait, my dogs are following me. Hold on. Let's just sit them down. I don't really need these guys. Sorry. <laughs> and let's go over here to find some horses now. Okay, we found one. Nice. I'll just have to tame this guy real quick, and he's bringing me close to the pillagers. Why? There we go. We have him bred. Nice. Let's bring him over with a lead, and I'll breed the two of them with some golden carrots. There we go. Nice. Oh, little baby horse. So cute. <laughs> Let's cross horse off the list. And now we have to do a mule and also some donkeys. And I think there's donkeys over here. Yeah, look, there's one right there. Nice. Okay, hello. Let's tame this donkey. Okay, he's been tamed. And now if we go like this, we should get a mule. Wait, no, this guy isn't cooled down yet. Okay. Hold on. We have to find a new horse. And there's one over here. Let's just get this guy on a lead. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this will go a lot faster. All right, hello, horse. Let's tame you. Oh, and there's phantoms, bro. These phantoms are so annoying. Okay, this guy's bred. Nice. Now we should be able to go like this and like this, and we'll get a mule. There we go. Nice. Now all we have left to do is breed two donkeys. And there's two more over here. Oh my gosh, these phantoms will not leave me alone. And there's so many mobs. Oh my gosh. Nighttime is the worst time to be doing this, to be honest. Oh, it's chaos. Wait, and I'm low too. Wait, let's fly away. Hold on. I was on half a heart. Ugh, guys, leave me alone. There's so many mobs. Okay, maybe I should work on a different animal instead right now. I'll come back for these guys later. But let's see what else we have to do. Ooh, we have to do a mushroom. I guess we'll try to do that. If I remember correctly, the mushroom fields biome should be just over here in this frozen ocean. Okay, there it is. Nice. Let's get my wheat ready, as well as my book. And we can breed some mushrooms. Nice. Okay, we'll cross that off the list. What else do we have to do? Most of these look like they're gonna be pretty difficult. Wait, we have to do a rabbit and a trader llama? That's insane. But I'm gonna try my donkey's next because I think there should be less mobs. Wait, a pack of creepers just spawned, bruh. Wait, no, don't hurt the donkey. Okay, anyways, let's try to tame these guys real quick. Okay, this guy's tamed. Let's put him on a lead and let's go tame this guy now. Okay, finally, let's grab my golden carrots and we'll go like this. Um, are you gonna breed? Wait, what's going on? There we go, okay. <laughs> That was weird, but here's our little baby donkey. Let's cross this off the list, and I guess we'll try to do a camel next. For that, I'm gonna have to go to a desert and find two desert villages fairly close to each other. But to make this a little bit easier, I'm gonna head over to my horse real quick. It's this guy right here, and I'm just gonna steal his saddle. Nice. Okay, let's leave. There's so many mobs. Ooh, a village and a desert temple. Let's see, are there any other villages though? Yes, there is. Okay, this one has a camel and this one also does. Nice. Wait, there's three villages. Look at this. And they all have camels. That is so good. But I'm quickly gonna check this out right here. And ooh, diamonds. I guess I'll take those. Do I even need diamonds though? Kind of not really. Oh, we got the dune armor trim. Nice. But I don't think you need that for this advancement. Yeah, we just need spire, snout, rib, ward, silence, vex, tide, and wayfinder. So I'm just gonna leave these right here. And I guess I might as well grab these diamonds. Diamonds. Okay, let's go get those camels now. It should be as easy as grabbing some cactuses. <gasps> Wait, there's cats. Hold on. More things to be distracted by. Um, what can I empty up from my inventory? Uh, let's put my god apples in here. Okay, which cats are these? This one is the Siamese cat. Hello. I don't even know how you tame cats, so I'm just gonna spam him with fish. There we go. We got the Siamese cat. We can cross that off of our cat list. And there was one more over here. Which one was it? Is this the white cat? Oh no, it's the ragdoll cat. Hello. Let's just spam him with fish. Get back here. There we go. We got him. <laughs> now we can cross off ragdoll. Ragdoll cats. There are still so many that we have to do, but I think those were the only two cats around here. Wait, there's one more over here. That's another ragdoll cat though, so we already did that one. And... Oh, wait, look, there's another cat. This is the calico cat. Hello, I have fish for you, kitty. I'm just gonna chase after him. Get back here. Eat your fish. There we go. We got him. <laughs> All right, let's cross off calico cats, and now we'll actually get back to these camels. There's one right here, and he just sat down. Oh my gosh, this guy is so cute, but I think I should be able just to go like this and like this. All right, camel, let's go find you a friend. There should be one more right over here. Oh, and I see more cats too. Nice. That one's a tuxedo cat and another ragdoll cat. Oh, and there's also some rabbits over here too. Nice. It's very strange, but you have to breed these guys with dandelions. Oh, wait, look, a white cat. Nice. There's so many cats. Um, okay, let's just deal with this stuff later. Let's do the camels first. There's way too many things to be distracted by. Let's dash. <laughs> okay, here are the camels. We'll go like this. Oh, He's sitting down, and we'll go like this. There we go. Is it gonna work? I've also never seen a baby camel before, but wait, look at him. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, and he can sit down too. Oh my gosh. I love camels. But we just got those done so we can cross it off the list. And I'm gonna grab back my saddle just in case I need it. And let's go do these cats and then the rabbits. There's so many things we have to do right now. It's crazy. All right, cat, get back here. 
This is the white cat. And he's very fast. Okay, we got him. Nice. Let's cross white cat off the list. And let's go find that tuxedo cat. Yeah, he's right over here. Hello. Please eat fish. It's good for you. Okay, we got him. Nice. That's tuxedo cat all done. And we only have five cats left to do. But we also have to breed some rabbits. That one's a baby, so he can't breed. Let's find some adults. Okay, there's one adult right here. I'm just gonna put him on a lead. And I'll bring him over to this one. Wait, come back. Look, I have dandelions. Okay, hello, friends. Let's breed you. And there we go. Honestly, I didn't even know that that was a thing. But apparently it is. <laughs> And now we can cross rabbits off the list. Now we're next to a savanna biome, so that means we should be able to find some llamas. And to breed those, you need to use some hay bales. But real quick before we leave, let's just see if there's any more cats around here. There's also another village that I haven't even checked out yet. Okay, it has a cat, but it's a tuxedo cat. We've already done that. And are there any other cats around here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. Let's go try to find some llamas. And already there's some right here. Nice. <laughs> Hello, friends. These guys are also so derpy. But first we'll have to tame them. There we go. I'm putting this guy on a lead so I remember who he is. Now we have to tame a second one. That was very easy. Okay, let's grab our hay bales now, and we'll go like this and like this. Look at this. <laughs> Okay, we got the llamas all done. Let's cross them off. We only have three left to do. Let's check the advancement tab. Oh, it says I only have to do two. Interesting. Maybe Trader Llama does not count? I don't know. It said Trader Llama on the wiki, so I have no idea. I guess we'll do Ocelot and Panda next. And this is perfect, because we're right next to a jungle. And that's where you can find both Ocelots and Pandas. But it is about to be nighttime. Oh no, I hate the nighttime. But let's see here. Here's a bamboo jungle. And this is usually where the pandas spawn. So let's try to find two of them. Already, I'm not seeing any though. Let's fly way up here. Yeah, there's not a single panda panda in there. Okay, I guess we'll have to find a different bamboo jungle, but maybe while I'm here, I can just do the ocelot instead. It might be kind of hard to find these guys, though, but we still have to do it. Oh, there's tons of zombies and skeletons. I hate this. I want ocelots, not creepers. Okay, I'm having a very hard time finding ocelots. There's, like, none around here, and since I also can't find any pandas in this jungle, then I'm gonna have to go find a different one. Oh, wait, a village. Let's go see if there's any cats over here. Meow? Question mark? Wait, editor, don't put that in. I think I saw a cat. Yeah, this is the British short hair cat. I haven't done this one yet. And we got him. Nice. Let's head to our book and cross British short hair off the list. We just have five left to go. Let's make sure it also says that here. Yes. Nice. Are there any other cats around here? Let's see real quick. Okay. It doesn't look like it, but that's fine. Oh, and here's a jungle. Oh, and a bamboo jungle. Nice. It's still nighttime though, so this is going to be quite painful. But let's see if there's any pandas in here. Okay. I see one, but we're going to need two. Okay. There's two. Nice. But it is nighttime right now, and it's going to be quite hard to get these guys together without getting them blown up. So instead, I'm going to try to search for some ocelots. And hopefully there's some in here. Oh, there's dead chickens. Nice. And there's tons of them. That means there's definitely an ocelot nearby. Where is this guy? Maybe I'll just follow the path of dead chickens. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm like following a trail. Oh, these guys are so hard to find. <gasps> here he is. Okay, hello. Let's get him on a lead real quick. Come back, please. Oh, you're all the way down here now? Bruh. This is so far away from everything. Follow me, okay? It looks like this is kind of working. Okay, we have one ocelot, but we're still gonna have to find a second one, which is definitely gonna be easier said than done. Oh, he really wants to kill that chicken. I'm not gonna let that happen though. Okay, but well, let's bring this guy over to the shore right here. And just to keep track of him, I'm gonna put him in a boat. I'll go something like this. Nice. All right, now we're just gonna have to find a second ocelot. Wait a minute. Oh, that's just a bird. <laughs> Let's do the same thing and search for dead chickens. And once we find some, we'll know that we're close to an ocelot. Oh, I see one. He's right here. Hello. Oh my gosh, I almost died from that. I'm on one and a half hearts. But we have our second ocelot. Nice. Let's bring him back to our first one, which is right by the coast. Come on, friend. Follow me. Okay, and we'll put him in the same boat. Nice. And we should be able just to give them both fish like this. And then they'll breed. Nice. Look at the little baby ocelot. <laughs> He's so scared though. But let's cross Ocelot off the list. And let's see here. Is it only gonna say that we have to do one more? Yeah, it does. So I guess we don't have to do a trader llama. And that is very good because that would be so hard. Oh, but look at this. It's raining. Is it thundering? Let's try with my channeling tridents. Okay, it's not thundering. I still have to wait for it to thunder. But we only have one mob left to do to get the two by two advancements. And that's gonna be the panda. Now over here, I saw one of these guys. Hello. And then over here, I think there's a second one, right? Yeah, here he is. Hello, friend. Let's put him on a lead real quick. Wait. You can't put them on leads? Oh gosh. I guess I'll just have to lure him with some bamboo. Hopefully this works. Let's see. Okay, it works. Nice. But these guys are so slow. <laughs> I'll be back once I have him moved over to that other panda, which might be by day 100 at the rate this is going. Come on, dude. Follow me, please. Okay, we're here. And why does this guy look angry? Is he gonna attack me or something? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, watch it, buddy. Why does he look mad? What did I do? Okay, but I guess we can breed these guys. They have kind of some strange requirements to breed. And one of the requirements is that they have to be around at least eight blocks of bamboo. So I'm just gonna spam a bunch of bamboo around here just to make absolutely sure that this works and then i'll go like this wait no it didn't work oh wait no it did look at that <laughs> 
We got two by two. Nice. Breed all the animals. I am so glad we didn't have to do a trader llama. Oh my gosh. But hello, little babies. Let's give them some bamboo. Might as well. <laughs> and look at these guys. They're just chomping away. This guy still looks angry, though. I don't know why. But that's another pretty hard advancement all done. But we're still working on getting all the cats. And we only have five left to go. So let's find some more villages and see if I can get the last five. Wait, and since it's raining, I can use my trident. Oh, wait, that was the wrong one. Oops. Am I gonna get it back? Wait. Oh yeah, it's right here. We got it. Okay. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> but as I was saying, since it's raining, I can use my Riptide Trident. Oh, and look, a new village. Nice. Let's check to see if it has any cats. And it does. It has two cats. Oh my gosh. Okay. That jump scared me. Um, <laughs> let's grab a new totem real quick. <laughs> and we've already done the British short hair cat. And I think the other one is Tuxedo. Yeah, we've already done both of those. Oh wait, no, we haven't done Tuxedo? Hold on. Or we haven't done British short hair. Wait, I'm confused. Let's just do both of these just in case. Hello, Tuxedo cats. Let's give you some fish. Come back here. Please eat your fish. Oh my God, he's running so fast. Come on, please. This is impossible. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is insane. Come on, please, please, please. This is the longest it's ever taken. There we go. Tuxedo cats. Let's see. Did that reduce it by one? It didn't. Okay, so we've already done tuxedo cats. Let's cross that off the list. So we probably haven't done the British short hair cat then, but I thought I just did that one. I don't know. It's fine though. Oh wait, this is a different type of cat. This is the Siamese cat. Do we still have to do that one? No, we don't. Okay. Where's the British short hair cat? Here he is. Hello, friend. Oh, he's hissing. Let's go like this. Come on. Please, 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 please. There we go. Let's see. Did it decrease it? Wait, it didn't. Interesting. Um, am I just not counting correctly? Wait, yeah. Seven plus plus four is 11. So these are actually all the cats we have left. Okay, I'm just counting wrong. <laughs> we still have to do the jelly, the Persian, the red, and the tabby. So I guess we'll keep trying to find some more villages. Oh, and there's one right here. Nice. All right, what kind of cats do you have for me? I see a few cats. That's a British short hair. I also see a tuxedo. Those are not the kinds that we're looking for. Let's search around and see if there's any different kinds. Okay, yeah, those are the only two cats. So I guess we'll keep searching for another village, which is right here. <laughs> now, what kind of cats are you gonna have for me? Um, which one is this? That's the ragdoll cat. We've already done that one. This is a British short hair cat. Oh, wait, I don't think I've done this one before. This is the Persian cat. Yeah, this is one of the ones we have to do. Hello, friend. Don't run away. Let's just force feed him fish. There we go. We got the Persian cat. Let's just make sure. Okay, yeah. Now we have three left to go. We'll cross Persian off the list. And we only have the jelly cat, the red cat, and the tabby cat. Okay, here's another village. Let's investigate the cats. Okay, we've already done this cat. I'm pretty sure that's the ragdoll cat. Let's see if there's any other ones. And sadly, it doesn't look like it. Okay, we'll keep searching. And thankfully, it's raining, so this will go much, much faster. Oh, wait, look. Another village. So once again, we'll examine the cat species here. <laughs> oh, yes. We have to do this one. This is the tabby cat. Oh, my gosh. Okay, hold on. Come back here, tabby cat, please. Where'd you go? There's so many creepers. Oh my gosh, there's like tons of them, actually. Where's my cats when I need them? <laughs> Wait, no, I lost the tabby cat. Where is he? Oh, I hear it. It's over here. Come on, eat your fish. Go, 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 go. Come back here. Come on. There we go. We got the tabby cat. Okay, let's leave. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, we only have two left to go. The jelly cats and the red cats. I guess I'll keep searching off in this direction and I'll see if I can find one more village. It's also not raining anymore, so this is gonna go a little bit slower, but it's fine. We only have two left to go. Oh, jelly cat, look, I found jelly. Nice. Hello, jelly. I'm gonna try to tame her the correct way this time out of respect for jelly. Come here, please. <gasps> Wait, is it gonna work? I kind of have no idea what I'm doing though. Oh, but here's Jelly. Wait, don't be scared. Come back, please. Come on, Jelly, please. I don't have time to waste. Oh, this is so hard. Look at this. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to tame her. Sorry. Oh, it was first try. Nice. Hello, Jelly. This one I'm gonna keep with me. And now the only other cat we have to find is the red cat. And there's one more village over here. Okay, I see a white cat. I see a ragdoll cat, but no red cat. That is so annoying because that cat up on the mountain by my house was a red cat. I could have had a red cat, but sadly it despawned. Okay, we'll keep searching. Wait, was is that the village that I was already at? Oh, look at all these villages. Whoa. Okay. With both of these, we should hopefully be able to find the red cat, right? I mean, come on. It's been so many villages so far. Please, I'm desperate. Oh, wait, another village over here. Oh my gosh. Let's go search this one too. This is taking so long. Okay, another cat, but it's not the red cat. Come on, please. <gasps> wait, is this it? Yeah, that's the red cat. Nice. Okay, finally. Come here, friend. <gasps> oh, come back here. Come on. Let's just spam him with fish. Come on. There we go. A complete catalog. Nice. That is insane. That's also another advancement that I've never done before. And if I'm being honest, it was insanely difficult. But that's the husbandry tab all complete. The only ones we have left are a few in the adventure tab and a few in the nether tab. But let's head back home and start working straight away on the next advancement. Oh, wait. All the villagers are dead in this pit. Um, that's a problem. Let's fix that real quick. Hopefully there's some villagers through this portal. Um, let's see here. Okay, there's one nitwit villager. I think that should still count for the advancement right? He looks kind of scary.
scared though because there's tons of magma blocks and this might be hard because i can't lure him with anything um how am i gonna do this let's see maybe there's another villager around here okay no he's the only one great i guess i'll go back home real quick and grab a boat kill this guy okay let's get a boat where'd you go get back here come on and you go there we go. All right, so let's row him back over here. I'll close this off like this. Let him out of the boat. And he went straight through. Nice. Okay, where is he? Hello? No, no, no. Come back here. He keeps trying to sleep. Sleeping is not allowed. Let's try to lure him like this. Oh, wait. There's one more bed over here. Come on. There we go. Be lured, please. Let's put one bed down here. And we should be able to lure him into that pit. And there we go. Nice. I'll just let him sleep. He seems happy like that. And now the next advancement that I want to do is Arbalistic. And for that one, we have to kill five mobs with a piercing four crossbow. This might be extremely hard. And I only have one lead too. Great. <laughs> and also it's even harder because they have to be five different mobs. I can't just put five pigs in a line and then it's going to work. Wait, would a zombie count? I think a zombie would count. Let's try to build a little pit over here. Okay, we have two mobs now. I hope hostile mobs count. I'm pretty sure they do though. But just so this guy won't burn, let's put some stuff over his head. And now I have to get three more mobs. I think for two of them, I'm gonna use cows and a sheep. Come on, cow. There we go. Let's bring this guy over now. Wait, and look at this iron golem. He looks so sad. All right, let's get this cow to go in here now. That was extremely easy. And let's go get a sheep now. Come on, sheep. There we go. All right, let's bring this guy in. In you go. Nice. And now we just need one more mob. Should I use a creeper? I don't know. That seems kind of risky. But you know what? I can also use an armor stand. Technically, that counts for the advancements. So let's craft up some smooth stone real quick. And then I'm also going to need some sticks and we should be able to craft up an armor stand. There we go. Okay, let's go do this. Oh no, the zombie despawned. Okay, that was a bit of a mishap. Oh, there's two invisible spiders. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can get a second zombie or maybe even a creeper. I don't know. Let's just try a creeper. <laughs> Come on, creepers. Ah, this is scary. No, don't explode. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Okay, a zombie just went in. Um, And is the creeper going to go in too? Doesn't look like it, but it's fine because we have a zombie now. Let's just get rid of these guys. We're going to have to place some opaque blocks over their heads so they don't burn. And we should be good to try this out now. Let's see if I can place my armor stand. I guess I'll put it like right here oh wait everyone's in the way hold on let's go like this wait can i place the armor stand please maybe if i wash them away with some water okay come on guys let's place our armor stand which is not working maybe we have to make this one block bigger let's try that okay we'll go armor stand first there we go oh wait and it's like just going down like that okay um i guess we can go like this now wait no he's burning he's burning no 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 um wait quick we need to extinguish him quick water no wait the water's not going in. There we go. We extinguished him. Okay. Whew, that was scary. He's burning again. No, no. Okay. He's extinguished. This is so stressful. Okay. Well, this guy's probably pretty damaged by now, so I can damage everyone else. Wait, no, he escaped. Bruh. Oh my gosh. Everything is going terribly. Come on, pig. In you go. He's just walking right over it. Okay. Let's try like this. There we go. Wait, the pig can still get out. Let's place some slabs. And now I need to damage everyone else. Oh my gosh. I killed the cow. Okay. The sheep is nice and damaged and the pig is trying to get out. Oh, this is terrible. And now the zombie has my lead. Oh gosh. Um, how should we do this? This is not going well. You can tell I've never done this advancement before because it's not going very good. So I guess I'll fly over here and grab some wheat and I'll try to get one more cow. Okay. We got a few cows out. Out. Let's lure one. And let's try to get him in here. I don't know. Oh, wait. It's raining again, but it's still not thundering. Okay. Come on, cow, please. Are you scared of zombies or something? What's going on? Wait, no. The pig's gonna escape. Ah, uh, how can I get this guy in here? Let me just mine up some more sand real quick. And I'll try to just enclose him in here. Come on. Oh, no. I just gave him my wheat. Okay, he's in. That's good. And now we don't have to worry about putting a roof on this now because it's raining. So now let's damage this guy. Okay, he didn't die. That's good. And we'll push them all over here. And now all I have to do is charge up this crossbow. And I should be able to go like this. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Wow. Honestly, I did not expect that to work. But look at that. We got Arbalistic. <laughs> that was so difficult, but we did it. Okay, what else can we do now? Let's check the advancements tab. Yeah, we still have to do Smithing with Style. We have to do both Surge Protector and Very, Very Frightening. And we also have to do Uneasy Alliance. Oh, and then Beaconator. Let's see if we have enough iron. We might be able to pull this off right now. Yeah, there's tons of iron in here. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can get a full power beacon working. Let's grab my current beacon out of here, all of my iron, and then I'll bring a crafting table with me. And let's see how many blocks of iron we can craft. Let's throw all these out like this and i'll start crafting them all into blocks okay we don't have enough quite yet wow this is gonna take so much iron but we're making good progress we're about halfway there i'd say and i guess we might as well just start building this beacon okay this is what we have so far whoa the sky just got really dark is it thundering hold on i think it might be let's try this oh yeah it is thundering 
Wait. <gasps> no, our villager died. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I need to get another villager. Um, okay, hold on. Plan B. I'm not sure how long this is gonna last for, so we need to go as fast as possible. Let's grab up some blocks. Let's go over here and grab my lightning rod. Okay, I got it. And let's go over to one of these other villages. Oh, I hope this works, please. Yeah, it's thundering. Oh my gosh. This is only the second time it's ever happened in this world. If I don't get this to work right now, then it's probably never gonna thunder before the end of these hundred days. This is extremely crucial. Let's use Riptide to go as fast as possible. Okay, where are my villagers? Oh, wait, hold on. They're all dead in this one, actually. Hold on. We have to go to the other one. Where is it? It's over here. Okay, fast, fast, fast. Let's find a villager. Is there one sleeping in here? No, there's none in there. Let's see. Oh, where are all the villagers? Wait, is this the one that I did the raid at? I can't remember. This is not going well. Hold on, let's go back to this one. I think they were just all sleeping. Okay, please find me a villager. All right, there's one right here. Nice. Now I should be able to go up like this. I think that villager is close enough. I'll put my lightning rod right here. I'll dig down. Oh, and we just got it. it. I didn't even have to use my trident. <laughs> nice, we got Surge Protector. Okay, now we just have to get very, very frightening. Come on, villager, come over here. Let's grab my channeling trident and let's go like this. There we go. Very, very frightening. Oh, we finally got both of those advancements done. That took so long. Wow. I can't believe it. <laughs> but there we have it. Those are two very difficult advancements all done. Now what's left? Looks like we have to do Beaconator, A Furious Cocktail, How Did We Get Here, Uneasy Alliance, and I think that should be it. We've made so much progress in these last 10 days. I'm quite happy about it. But let's try to do Uneasy Alliance now. And for that one, you have to bring a gas to the overworld and kill it. And I have no idea how I'm gonna do this, but we can at least try. I'm definitely gonna need lots of obsidian. Let's head up here and I'll turn all this lava into obsidian, and I'll have to mine all of it up. Also, it's still thundering. Wow. But let's get to mining and also to killing. Goodbye. Ooh, let's get a charge creeper. Hello. Ah, okay. I killed him. <laughs> okay. Let's keep mining. Oh, and it just stopped thundering. Nice. That was kind of perfect timing. I'm so glad we had those other villages close by because otherwise I would not have been able to do those advancements. And there's no way that it would thunder again in eight days. That would be extremely unlikely. Okay. But for the fourth time, let's mine up all this obsidian. Okay. That's all the obsidian all mined up. And that gave us 57. I hope that's enough for a ghast. But I think besides that, the only other thing that I'll need is a flint and steel and lots of building blocks. And we should be good to go, to be honest. Actually, wait, I will need a few more things. I'm gonna need lots of sticks to craft up ladders, and then also some ender pearls. Okay, we're good to go. Now, the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna head over to a soul sand valley, and there's a pretty large one right over here, and then I'm gonna head on top of the nether roof. And we'll just have to find a good piece of bedrock. I think this should be good right here. Let's see. 127. Yeah, perfect. I'll do some ladders, verify that I have obsidian and a flint and steel, and then I'm gonna head on top of the roof. Okay, here we are. Now we are in a soul sand valley, right? Yes. Okay, now down here, I'm gonna make a spawning platform. I think this size should be fairly good. And then inside of here, we're gonna place some obsidian. And wait a minute, this is gonna be too big. Hold on, I don't have enough obsidian for this. Let's just make it a little bit smaller. I'll mine up the rest of this obsidian. This is 18 blocks long, so we can make it 10 blocks tall, but I think eight should be fine. All right, let's bring this thing over here now. We should be able to fill it in just like this. Okay, let's see if it lights. And it does. Now we'll go through. And nice, okay, it's linked. Now we are gonna have to make this portal on this side quite a bit bigger, since otherwise the gas are just gonna die when they come through. And now we'll head back through. Okay, and everything links properly. Now I'm just gonna extend this spawning platform over on this side now. And this is basically a gas farm. So now we should be able to pillar up here and hopefully we'll see some gas spawn. Yep, I just saw one spawn and it went through the portal. Okay, let's see. I hope it's not dead on this side. Hello. Let's kill it, come on. There we go, we got it. Wow, that was way easier than I was expecting. Uneasy Alliance. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. So that leaves us with just one advancement in the adventure tab and three advancements in the nether tab. One of them is hidden because it's how did we get here? But I think we're on track to completing everything by day 100, but I don't want to jinx it. So let's head back home right away and get straight to work on the other advancements. And I think the first one of the four that we should work on is smithing with style. We have to apply spire, snout, rib, ward, silence, vex, tide, and wayfinder. Those are all pretty difficult ones to get. Oh, but wait, wayfinder you can find in a trail ruins and right over here, I found one earlier. So let's try to get that one first. I'll just have to grab my brush, empty out my inventory, and now we'll go check out that trail ruins. I think it's right over here, right? Somewhere along this coast, I think. Oh wait, no, it's over here. Nice. Okay, let's get straight to work. And we have our first pieces of sus gravel. I'm just gonna go super fast, and if I don't see an armor trim, then I'm just gonna break it. Because to be honest, nothing else that we get in here is very useful. Oh wait, look, an armor trim. Okay, which one is this? It's razor. Okay, that's not one of the ones we have to do, right? Let's see. Okay, no, it's just wayfinder. Okay, let's keep searching. Oh, here's another one. Which one is this? 
Shaper. Okay, we're getting all the ones that we don't need, but at least we're getting armor trims at all. That's a pottery shirt, so we don't need it. Let's keep searching. Wait, what is this? Is that a hanging sign? Oh, it's beetroot seeds. No, I broke that one. Oops. That's a pottery shirt. Those are seeds. Please, I need this to go faster. Ooh, that's the new music disc. If only there were an advancement for that. Oh, I just, I keep breaking these. Oh gosh. Okay, but let's keep searching. Ooh, I see a few sus ones back here. That's nothing important. No, so many are breaking, but also so many of these are not important. So I think I should be fine, hopefully. <laughs> Okay, I found one more. Which one is this one? It's one we haven't found before, and it's host. Oh my gosh, we found all of them except for Wayfinder. Why? Okay, let's keep searching. Oh, I just broke that one. Oops. Okay, well, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, okay. It's an armor trim, but which one is it gonna be? Let's see. Okay, yeah, it's definitely Wayfinder, right? Let's see. It is, okay, wow. That took so long. I had to excavate almost this entire trail ruins. But let's head back home now. And that's gonna be right up here. Wow, that was crazy. But we still have so many to find. We still have to get Spire, Rib, Ward, Silence, Vex, and Tide. That is so many. But I'm gonna do this as fast as I possibly can. Let's do the Spire armor trim next because you have to find those in end cities. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna quickly go and heal up my Elytra because it is looking kind of low. And this shouldn't take long at all. Come on, friends. Give me some XP, please. Thank you. Hello. Okay, and it's already healed up. Nice. Let's get rid of all of this. Let's go find some more end cities. We have a new gateway over here, so let's try it. But first I need to get... Whoa, wait. Where's my shulker box? I think I must have accidentally emptied it out. One moment. Okay, here it is. I accidentally left it behind. Well, let's grab some more firework rockets. Let's see, can we craft up any more? I can't. Okay, that's fine. We'll deal with that later. We need to go as fast as possible. We only have six days to go. I'm shaking in my boots. Okay, we're here again. Let's fly through our end portal. And look at that. There's one right there. Nice. I really hope it has Spire, but I guess we're about to find out. Okay, let's look. Okay, no Spire, but I did find some diamonds. Let's check the other places. Looks like there's gonna be some chests right here. Okay, still no Spire. And the last place with chests is gonna be right here. Okay, still no Spire. Maybe I can check the ship. I'm not sure if it spawns in ship chests though, but we'll definitely check. Oh yeah, I've already been to this one. Okay, never mind. Let's fly off in this direction and see if I can find any more. Okay, we have two over here. Nice. Let's also check them. Oh wait, I see shulker bullets. That means I've probably already been here, right? Let's just make sure. Yeah, I have. Okay, when am I gonna find some that I haven't been to? I don't think I've looted the chest in here though. Oh, but there is no chest. Okay, never mind. Let's go over here real quick. Let's just make sure I've already looted this. Okay, I definitely have. Let's check the chests. But I don't think I've gone to these two chests. Let's see. Okay, just some diamonds. And then what about down here? Nothing very good either. Okay, let's keep searching. I'm speed running this right now. Okay, we have a pretty big one over here. Nice. Looks like there's four areas with chests. It doesn't have a ship, but that's not what we're after, so it's fine. Let's head in here, check this chest and there's nothing. Let's check this chest. Just some diamonds. Now we'll check these two chests. Just iron and gold. And then last but not least, we'll check these two chests. And I've already been here, actually. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing. Let's keep searching. This is so frustrating. I thought this one was supposed to be fairly common, but I guess not. Okay, we have a giant one over here. There's one, two, three, four, five areas with chests. Nice. Let's make sure we check all of them. Whoa, and look at this. There's a gateway right on top of it. <laughs> this would be perfect if this was the one that had it, because then I could just hop right through that gateway. Oh. Hello. Did not mean to land on you. But let's check. Okay, nothing. Over here, just emeralds and gold. Same thing in this one. That's two of the five areas. Let's check this one now. Okay, just iron still. This is terrible loot. There's one more area down here. Nothing in this one. Okay, we got it. Spire. Finally. Nice. Let's head straight back home. I'm aiming for this gateway. Let's see. Perfect. Nice. Okay, let's head straight back into here. Let's see, what other ones do we have to do now? Okay, we have to get Rib. And that one can be found in Fortresses. So let's go check the two next to spawn and see if there's any. Now, I think I've looted most of the chests in this one, so I'm gonna check out this one instead. I really hope we can find some chests, but it looks like we're only finding Wither Skeletons. Ouch. Leave me alone, please. Thank you. Okay, there's our first chest with nothing. There's no chest, bro. Our second chest with nothing. Chest number three. And I think that was actually it. That was not very good. Let's go check some different ones now. There's tons of Fortresses is around here, so we should hopefully find it fairly easily. Okay, we found one more. Let's check it for chests. Please, I need this armor trim, like, very badly. Okay, here's a chest with nothing inside. Here's another chest with also nothing inside. Here's one more. Oh, finally! 
Okay, we got it. Let's head back home. Okay, we're finally here. Let's get rid of you and we'll head back through. Wait, that also rhymed. <laughs> okay, so here are the three armor trims that we have. We just have four more left to go. We have to get Ward, Silence, Vex, and Tide. Now, Ward and Silence can both be found in an ancient city, so I think I'll do that next. There's some giant mountains over here, so there should hopefully be some ancient cities down below. I guess we'll just pick a random spot and we'll mine down and see if we can get lucky. Okay, here we go. Okay, um, I found some deep dark, but it doesn't look like we we have an ancient city around here. I mean, we are still pretty high up, so there could still be one below. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a shrieker. Oh, no. That's no good. Let's go grab this thing real quick. I'm gonna need this for the how did we get here advancement. Oh my gosh, I set it off again. Anyways, I'm gonna need it for the how did we get here advancement, so it's good that we have it. And I guess we'll keep mining down, because it doesn't seem like there's much around here, to be honest. Let's keep going. Okay, more cave. Let's get this iron real quick. I am in desperate need of iron, and we'll keep mining down. What well, Y level are we at? Okay, minus 30. If we're gonna find anything, yep, it's gonna be right now. Okay, Okay, well, I guess we'll start looting these chests. <laughs> Let's see, how many shriekers are around here? Just one. Ooh, this is scary. All right, nothing in this chest. Oh, look at that, we got ward. Literally second chest. That is so good. So now we have to keep searching for silence. Oops. Ward again, okay. But I think there's gonna be a warden spawning? No, okay, nice. <laughs> but let's keep looting. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was all the chests. And sadly, no silence. Oh, and we're about to get a warden. That's great. <laughs> Let's run away very fast. Let's see if I can find the hole where I came out of. That would be super useful to head back home through there. But I totally forgot to write down the coordinates. Wait, I guess I could look back in my recording and see the coordinates. Let me do that real quick. Okay, I saw the coordinates in my recording, so let's go try to find them now. Ooh, there it is. It's right here. Nice. Let's see. Yeah, look, this is where all my blocks are. Let's go right here and we'll fly back up. <laughs> this is so convenient. Okay, I guess we have to find more ancient cities now. I think this might be a good mountain to check out. It looks very big. So I guess I'll just head down into this cave and we'll start mining down. Please be an ancient city. Oh, wait, it's creepers and stuff. Oh, there's so many. Why? Oh my gosh. Everyone's just waiting here for me. Oh, this is bad. Go away, please. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is chaotic. Okay, but let's keep mining down right here. <laughs> is this the right spot? Yeah, okay. Okay, we've made it to Deep Slate. Let's see. We're at minus 25, so we should be finding something, if anything, very soon. Oh, okay. There is definitely Deep Dark down here, but I don't see any ancient cities. Let's see, what are our coordinates? Minus 43? Yeah. There should be something around here if there is anything. Let's just search around this cave for a bit. Maybe there's an ancient city even lower? Minus 47 is quite low, though. I don't know. Let's do some exploring. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything around here, unfortunately. That was kind of a waste of time. So I guess we'll fly all the way back up here and find a different ancient city. This is taking so long. I'm gonna try to mine down like right here or something. Please work. Any second now and we should be reaching bedrock or an ancient city. Yep, nice. Okay, let's see what's around here. Oh, it's one of these pond ones. Let's see, okay. Nothing in this one. Nothing in this one. Nothing in this one. Oh, there's two pond ones. Okay, oh, but there's shriekers though. How can I do this safely? I might be able to get rid of this one. Okay, let's see. <gasps> oh my gosh, we got it. The silence armor trim, wow. Okay, that was a little bit easier than I was expecting, to be honest, but it still took so long. And we didn't even have to search that many chests in here, but there's no need to search any more of them. Let's just head straight home. And that's gonna be right here. Okay, we're back home. Let's get organized real quick, and then we'll go find the other ones. I have so much garbage in my inventory, including these diamonds, they're useless. Okay, but now the only other two that we have to find are Tide and Vex. And both of these might be kind of difficult. You have to get Tide from an ocean monument, and Vex from a woodland mansion. Now to save time, I'm gonna get a woodland explorer map. And to do that, we're just gonna have to trade with a cartographer villager. So I'll grab all the emeralds that I have. Do I really only have eight? No, there's no way. I have more than this, right? What? Okay, I have 10 more over here. My chests are just so destroyed. Um, I think cartographers like paper, so I'm gonna use that. And speaking of paper, these are our last eight firework rockets. I need to get some more real quick. So let's just quickly go over to my creeper farm and get some more gunpowder. I desperately need more firework rockets. Okay, we already have tons of creeper. Nice. Oh, and it's raining too. Amazing. We can use that to get around even faster once we're done getting our gunpowder. And we already have half a stack. Nice. This is going super fast. Okay, I think that's good enough. And we got over a stack. Nice. Okay, let's quickly fly back home. I am so stressed. We don't have that much time left. And I need to harvest up some more sugarcane real quick. 
Go fast, fast, fast. I'm having a ton of fun in this challenge, but it's also kind of stressful. Well, let's craft up some more firework rockets. Okay, and this should last us the rest of the 100 days, hopefully. And I'll head over to this village and see if I can get a cartographer villager. Let's try you. Let's go like this. Um, I guess I'll block the door like this. And do you want to become a cartographer? Wait, no, does it have to be daytime? Please, no. Oh, I think it does. Oh my gosh. I guess we'll just see if I can find an actual cartographer, or maybe I'll try again with this villager. Please, take a job. I'll give you everything. I'll give you so many emeralds. Please. Okay, he can't be bribed. Okay, so I guess that's off the table for right now, but we can try to go find an ocean monument to get the tide armor trim instead. Over here, there's a very large ocean, so there should hopefully be some more ocean monuments. Okay, here's the ocean and the ocean monuments. Are there any of them? Um... Oh, here's one. <laughs> I should probably get some milk, shouldn't I? Um, but I don't have any buckets, so that's off the table. <laughs> We're just gonna go in guns blazing and see if I can make it work. Okay, here we go. Fast, fast, fast. Let's break into here. We'll try to kill this guy. Come on, please drop me something. Okay, um, let's see. My inventory is too full. Yeah, he dropped sponge, but nothing else. Let's go kill the other one now. And I'm also gonna make a hole over here. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> I was trying to do it before I got mining fatigue, but it didn't work. And he's right here. Hello. Let's try to kill you. Please die. Ah. Oh, my health. <gasps> and we got it. Okay. Wow. That was actually not too difficult. Check it out. Tide armor trim. Okay. Let's get out of here now. Let's put on my elytra and we'll head home. Wait, did it just stop raining? Oh yeah, it did. So that leaves us with just one more to go. And that's going to be the vex armor trim. But I guess since it's still nighttime and we can't trade with any villagers, then I'll head back home to do something else. Now, since the advancement is to apply all these armor trims, then let's go ahead and just apply all the ones that we've gotten so far. Okay, I'll grab some copper since it's not very useful for anything else. And I don't really care how any of my armor looks. Let's do silence on my chest plate. There we go. I'll do Tide on my boots. I'll do Ward on my helmet. It already has something on it, but let's just override it. And I guess I'll just do everything else on my leggings. We only have to apply it. We don't have to have it active. So I'm just going to kind of override all of these and we should be good. Let's make sure it worked. Okay, nice. Yep, there's only one left to go and it's Vex. We're so close. Let's see, how does my armor look? It looks fine. <laughs> but let's see if I can do anything else while I'm getting ready. Oh yeah, wait, I need more Nautilus shells. And I also need to drink some milk. There we go. But yeah, I need eight Nautilus shells to craft a conduit to get conduit power for how did we get here. I know it's very confusing, but we have to do it. <laughs> Let's quickly head over to this river over here and I'll try to get some drown holding Nautilus shells. Although that might be easier said than done. There's only squid spawning in here. Why? I need drowned, please. Okay, he's not holding one. This is probably not the best river to be honest. And it's also about to become daytime, so it's fine. Let's just abandon that. I have more important things to do right now. And that's going to be to grab all my paper and my sugar cane. And now we'll try to go get a cartographer villager. This needs to work, please. Okay, villagers, who wants to be a cartographer. I think it's this guy right here. Hello, cartographer. Thank you. All right, so let's trade him some paper. I'll need to craft up even more. Where are you? Here you are. Let's buy a map, trade more paper, and now he's going to level up, and he wants to buy glass panes. Oh, he's training an ocean explorer map. Okay, now I think we should head back home real quick. That way we can get some glass panes, and we're also going to need to get a compass. We're doing so much flying today. It's crazy. All right, so we'll head to a beach, mine up all this sand. Let's just get like two or three stacks. There we go. That should be good. And now we'll smelt all this up. And while that's smelting, I'll craft up a compass. And it's gonna be like this. Okay, I think we should have everything. We just have to wait for this to smelt up, and then we can bring him some glass panes. Okay, let's just grab what we have so far. I'll turn it into glass panes. And hopefully that'll be enough for our villager friend. Okay, cartographer villager, here he is. Let's trade him some glass panes. Oh, he's very happy. Nice. What are you gonna trade me next? A wooden explorer map, finally. Okay, let's see. Where are we? Oh, we are very far. <laughs> but it looks like we have to go southwest. And that's gonna be in this direction. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't have any more firework rockets. There we go. All right, southwest in this direction. I guess I'll just fly until something happens on the map. I really hope this one isn't like 20,000 blocks away though. Wait a minute, the circle just got big <gasps> and we have a dark forest right here. Oh my gosh, is it really that close? We're only like 3,000 blocks away. <gasps> Look, it's moving. Wait, oh, we have to go this direction now. Oh my gosh, let's see. Okay, so I guess it's not that dark forest, <laughs> but there's more dark forest over here and I can't believe the dot is actually moving, wow. Oh, look, there it is. That was not far at all. Thank you, cartographer villager. That was amazing. Okay, but I see an evoker already. <laughs> and now we're just gonna have to hope that this one has Vex in it. Oh, look, we found a secret room and there's tons of spiders, whoa. Oh my gosh, literally first chest. What? <laughs> That is insane. And there's two of them. That could not have been better. Okay, let's go like this, like this, and like this. And once we get this, we'll get smithing with style. 
There we go. We got it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. So now that we have this one done, it leaves us with just three advancements. We have to do Beaconator, a Furious Cocktail, and how did we get here? Beaconator should be fairly easy, but a Furious Cocktail and how did we get here are the hardest ones. But thankfully we can do them both at once. But first let's just fly back home. That's going to be over in this direction. Wait, look at this. My portal that I killed the Zoglin in is right here. That was so close to the Woodland Mansion. <laughs> if I would have flown around a little bit, I would have found it. But this is going to be a much faster way for us to get home. Yeah, it's just right over here. Nice. What an amazing shortcut. I need all the shortcuts I can possibly get. So you only have four days left to complete the hardest advancement in Minecraft. This is about to be a real challenge. But now that I'm back home, I'm actually going to spend a little bit of time researching what I need to do to get this advancement. And I'll be back once I've figured everything out. Okay, I've done my research and I feel like I'm prepared to do this. I've gone ahead and organized almost everything that I'll need for this. I've been keeping a lot of items as we went through these 100 days for this very purpose. But we are still missing a few things, with the first being a conduit. I have five of the eight shells, so since it's nighttime right now, let's try to go get the rest of them real quick. Now, right over here is where I got the first five shells, so this is where I'll try to get the last three. Now, let's see here. Are any of these guys holding Nautilus shells? It doesn't look like it. We're not off to a very good start. <laughs> oh, we have some trident guys, but I don't need those. So I'm gonna fly all the way up here, get all those guys to despawn, and then I'll slowly glide back down to have a new batch of them respawn. And now hopefully one of these guys is holding a shell. Okay, I guess not. Only a trident guy. <laughs> so I'll fly all the way back up here, get these guys to respawn, and then we'll try again. Oh, I see one. He's right here. Nice. Finally. Okay, that brings us up to six shells. So we just have to get two more. Oh, okay. There's one more right here. That brings us up to seven. And now we just have to get one more. There's like four trident guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but no more Nautilus shell guys. Okay, let's reset real quick. And then we'll try again. Oh, is this one right here? <gasps> it is. Nice. Hello. Okay, that's eight. Perfect. Let's put on my elytra. If I can even start flying. Hello. There we go. <laughs> and now we'll head back home. Well, actually, we aren't heading home because I have to get some dark prismarine. And that's going to be to power the conduit. So I'll just fly over to the ocean monument that's close to our house. This one right here. I'll put on my chest plates. We'll break in. Oops. Hello. I can't see anything. Here we are. <laughs> and now we'll mine up some dark prismarine. We just need 16 blocks. Okay, 16. Perfect. Let's fly back home now. I'll grab my heart of the sea, and then we can craft up our conduit. Nice. I have everything to power a conduit now. So now it's on to the next ingredients, and that's going to be some obsidian, since we are going to have to build quite a few portals for this, and those are going to be used to transport mobs. But real quick before we do that, I'm also going to need to get some eggs, and there's tons of them around here. You'll see why I'll need those later, but let's just grab as many as I can see. Oh, there's two more over here. Nice. And we have 15. Okay, that should be good. All right, now here's our lava pool. So I'll place down some water, and we'll start mining some obsidian. I'm just going to need 40 pieces. Okay, 40 pieces. Nice. So let's head back home now. And now that we have that, we're going to need to set up the area where we're going to do this advancement. And for that, I'm going to need a max powered beacon, a fence gate, a flint and steel, my obsidian, my conduit stuff, and some dirt. We're also going to need some more iron for my beacon. Oh, and we have tons of it. Nice. Let's grab as much as I can fit in my inventory. We'll craft these into blocks. And it's not quite enough yet. Please, we need to have enough. I think this should be good. Let's see. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> it kind of all hinges on this. Okay, we have enough. Nice. Now this whole setup has to be built in a deep Deep dark biome as close to spawn as possible. And since we have a big mountain right here, I'm just gonna dig down somewhere over here. I think right here should be good. And then hopefully we can find some deep dark down below. Okay, we're at deep slates. Oh, and look at this. This is perfect. And we have a shrieker right there. Okay, this is exactly what we need. Let's grab out my wool now. And we're gonna have to break this. And I'll cover all this up with some wool. And now we're just gonna have to break every skulk sensor around here. This is so we don't prematurely set off the skulk shrieker. And the reason why we even need the skulk shrieker is because we have to get the darkness effect. That's one of the many effects that we have to get to get how did we get here. But I think that's all the sensors cleared out. So let's build our beacon now. And I guess we'll just build it right here since this has sky exposure. Okay, and here we go. A max-powered beacon. And this should also give us the Beaconator advancement. Nice. That's one of the three that we have left to do. <laughs> so now on here, we're going to put haste and regeneration. And now we have to build up the rest of this. Right over here is going to be the pit where we're actually going to complete the advancement. And it has to be four blocks deep with dirt on the bottom. Something like this. And now along the outside, we're going to mine out all these blocks. And this is where I'm going to put the dark prismarine to power the conduit. And we'll go something like this. All right, now to place the conduit in the center right here. And now we just have to fill everything up with water. And we also have to make sure these are all source blocks as well. Something like this. And once we have all this water, the conduit should activate. And there it is. Nice. Let's just see. Do we get conduit power? Okay, we do. Now over here is going to be the chamber for the dolphin. I can't believe how many mobs we have to get today. At the bottom, I'll place a fence and on top of it, some water. Okay, this is all set up for the dolphin. I'm just going to build a wall right here, which should make getting the dolphin a lot easier. 
And now that we have this done, we're gonna have to build the area for the shulker. All right, that's gonna go right over here. And it's gonna look something like this. And now since we're gonna have mining fatigue when we're doing this, I need to place a block in front of here that can be insta mined even with mining fatigue. And that's gonna be TNT. All right, that's all set up. Now over here, I need to build a portal. This is gonna be used to transport most of the mobs. All right, so now we'll light it, but we won't go through just yet. And now that should be everything basically complete. I'm just gonna get rid of the wool around this shrieker now since there's no sensors. And that's all we have to do down here for now. We'll come back to this later. And now that we have that set up, the next ingredient that we have to get is a wither rose. And I kind of wasn't thinking when we killed our first wither, so we're gonna have to kill another wither. But it should be fine. We're just gonna head to the nether, fly over here. I also have a fire resistance potion with me. And I'm quickly gonna get rid of all these blaze spawners, since I don't want any blazes taking up the mob cap. Okay, they're both destroyed. We just have to find some skeletons now. And there's our first pack right here. Hello, friends. I need skulls. Desperately. <laughs> All right, the fortress is all full of blazes. So I'm just gonna fly over here to get all those guys to despawn. And now hopefully when I fly back, they should all be replaced with wither skeletons. Um, hello. <laughs> There's nobody here. Okay, here we go. We have a big pack. Nice. Hello, friends. I love when they spawn in big packs. <laughs> And we still don't have any skulls yet. Okay, but that's fine. We still have plenty of time on my fire resistance. So I'll just keep flying around and killing these guys. Oh, our first skull. Nice. Let's put it right here so we can keep track of it. Now we just need two more. Oh, our second skull. And it almost got blown up <laughs> by a ghast. <laughs> Can you please stop? This is important. I need skulls. <laughs> okay, well, we have two now. That's good. And we still have two minutes of fire resistance. Okay, it can be done. I'm hopeful. Please. Oh, our third one. Okay, perfect. And just in time, too, I had a minute of fire resistance left. Okay, things are going pretty good. So now that I'm back home, I'm going to empty out all the stuff that I won't need, such as all of this. So much garbage in my inventory. And now let's go kill this wither. I have the soul sand that I'll need. I have the wither skeleton skulls. And this is what I need the eggs for, since we're going to have to spawn a chicken and have it get killed by a wither to get a wither rose. Mildly tragic, but it has to be done. <laughs> and now real quick, I'm going to head over here and I'm going to protect this villager. Wait, there's a chicken in there. What? <laughs> okay, nice. This is going to be for later because we are going to have to do a raid and I'm pretty sure that's the last villager alive in that village. So it's very important that we keep him protected. Okay, the end portal is over here. So I'll fly down and here's the portal. We'll fly to the center as fast as possible and let's get everything set up. I'm going to place my soul sand like this. We're going to do two skulls like this. We'll block off the entrance so the chicken can't escape. And now let's see here, please. Oh my gosh, there's no way. Please. Okay, we had one to spare. We have to punch the chicken three times to get it to low health. And now when the wither spawns, it should die and give us a rose. Please, it all hinges on this. This is like the most important part. Okay, nice, we got the rose. Perfect. We're gonna let that wither just vibe over there now. And now since we're in the end, let's go get a shulker to transport. But since these guys like killing themselves with their own bullets, we're gonna have to make a quick pit stop. And that's gonna be right over at this end ship. I have some blaze powder with me. And then inside of here, I should have extra gunpowder. Nice. We'll go like this and turn these into splash potions. This is so if the shulker gets kind of low by hitting itself, I can splash it with instant health to heal it. But we have those now, and now we're gonna have to find a better end city. But if you remember earlier, I found an end city that had a gateway literally right on top of it. And that's gonna be perfect for this. And if I remember correctly, this end city should just be right over here. Yes, there it is. Yeah, and there's the gateway. Look at that. <laughs> this is the perfect end city. It doesn't get any better than this, to be honest. But let's make a quick pit stop up here real quick. I'm gonna have to get out two fishing rods and two boats. This is gonna be so we can transport the shulker. And there's one right here. Okay, nice. Let's bridge over to him real quick. And I'll sprint punch a boat into him. There we go, he's in. I'll turn him around like this now. Let's turn on hitboxes to make this a little bit easier. And we're gonna have to bring him close to this gateway now. All right, hit me with levitation, please. Thank you. And I'm gonna build up a little platform right here. And now if everything goes according to plan, I should be able to hook him like this. Let's go as high as possible. And once I reel this in, okay, he should land on this now. Let's see. Yeah, it's perfect, right in the middle. <laughs> Amazing. All right, let's get in now. Let's heal up first. And we're gonna just boat right through this gateway. Okay, here we are. Things are going so good right now, guys. <laughs> let's hook the boat again. Oh, he hit himself. Oops, might have to splash him. But real quick, we're gonna go like this. I'll hook the boat and we'll try to bring him up here. Okay, nice. Look at that. <laughs> he's going so high. <laughs> okay, we made some good progress. We're gonna have to send him up a little bit more. Wow, he's going so high. And he landed right there. Okay, is that good? I think it is. Let's just get in real quick and we're gonna have to boat like this. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna make a bit of a platform up here and he has hit himself a few times, so I might have to heal him up real quick. But I just wanna get him onto this platform, please. I'm a little low on health too. Oh, I'm on one hearts. Oh gosh, let's heal up real quick. And he's on the platform, nice. Things are going according to plan. And now I just have to, oh gosh, not get an Enderman angry. Hold on, I didn't wanna do that. Let's put on my chest plate and we're gonna have to fight this guy. Hello, please die, leave me alone, thank you. Okay, <laughs> let's gather up some blocks now and we're gonna have to continue this bridge over here. And that wither is still going insane over there. Oh my gosh. But we'll kill him later. This shulker is actually on the perfect height right now. But we're gonna have to get rid of this guy in here. Please go away. Thank you. Okay. Let's get in. Let's boat this guy over here. Let's get this splash potion of instant health ready. If he hits himself one more time, I think I'm gonna splash him just to be safe. Oh no, our bridge got taken down by the Enderman. <laughs> we should be okay though. I can just place one right here. Please get out of the way. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna have to kill this wither now. Hello, please die. Thank you. Okay, and now to prepare this, we're gonna have to send one boat through the portal. I can just sprint punch it like this. There we go. And now we can head over here and I should be able to sprint punch his boat through the portal as well. Come on. Okay, he's in. We're gonna have to shoot the boat. Nice, he just went through. And since we sent that boat in before him, he should be in a boat once he gets to the other side. Let's see. Yeah, here he is, perfect. And he's in a boat, nice. Okay, let's set up a portal now. I'm gonna do that right down here and then we'll light it. Wait, hold on. Ah, uh, ouch. Okay, it's lit. Nice. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to wait to stop getting levitation. And now we're gonna have to go through this portal to get everything all linked up. Oh, I keep getting levitation. No, I hate this shulker. This is like the hardest part of this entire thing. But so far, it's been going pretty good. But I don't want to jinx anything. Please don't hit me. Thank you. Okay. Oh, um, we're right here. Interesting. I'm gonna have to head up here now. And we're gonna have to break this portal. Oh, wait, I need ladders and ender pearls. Hold on. Let's head back through here. And this should put us at the portal at our house, I think. Yeah, nice. And I guess this is perfect because we can break this portal too. Nice. We don't want any of those portals getting confused. Now I'm just going to need some ender pearls. And we'll head in here and we can craft up some sticks. And then use those sticks to craft up some ladders. Okay, let's just empty out all this extra stuff real quick. I have tons of stuff I don't need. Um, I think that should be good. Okay, let's head back over here. I'll head through the portal. And now we're gonna have to go up on top of the roof to link these portals. Let's just break this and write down the coordinates. And I also wrote down the coordinates of the one in the deep dark. And we should be able just to head on top of the roof and link both of them. We're almost there. Okay, here we are. We just have to find a good piece of bedrock now. Looks like this one's good. 126, nice. We'll put some ladders on it, grab my ender pearls, and we'll head up. Oh, that was scary. All right, now I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time getting these portals all linked up and I'll be back once it's done. Okay, everything is linked. Let's see. If I head through here, then this should be the deep dark portal. And it is. Okay, perfect. We'll head back through. And then if I come over here, this should be the spawn portal, please. And it is. Nice. Okay, let's head over to this guy. Hello, friend. I'll send a boat through the portal and then I'll come through myself. And then I'll bring this guy over to it like this. Hello, friend. And then we'll turn on hitboxes again and we'll send him through. Okay, let's see if he's there on the other side. And he is. Nice. Let's get in and let's row our way over to this other portal. I should probably just splash him with instant health right now just to be safe. We're almost there anyways and I had two of them still with me. All right. Oh, he hit himself again. He should be fine though. Oh, he hit himself twice. I think we'll heal him up once we get through the portal. Okay, real quick. Let's go over here. Let's grab our other boat and we'll send this one through. I'll go like this and the boat will go right here. And then I'll just sprint punch it through. Okay, let's head through here now and I'll break this boat and he should be in a boat on the other side now. And he is perfect. Let's get in the boat and we'll put him into his chamber like this. Ouch. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. Wait. Oh, I just glitched through the entire thing. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, let's splash him one more time and I'll seal it all up. Okay, nice. That's the hardest part of this entire thing all done. So now we'll head back home. And now we have to brew up all the potions that we'll need. I'm just gonna kill this creeper preemptively. Thank you. Let's get all this set up now. I'm just gonna empty out my inventory with stuff I won't need, which is probably most of this stuff, to be honest. And now we can start brewing. I'm gonna fill all these up with water, throw them all into here, and start brewing them into awkward potions. And then while that's going, we'll get out all of our other ingredients. And then I'll just keep turning all of these into awkward potions. All right, here's the last three bottles. Things are going pretty good so far. And now after this, we're gonna have to put two of them with some sugar, two of them with a golden carrot, two of them with a phantom membrane, which we'll add redstone on top of. And now these three potions need to have a fermented spider eye added to them. Now we have to make a jump boost potion, a strength potion, and then lastly, a poison potion. And then once this is done, we're going to turn all these into splash potions. Here's our first three. And I guess while that's going, we can actually craft up our sus stew. Let's go like this. There we go. Here's our next three. 
And our last two. This one's going to be used to transport a dolphin. There we go. Nice. All right. Now, as I just said, we have to get a dolphin now. So I'm going to need a lead and a name tag, which says, please work. Because <laughs> I really hope it works. And now let's go find a dolphin. We're also going to hit it with a potion of slow falling so it doesn't take any damage. And that's going to make transporting it through the nether a lot easier. But let's just keep our eyes peeled for any dolphins. And there's a pack right here. Nice. Hello. Let's get him on a lead, please. Okay, we got him on a lead. Nice. Look at how fast you go with Dolphin's Grace. It's insane. <laughs> and now we're going to have to bring this guy back towards spawn, close to our portal. We're going to have to bring him up onto land now, where I'll splash him with a potion of slow falling. I hope that worked. And now we have to fly. Oh, wait, that didn't work. Hold on. Okay, it's working now. Nice. Let's bring him over here. And he's still with us. Nice. Come through the portal now, please. Come on. Go through. There we go. We have to do this very fast because we don't have much time before this guy starts taking damage. We'll bring him over through this one now. Come on, friend. Through the portal you go, please. Oh, he's so close. There we go. This is so nerve wracking. <laughs> and here he is. Whoa, there's two shulkers now. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait. Oh, this is going bad. I don't have any more leads. Um, oh no. Oh no. This is bad. Wait. Oh gosh. Let's kill this guy real quick. Oh no. What's happening? Everything's going terribly. Um, our dolphin's going to die. Oh no. I need to get him through or something. Maybe he can hop into the water. I don't know. But I keep getting levitation from this guy. Oh, please stop. This is not how I wanted this to go. We need to get some water on this dolphin as soon as possible. Otherwise, he's going to die. Okay, he's in some water now. We should be good for a moment. And I need to go get my lead real quick. Please don't die. Let's put a name tag on him so he won't despawn. Oh, please. Okay, I have my lead. This is going so bad. Everything was going so good until now. All right, here's our dolphin. Please go in there. Come back, please. Thank you. No, no, no. Don't go back up. Go in there, please. Nice. We'll put him on a lead. Okay, and we got him in. Wow, that was actually pretty good. Okay, let's get rid of all this stuff here now. And now we're just gonna have to enclose this guy in here. Okay, nice. Everything is all set up. And I still hear our shulker in here. That's very interesting that he duplicated, but at least he didn't die. All right, now real quick, I'm gonna get everything organized down here. We're gonna have all of our potions. And then after that, we need the god apple. Following that, we need to place a skulk sensor. And then after that, we'll need our spectral arrows, our puffer fish, sussy stew, and lastly, the wither rose. And this will be everything that we need to complete this advancement. But there are a few of effects that we can't get with mobs or potions, and it's just three of them. We need Hero of the Village, Bad Omen, and Mining Fatigue. So that's what I'm gonna do next. This is where that raid that we have to beat comes in. We're gonna have to go to the Pillager Outpost, beat a raid, then go get Bad Omen again, then get Mining Fatigue, and then we'll be ready. That's the plan, so let's do it. Where is this Pillager Outpost? Here it is. Okay, now we're looking for a raid captain, and there aren't any. That's great. Let's search for a little bit more. This is kind of the worst Pillager Outpost, because it's so far up here, but then there's also stuff down here. It's very strange. Range, but I do see a banner guy. So let's kill him real quick. Thank you very much. And now we have to go beat a raid. The raid is starting. Okay, perfect. Let's get my chest plate ready. Let's see. The first wave is over here. Hello, friends. All right. First wave all done. All right. Second wave is over here. Hello. Oh, there's lots of indicators. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Half a heart. Oh, I popped my totem. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that jump scared me. It's a good thing we have extra totems. Let's bust one of those out real quick. Um, mildly embarrassing, but that's what totems are for, I guess. And let's keep finishing these guys off. For some reason, they just love this house. It makes it very easy, though. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I didn't die there. All that hard work for nothing. Hello, please come back. Thank you. Okay, here's the next wave. Wave number four, I believe. And there's just two raiders remaining. There's one over here. Please don't poison me. Thank you. And the last one is probably in this house, to be honest. Um, oh, they're not. Surprising. Here he is. Hello. Don't be scared, little one. Okay, that wave is all done. It's time for the next one. I'm just gonna let it rain arrows on these guys. Everyone die! Okay, we have a few guys left. Come on, please. This is pure chaos. How many more do we have left? I think we have three. And these guys splash themselves with poison. That's so funny. Okay, there's one raider remaining. Where is he? I bet you he's in this house. Hello? Wow, surprising. He's not there. Let's just fly around and try to find him real quick. There he is. I see him. Poor little pillager. Hello, friend. And there we go. We should have beaten the raid. Nice. We have Hero of the Village. Okay. And we have it for 40 minutes. Okay. That should give us plenty of time, even though we don't even have 40 minutes left of this challenge. It's the night of day 99. So now we're going to have to head over here and get Bad Omen again. So I'll have to wait for a banner guy to spawn. Hello. Are there any of you? Doesn't seem like it. Come on. More guys spawn, please. There's one. Nice. Okay. Let's kill him. And now we have to go get Mining Fatigue. Now we've 
already raided the ocean monument close to our house, but there's another one over here in this frozen ocean. I remember seeing it not too long ago. So let's head over there to get mining fatigue. Oh, here it is. Let's just hang out up here for a bit. Hello, Elder Guardian. Can I get mining fatigue, please? Okay, I still don't have mining fatigue. I have Bad Omen for quite a while and Hero of the Village for quite a while, so we're not really in any of a rush, but it would be nice to get it fairly soon. How have I not gotten it yet? What? <laughs> please, this is urgent. Okay, well, I guess we're just waiting for this now. This is the only time where I want mining fatigue. Otherwise, I'd be actually quite happy right now because I haven't gotten it in quite a while. But there we go. I just got it. Nice. All right, now we have to head back home, which is over in this direction. And it also just became day 100. But home should be just over here. Yep, here it is. And now this is the moment of truth. All this setup that we just did all comes down to this. This is the most important part. And I really, really hope I don't mess it up. All right, we'll head through our portal. Now I'm gonna need to sprint around for a bit since we need two and a half bars of hunger to be gone. And we're almost there. We just need one half more. Let's just keep sprinting a bit. Come on, sprint and sprint and sprint. I guess we can just empty out my inventory as we're waiting for that to go. Away. We'll empty all this stuff out. Literally everything. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we have two and a half hunger points. Nice. I'm so scared. We're gonna have to do all the potions first. Wait, there's a zombie. No. Wait, hold on. Let me get my sword. Oh, this, this is, he's ruining it. <laughs> please. Okay. No, there's more zombies. Oh my gosh, please. I don't have time for this. Okay, hold on. Let's put my sword away. We have all this stuff and we'll get all of this ready now. Oh wait, I'm also going to need my bow. Hold on. Here it is. Let's just verify. So we have all the potions. We do God Apple, Skulk Sensor, Spectral Arrow, Pufferfish, Sus Stew, Wither Rose. Okay, let's see. Are there any zombies around? No. Okay, we're ready to go. Oh, this is so scary. We have all this. Let's eat the god apple now. I'll place this down. We'll break all of this. I'll shoot myself with a spectral arrow. Okay, we're good to go. I'll go like this. We'll eat the sus stew. And we did it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at all the effects that we have. <laughs> This is insane. Honestly, how did we get here? And I also drank my milk bucket to save my dolphin, so I can't get rid of all this stuff right now. We're just gonna have all these effects for so long. But this was such a fun challenge. This was probably some of the most fun I've ever had recording Minecraft, to be honest. And probably the most fun challenge I think I've ever done. Wow, I cannot believe we just did that. We completed every advancement in 100 days. If you see here, we have the adventure tab all done. The end tab is also done. So is the nether tab. This is what we just did. <laughs> the husbandry tab is also done, and so is the Minecraft tab. But that's gonna be all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Also, hi, this is me editing the video. I know it was extremely long, but if you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys liked it, because I had a super fun time recording it. But thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!